Cake makers, guess what? We sit down just as it starts to snow outside. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to get cozy us. cozy and warm. <laughs> it is, yeah, yeah, it is. Stay, stay nice and snuggly and warm, and most importantly, stay safe. Everybody, yes, there's yeah, pending definitely. snow are coming, isn't there? Oh, we'll yeah. be in for the duration, do you think? I mean, that's all right. That's all Warm, good. We've dry, got, we've, works. Got a, we've got a vending machine. Yeah. We'll be fine. I've just run out of coffee, though. I'll have to be on the I have coffee. It's yeah. all good. We, we will be fine. Um, oh, hello, jewellery makers, and happy Wednesday. Oh, we've got a fantastic morning for you. First, we've got the gorgeous Hannah. Oh, hi. A little ray of sunshine <laughs> and the most beautiful kits. Yeah, oh, my gosh. Amazing kits. I'm, I'm just, have you seen the double loop connection? I have. I have. But should we show everybody at home? Amazing. Yeah. Take a little look. Yeah. Um, these are, they, well, they blow my mind, literally blow my mind that somebody has literally carved that out of one I know, out of one, one piece. Yeah. And they've made two interconnecting rings, oh, haven't that they? That necklace is absolutely gorgeous, Hannah. They're fab, aren't they? Oh. Who's are going to go for that one? Amethyst, look. So you've got them in amethyst? Um, yeah. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, what? We've got, I, I saw the jade, but you've got them in amethyst. Yes. And Mookite. And Mookite. And I think, I think we've got a Labradorite one on oh, the end as well, which I'm, I'm not This is it. a first, right? And Amazonite as well. And Amazonite. Yes. <laughs> now, we had the, we had Nephrite and Jade last oh, week. Oh man, they were amazing. Beautiful, they? and they sold out in a yeah, heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. Um, we didn't have Amethyst, we didn't have Labradorite, we didn't have Mookite, we didn't have Amazonite. Oh my goodness me. Pretty cool. So maybe you were one of those people that missed out last week on the jade, or maybe it was beyond budget. Then I reckon today, your masterclass, it, it, it's yeah, your time. It's, it's reachable. It's reachable, <laughs> yes. it's achievable. Um, we didn't have jadeite, mind, in oh, those. It was, it was, no, it was, it was um, nephrite jade. Right, it right. It was all nephrite, so we had the white, and then we had the spinach green. Amazing. And then there was the hearts as well. Oh so first time with the jadeite interlocking links. So how amazing are these kits? They're coming up at midday. Um, also, your kits at nine o'clock are beautiful too. I sound like I'm surprised. I'm not surprised. They're absolutely <laughs> amazing. But thanks. Yeah. Um, they're lovely. So um, they are. Um, I've, I've basically used the. Um, oh, Hannah. It's like checkerboard faceted uh, glass connectors, but with amazing gemstones and leather cords, and then some seed beads. And I've made. I, you know, you know me. I love a, a wrap bracelet, right? So I thought I'm just going just to see if, if this works. Um, yeah, I love it. And so I've, I've done two yeah, as, as wrap bracelets. I've done one that isn't a bracelet at all, just to show you don't have to make a bracelet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I've got one left that I'm going to save for the demo. Amazing. I love that kind yeah. of weaving. That's so beautiful. That sort that of wavy kind of, design. Like, it, yeah, it's like undulating. It's Lovely. Quite sort of That's arty. a good word. Yeah. There we go. That's, here's me, your wavy design. There you go. <laughs> undulating. undulating. That's far more eloquent. <laughs> um, that's coming up at nine o'clock today. So, and by the way, when we say leather cord, you get loads of leather. Yeah, masses of um, leather. Yeah. <clears throat> in those kits. I also need to give you a little bit of a sneaky peek, if that's okay. Coming up at nine o'clock this morning, it is nine o'clock, isn't it? Um, we have the most unbelievable strand of Akoya pearls. Um, these are near round. So, I mean, yeah, you know what the Akoya pearls are, are synonymous to. They are renowned for having the, some say, the finest luster in the pearl world. And I am not going to argue with that, especially when I have this before me. How beautiful how incredible and these are big acoyas acoya pearls form in naturally smaller much smaller because the mollusk is is a lot smaller um so to get acoya pearls which measure seven millimeters in size and i and i know i've shown you in the past sort of other retailers outside of these four walls that you know it's, you can you can spend thousands if you like on acoya yeah. pearls yeah. a strand of this quality and i think you already know that well today we are going to make um these uh, super affordable which is just not a word that you associate with Akoya pearls. Some consider Akoya pearls, you know, the pinnacle out of uh, you know, all locations in the world. So they're coming up at nine o'clock today. Also, can I just show you your early bird this morning um, is a lovely parcel, a beautiful parcel of Swiss blue topaz. Um, you've got a mixture of your cuts. So I can see here some lovely princess. I can see some emerald cuts, some ovals. Um, is that, oh, a little heart just there. Can you see peeking behind? Um, so you're getting a full 
parcel of emerald, uh, uh, sorry, of Swiss blue topaz variations um, of cuts. And um, they're in number one on your website. So all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. You know the drill. It's a lounge hour, so that means you can shop ahead. You can secure your bargains and your deals, even if you check out now at 19.99, which is just amazing for just shy, just. Just a, you know, a, a whisper, if you like, underneath uh, five carats. Still only twenty pounds. But don't you worry, everybody. Even if you confirm right now, will receive that final low price tag. You've got the two faceted pearls, which are just amazing at double figure price points. You've got a parcel of coloured and topaz. You've got some closeout deals on your near round um, coloured pearls. Um, you've got the royal pendant in there at twenty pounds. That's amazing. Christ appraise. I adore that gemstone. It's got the most beautiful beautiful blue and um, you've got some sterling silver components you've got some rose de france oh you've got very von cleef and arpels inspired uh, turquoise strand there you've got some lovely mexican turquoise you've got some oh look at the amber that's nice um so do have a little look all the w's at jewelrymaker.com um yeah shop ahead because remember some of these items will be extremely limited um and like i said if we even if we haven't dropped the price as of yet don't worry we will do and everybody will pay that final low regardless of when you make your confirmations also this hour we like an interactive well we like interactive throughout the entire always, show to be always. honest so yeah. um do text in come and say hello to hannah and i we would love to hear from you um <clears throat> have you got snow where you are right now i think it's coming in today isn't it uh, yeah is yeah. it today I, it's I, happening i think a lot some people have got snow already I think. have they i know it's snowing now but uh, it was did it ha some do, have people got have people got snow already or is is tonight the night <laughs> Tonight's the night. Do you know, I don't know, should I say this? I said, Tom, I was like, oh, Tom, I've got to get out in the garden. Sorry, things are just falling down the studio. I've got to get out in the garden before the snow. He's like, okay, why? I was like, we have two dogs. I need to get out in the garden before it oh, gets, no. it's, it's all covered under a blanket. Oh, no, and, and then you don't know where you're treading. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. It's a minefield then. So that's what I shall be doing this afternoon. How lovely for me. Um, nice. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Um, shall we get cracking? Yeah. Shall we? We've got the Wall of Fame and we've also got the Wednesday draw. So starting us off, don't forget, we're going to make some people some people richer this Wednesday morning. Um, here we go. I'm going to pass that over. Oh. Starting us off this morning, the Wall of Fame. Um, starting us off, number 387 is Caroline. Good morning to you, Caroline. Oh, some beautiful wire work there. Very neat and some lovely cabochon. 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 Um, hi, all at Jewelry Maker. After some, after some more sorting, I found the tool that zigzags wire and wraps some cabochons, rose quartz and some amazing labradorite. I so wish the labradorite would stop distracting me. Good luck to all entering the draw this week. Keep warm all. And that's from lovely Caroline. Caroline, yes, I, I get like that as well distracted all the time yeah easily done i think it gets worse as well as as, as i'm aging uh, do you know is it is it worse or is it just we're usually quite good at multitasking and suddenly it's a challenge that's true so it's that i was doing washing but now how am i how am i yeah, doing but then this? i've seen that then he's doing and now yeah. i've done that and because yeah. i'm in this room i'm going to do that so yeah. you're, try, you're trying to multitask Absolutely. at the same time but then forget the first thing you've yeah done. always yeah always <laughs> yeah so but, yeah, we'll, we'll put it down to multitasking then caroline yeah uh 388 <laughs> is from mandy good morning mandy oh wow that's, that's absolutely lovely. beautiful um mandy's saying hello everybody my entry to this week's wall of fame is a crochet scarf necklace i've used botswana agate chips on monofilament for a main part. I got these chips from Jewelry Maker some time ago and have been waiting for the right make to use them in. I'm so glad I waited as I love how this has turned out. Me too, Mandy, that's beautiful. Um, I also use clear quartz round um, for um, around the neck. I didn't want to use anything with colour around the neck that could draw attention away from the stunning Botswana agate. This was such a lovely piece to make and I'm already planning on another, um, another three, sorry. Uh, good luck to everybody entering the wall this week, kind 
same regards. Do you know, Botswana, I miss Botswana, Aggie. Yeah, it's such a I, beautiful stone. Do you remember Fiona? Yeah. So, so um, not designer, but presenter. She yeah. always used to say Botswana. Yes. Every, time, every, every time I see it, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't. Oh, I fee. can't. See, oh, yeah, she's lovely Fee. Treading the boards somewhere now. I know, how she? amazing is that? Proper, proper actor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 389 yeah. is from Trisha. Good morning, Trisha. Um, oh, that's beautiful. A lovely stone as well. Uh, dear jewelry maker, please find, um, attach my entry to this. It's Wall of Fame. A butterfly chainmail bracelet with a centre, uh, central woodland jasper coin. I hope you like it, Trisha. We love it. It's beautiful. Good luck, lovely. Stunning. Right, I've got number 390, which is Alison Curran. Uh, here's my seed bead and shell pearl necklace. Wow. Squares are cruel and it's added to the shell pearl station necklace. Good luck, everyone. That's amazing. That's really neat. Craw. Uh, Mark was yeah. showing craw the yeah. other day. Cubic right angled weave. That's it. That's I'm it. glad you said that, not me. Very cool. <laughs> uh, and then number 391 is Margaret Gibson. And it says, this week's entry is a pendant produced from a further play about with glass fusion. This one has been in the microwave kiln uh, four or five times, having little bits of glass added and with difficulty. I've managed to make a hole to take the leather strip. By using the kiln paper to mark... Oh. That's how she's made the, uh, the hole, by using kiln paper to mask an empty space. Incidentally, I've not yet managed to drill a hole through any of the calves I've fused. Uh, everything is from JM except the clasp, which is from my stash. Good luck to everyone in this week's draw. I love that. That's really different, it's got it? this. It's got this liquid movement to it. I love that, Margaret. That's I beautiful. Yeah, that. same. Uh, and then 392 is Michelle Greaves. It says, this is my adventuring tree. I absolutely Aww. love it, and I hope you do too. Good luck with the draw. Oh, Michelle, that's beautiful. Very sweet, isn't love it? Love that. -like. Yeah, it's around the corner. Aren't you clever? Aren't you all clever? Very right, good. then. I've got, I've got one more. Oh, sorry, Hannah. Uh, and then 393 is Gail Birch. It says, please find attached the wirework bangle inspired by Laura Binding. Uh, I enjoyed using the organic design, incorporating gems, and all products and inspiration are from JM. Amazing. Okay. Gail, that's beautiful. I love all Gary bracelets like that. It's cute. Um, right then. Ooh. Go on, Hannah. Ooh. Be lucky. Do this is for our do winner. We, do, we do the old spinny bit. Or yeah, just... go on. Give the time. Right. You gotta, you, we've got to do the whole Spin drama in. of it all. Spinning. Right, ready. The winner receiving £100 credited to their jewellery maker account is... Uh, 377. Ooh. Rachel Ballard, Woo! you're our winner this week. Congratulations. Yay! £100 being credited to your jewellery maker account. Go on, do the run wrap. Just spin it again or just do it? Yeah, give it another spin. Okay, okay. Oh, is that? That's it. Check that's on, otherwise they're all going on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and our runner up receiving £50 is. Ooh. Have I got one? There we go. That's almost the same number. 367. Uh, oh, my. 377 and 367. That is uh, Kim Hopkins. Kim Hopkins! Yay! Well done. You've been really lucky on the Wall of Fame, Kim, haven't you? How amazing. Well done, everybody. Still, remember, send your pictures in with a little message that we can read out, of course. Um, and you never know. You never know. You might be next week's winner. It happens every Wednesday, religiously, every morning. Yeah. How nice is that? Right, then, should we get cracking? Are you ready? Do it, do Let's it. do it. Where are we going to start, Roscoe? Going to start with some mukai cubes. Um, love a bit of mukai. Absolutely do beautiful. Well. We don't mm. see it in cubic shapes very often. Um, I love it because it's actually embracing sort of how it naturally forms. Mukai forms in quite splint, you know, quite, yeah, splint like shapes. This is cool. I'm also thinking as well to that amazing crochet necklace that we just saw. Oh my gosh, that'd be fab, wouldn't it? Would it would be beautiful. Mandy's necklace, wasn't it? Yes. Um, so this would be lovely. Maybe a version of. We're at 1999 and one locational gemstone all the way from West. In Australia. I like it too. It's really cool, isn't it? Um, those sort of flat surfaces allow us to really see the blends of the colours. Um, hello, Julie. Morning, lady. Snow here in Bath. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. Oh, there you go. Oh, here you go. My son, uh, my son's school is closed. He's happy. Wow. Oh, do you, snow. do you remember that though, Julie? Snow when you used to... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Snow day. Yes. Um, Sharon in Somerset. Morning. We've had snow here in Somerset since 2 a.m. Still snowing. Snow day. Snow day. Not everybody likes snow days, granted. I do get that. <laughs> um, especially if you've got to travel. So actually just, just 
just don't just stay at home stay safe um hello catherine um if you can of course that is hello catherine in north yorkshire saying good morning and happy international women's day i was going to say about that um i'm at an afternoon tea today how Ooh, lovely nice. and hoping to sell lots of jewelry hoping the snow stays away keep everything crossed yeah. for you there keep everything crossed good luck lovely how nice that afternoon tea and jewelry does I it know, get any better that than that good. cakes that? <laughs> sandwiches <laughs> Tea, jewellery. You've just <laughs> epitomised my, my like the perfect scene for Elle there. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Cake, sandwiches, tea, jewellery. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think I'd... Perfect. I don't think I'd wish for much more. <laughs> We're at £7.99. pence. We're not stopping there, though. It's Wednesday morning, and we're going to, yeah, we're going to have the most amazing morning. We've got lovely Dave joining us as well um, at 10 o'clock today. We've got some absolutely beautiful carvings to bring you this morning, uh, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Nobody is paying $7.99. We don't often see Moo Kite full stop, but we also don't often see it in these kind of more, more. Uh, I'm trying to think of a, a different word to say other than cubic, but kind of square yeah, shapes. They tend I to mean, be much more spherical, don't they? Yes, yeah, they do. $5.99. That's, that's really uh, good. How many have we got then, Roscoe? Here we go. It's a little bit of an injection of warmth, isn't it? When we're all... It's cold at the moment, isn't <laughs> it's it? It's cold, yeah. See, we turn the heating off at night because, you know, we're all under a duvet and um, I don't want to have to remortgage the house just yes. to pay for my getting. Yeah, yeah, there is that. Um, so, and when I'm the first one up in the morning, so we get up and like, oh, flick the heating on quick. Um, there's 30 of these available, though, jewellery makers. So, again, make sure you do uh, check out nice and early and drop us a message. Drop us a message. Tell us what you're up to. Tell us if there's snow near you. Um, I've got some amazing pearls. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. So I've got two different shapes, uh, two different sizes rather. This is the this is the eight to nine millimeters, and I've got um, just a fraction below that as well coming up in a different strand. Um, yeah, I, I just can't get enough of pearls, and in particular jewelry maker pearls. Yeah, I mean you can get such good value here compared to like lots of other places, can't you? Totally. I love that. Totally genuine cultured pearls. I mean, yeah. we're at fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Plus, celebrate the ringed details within there. Um, I'm, I know so many of you agree. Those rings um, really show us that they are genuine. They are natural. That they are beautiful organic gemstones that literally form um, within the sea. At fourteen ninety nine, would we all agree? That's a bit of a steal. Definitely. That's an absolute steal. Yeah. It would go beautifully with Hannah's kits coming up at nine o'clock. By the way, so for example. The aquamarine, it would look lovely with your amethyst, look lovely with the multicolour barrel. Who wants these under £10? I'm happy. Are you happy? Hannah, are you happy? Oh, yeah. There's 26 of these available in the vault. Adam? Adam's not happy. What's the matter, Adam? He says not really. <laughs> he is happy. He is happy, promise. Have a cup of tea. You'll be all right. Have a cup of tea, yeah. Do you want a bit of cake? Ooh, is it I mean, the cake? I mean, I, I, maybe a bit of toast. I, I, I've, I've got, I've got a bit of malt cake. Oh, you can have that if you want. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that goes attention. That goes attention. There we go. Should we go even lower? Oh yeah. What's your favourite cake? Start using this type pearls. We're at nine ninety nine, and we're saying we're going to go even lower. Jewelry makers, seriously, nine ninety nine. For genuine cultured pearls, not glass, not synthetic, not not even shell pearls, which would be amazing. Genuine cultured pearls. And the clock is ticking to suggest we go lower. But we've got under 30 of these available. And already I can see lots of you there. Yes, what's your favourite cake? I struggle with that one because I like a oh, lot of cake. Isn't it? Yeah. And, I, and do you include things like tart it, as cake as well? Because I like, I like a citrus tart, you see. No, that's a, that's a dessert. That's, yeah, is that dessert, is it? So, so specifically... A cake. Cake, cake. I like coffee and walnut. I love lemon cakes. Yeah, lemon drizzle, carrot mm. cake, but it has to be a, 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 a nice good moist one. carrot cake. Moist, yes. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, I had to use that word. No, no, it's, it's true. Not, though. not dry, yes. It's true. Though, it's true. <laughs> Six ninety nine. Goodness me, if these don't sell out, I'll whip up the remaining quantity because that's an absolute steal of a deal, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Six ninety nine. That's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And I then agree. You can make one pair of earrings and, and sell it for way more than that, couldn't you? Well, yes, one hundred percent. Genuine <laughs> yeah. culture bills because it's one of those gemstones that we have that perceived value immediately, yes. don't we? With little, you know, my little un, um, not so much Diggy. Obviously, she's two, but Willow. You know, if I said to a pearl, she'd be like, ooh. 
Oh. You know, she recognises that they are fancy. Yeah, yeah absolutely. She recognises that they are rare. And that's at the tender age of six years old. Make sure you check them out, though. Well done, Francis. Good morning, Lincolnshire. Good morning, Christine, Jacqueline, Helen, London, Manny. Hello to you, County Amar, Lynn, uh, Genoefa. Hello to you, sorry. New customers, make sure you check out. Loads of deals on the website for you to shop ahead and have a little, per little peruse, a little schmooze, you know. I don't know where that came from. A peruse and yeah. a schmooze. A peruse and a schmooze. Well, yeah, why not? If, you know, if the shoe fits. If the shoe fits. <laughs> Buy it in every colour. Absolutely. <laughs> Hello, Anne. Uh, hi, on Jewelry Maker from sunny, snowy Aberdeenshire. Got four inches, four uh, four inches. inches in four um, for two, two days. days. Amazing wow. mild sun. Um, it's hot and already melting the snow. Uh, very beautiful. Oh, I can imagine. I, I love Scotland, by the way. I think Scotland's one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Yeah. I genuinely think so. So, uh, um, oh, that's going to be. Are you going for a walk or are you just going to stay indoors? Or are you just going to admire it through the window? That was weird yesterday because we had a, a sunny, sunny day with blue skies and a bit of snow. I know. Oh, on the school run. On the school run. I know. That's we it. Must, well, we're, we're not that far away yeah, from yeah. each other on the school run. Yeah, it was very bizarre. Um, yeah, it's beautiful though, isn't it? It is beautiful. Yeah, oh, I love it. Yeah, but it's just well it's done. Carnage if you've got to drive and it's and it's got heavy. Yeah, oh, well, so. yes, then then definitely. Yeah. But generally, if you're where you want to be already, it's lovely. Yeah. yeah. I think snow days. Snow days are great if you haven't got to do anything yeah. important. Yeah. Haven't got to go anywhere. Um, okay. Let's do. Let's do another strand of amazing pearls. These are lovely. Um, again, these are ring potato pearls. So don't expect the most perfectly spherical because they're not. They're, this is those for those of you that like your baroque shapes, your sort of nugget shapes. Uh, much more organic. But look at that amazing luster that you get alongside it. Already again, we're at fourteen ninety nine. It's a long strand. You've got a full thirty eight centimeters here. I really like this. I'd actually incorporate, you know, again, to go back to Mandy, uh, Mandy's lovely crocheted necklace. This would be lovely crocheted, I think, because they are um, so organic. Sorry, Roscoe, what was that? Yeah, it's a longer strand. So technically, this should be, well, oh my goodness, $7.99. Oh. It is, a, it's almost double the length, isn't it? Seriously, $7.99. Under £10, says Ross. He's happy. He's, ca he's, he's totally the, comfortable with that price remember, point. Do you remember the GC twist? I do remember the GC so, twist. So you get lots of, lots of nuggets and twist them together. If, lovely. If you, if you had this kind of pearl in there as well, you get all the added texture. And nice. You get that lovely sort of... Um, I don't know, like, I want to I want to say the word crackle. That's not the right word, but you do know what I mean? Where you've got like a slightly sort of... Um, dimpled surface yeah. and it makes the light catch it in a different way absolutely it's all about texture, texture. Yeah. yeah it's all about texture lovely 7 yeah. how many did we have then roscoe 20 francis has got this well done lincolnshire gabrielle hello lovely hello to you. Hel uh, helen maker genoefa another maker who's got three in their baskets i only had 20 though so you do need to check them out remember regardless of how many times you check out your basket you still only pay that one postage and packaging all day yeah, just three ninety five all day. So most, uh, well, I can't say most. Some shopping channels, it's per item. You know, for example, there's a very large shopping channel that most of you all know. I get a lot of my um, moisturiser and things from. All right. Um, you know, um, and it's like per item. So you kind of have to, it adds to the price point, doesn't it? So quite considerably. No, just one post and packaging all day with us here at Jewelry Maker. Well done, everyone. Seven ninety nine. Make sure you do check them out and do text in. Come and say hi. Tell us what you're up to. Um, okay, moving on to... We've got a request, okay. Three times, actually. 19, please. Ooh. Um, ah, oh, Julie. I love this strand. There are only 18, lovelies, just to give you a heads up. Um, yeah, the clovers. Whether you see clovers, whether you see the Alhambra inspiration, I don't think, I, I don't think either um, are uh, sort of wrong. You've got the most beautiful, beautiful carving, you know, really intricate to have that pronounced shape. It, it, we always talk about how the heart is very difficult to actually facet, but then to actually facet a four-leaf clover is, is obviously taking it to another level. Um, oh, yes, yeah, St. Patrick's Day, isn't it? Yeah, literally uh, coming up as well. Um, again, it's a, it, you see the inspiration. You're the amazing jewellery designer. For me, Hannah, this would just be... Um, I'd turn those into little connectors with some 0.4 wire yeah. and put, like, the 
couple of inches of sterling silver chain in between. Oh, nice. I really like simple. Yeah. I mean, I, well, I, I think you could do a lot with them. I, I like the idea of them as, as part of um, sort of a, a cascading earring because they could be sort of like the weight at the end of the, the tassel kind Lovely. of thing. Lovely. Oh, so yeah, that, so beautiful. That, so they sort of move about. So. It's genuine yeah. turquoise as well. I, I love it. Genuine turquoise. You know, again, go back a couple of years ago, um, I was told when I actually asked for uh, some turquoise rounds for basically a collection that was, um, it was going to be, uh, the idea was there for jewelry maker. Um, anyway, <clears throat> and I was told round, round turquoise is very wasteful, so it's very expensive. Well, this is going to be even beyond even that, isn't so, it? Yeah. Um, because of the nature of the cut. How many have we got to do, say 20? I beg your pardon, 18 of these available, 20 carats. To be lucky, you have to believe in luck, says Jack Sarpel. Um, and that was, uh, um, that was you know, one of the sayings that went alongside the inspiration of the Alhambra. That was sort of, uh, um, well, it manifested in 1968. So it has literally been around for decades, uh, decades upon decades, and still as popular today as it was back then. Um, and I, okay, look, if you want to get yourself an Alhambra necklace, um, you've got far deeper pockets than I have. <laughs> um, but I still love that look, you know, so um, I'd love to have that look at a fraction of the cost. And I, the thing is, I, I would be a fraction of the cost at yeah. £129. And that's not unrealistic, not for genuine turquoise. You know, turquoise is a, an expensive gemstone. I think we all know that. Even Alhambra themselves, if you look here um, and you're thinking, oh, yes, that's lovely. Look at the quality of that turquoise. It's actually agate. It's not, it's not turquoise. And still £7,850. I mean, they've included the tax, which is very good of them, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, it, it, it's not... And, you know, it's an expensive piece of jewellery. That's why the likes of Adele, the likes of um, the Princess of Wales, the likes of, uh, um, here we go, Alex Scott. Uh, she's, what, an English footballer. Um, you've got um, Naomi Watts. There you go. Um, these are also, I think some would say, A-listers. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Especially this lovely lady here, Princess of Wales. Looks absolutely beautiful, as always, uh, wearing her Alhambra. Um, you've got our uh, Mariah Carey, or Mrs. Christmas, as she sometimes refers Mrs. to. Mrs. Christmas, yeah. Mrs. Christmas. There's Adele, looking beautiful, as always. And, of course, Reese Witherspoon. How beautiful is that? But, again, it's a, it, it's a high-end look, for sure. Um, it's a lovely design. It's a, certainly an iconic design. But if you want to take a little bit of inspiration from that, fabulous. If not, maybe you might use these in your own unique way. I love your idea, Hannah, of actually having them on the bottle tassels. But £129 only... You're getting a lot of individual. I would, some might even consider these as, as master carvings. We had 18. Already Manchester, Julie and Sarah, Midlothian, are making, uh, have, uh, have on their way to making their confirmation. Some of you already have. This is your first price crash. First. That's unbelievable. For... 49.99 let me just count them 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 individual genuine gemstones that have been yeah. carved with precision would we all agree definitely you definitely. know it's not just like a, a clover ish shape no it's yeah it's, it's easily recognizable like both for the gemstone and for the shape yeah oh yeah good yeah. point yeah. absolutely love the fact you've got that intensity of robin egg blue while still having some of the hope matrix running through which is basically the hose rock that kind of blends into the gemstone it showcases that it's turquoise once again at 49.99 that's unbelievable but we're going even lower why not it's wednesday oh and there's only 18 of them available um, yeah, be prepared though, because these will sell out like hotcakes in just a matter of seconds. Already, I think realistically, we could all say out loud, that's an unbelievable deal, isn't it? Look at the quality of the, of the turquoise, look at the amazing quality of the faceting. I'd be amazed to get... That's great. I'd be very surprised yeah. to get rounds at 39 or ovals for 39 or nuggets. For thirty nine ninety nine, and you've got carved stones. Yeah, 
39.99. There are a lot of you there. Well done, Gabrielle. Well done, Elvira. Well done, you, Manchester. Well done, you, Julie. Well done, you, Sarah. Um, you can sit back and relax. Yours, uh, you, you've secured yours. I've also got Lunda, L Lunda, sorry, oh. London, Tessa, Tracy, Ayrshire, uh, Heather, Hertfordshire, and Midlothian. Ayrshire, you've just got yours well done. Who was that? Heather, you've just got yours well done. Um, Linda, you're there as well. That was never your early bird price, though. Oh. I mean, we're already, they're all allocated, literally, as I'm looking on my course screen. Don't let that put you off dialing through, of course. They'll be allocated, as in confirmed, on a first-come, first-served basis. But what I'm saying is I've got more than 18 names on my course screen right now. Every single one of you that has already made your confirmations, don't you worry. More money going back into your pocket. How amazing is that? Because everybody pays the final low price point. That's unbelievable, though, for turquoise. Turquoise in a, in a nugget, and that's not me being disrespectful to nuggets. I love nuggets. Um, but it, it's more affordable, isn't it? Because they nuggets or chips, they tend to be sort of uh, offcuts, if you like, or they're sort of alluvial stones that, that maybe um, are too small to be carved or cut. I've got seven of these left. $39.99 for nuggets would be absolutely amazing. But to be taking beautiful, defin definite, definite four-leaf clovers of this quality of turquoise, yeah. Wow. Wow. £34.99. How amazing is that? That's, that's phenomenal. Really it's a, good. Really it's good. such a good price yeah. for this quality of turquoise. I mean, Adele... Uh, you know, we love you, Adele. We really do. I mean, you've got, you know, cracking voice. You know, you do know your turquoise isn't turquoise, it's agate. <laughs> you can replicate that look as well, because that, that's basically, it's, a, it's a, a long wrap, isn't it? So it's just, it's like you said, you put put like a um, bit of chain between them. Yeah, just a couple of inches. Just wearing it as a necklace, wrap it around your wrist instead. I do love that look. Yeah. She looks amazing, though, doesn't she? Nice, she yeah. looks amazing. And hers is, I think she's got a carnelian, I think she's got an agate, and I think she's got an onyx one. They're all lovely, absolutely yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And listen, Spending. I would never turn my nose up to one, believe me, believe yeah. me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't have the budget that Adele does. No. Unfortunately, well, no, um, I am yet to release my, uh, um, you know, my number one. <laughs> well, we'll be there supporting you if you do. Yeah. Mine would probably turn out being something like Mr. Blobby. You know oh, what I mean? No. I don't quite have the <laughs> musical talent that Adele does. But anyway, my point is that's unbelievable. We can take inspiration from the lovely Al Alhambra design, can't we? Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Um, OK, that sold out. Well done. I know it. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. Um, because, you know, same, same statement, really. You know, um, again, going back, what was it? About, about a year and a half ago, um, when Blobby Blob... Sorry, they're saying Mr. Blobby in my ear now. And I can't, I can't... If they say it, I have to do it. Blobby Blobby Blobby! blobby, blobby. <laughs> sorry. He was weird, wasn't he? Very freaky. Yeah, it, it, it's a bit scary. Yeah. But in a sort of Do you think he was way. the banker in Deal or No Deal? Because that's the rumour, isn't it? That'd be quite funny if it was. Blobby, I'd, blobby I'd like to hear down the phone. Blobby, 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 blobby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, sorry. <laughs> that's sold out. Now, um, so a year and a half ago, I had that conversation when after I was being invited to go to Tucson, you know, come up with a few gemstones. Um, try and try and and this was Jake actually said, look, try and think about gemstones that are likely to be in Tucson. It's pretty much that is most of yeah. them, but. What he meant was, you know, try and go sort of the American, sort of yeah. sort of American yeah. gems where possible. And of course, you're going to say turquoise, aren't you? Yeah, they? obviously, yeah. Of course. Um, and initially, he came up with a design and it was a round. And Jake was like, hmm, unlikely that we're going to be able to do that because rounds are really hard to come by um, and they are expensive. And that's because it is very wasteful. Same as same you know, conversation as your Alhambra. You know, it's, it's very wasteful. You are cutting carrot weight away from a gemstone a material, literally, um, that only forms in small sizes anyway. Um, we don't see rounds very often. They are quite literally like gold dust. Look at the quality of that robin egg blue. Remember, the more intense that robin egg blue, the more valuable the turquoise is. I'm drawn to this one here. Look at that. How amazing. Stunning, isn't it? What? It's not, it's not American. 
Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Sorry, um, here's me literally wittering on about it being American turquoise. Witter, witter, witter. Um, and, and, um, and Ross has just said, I see why you're saying that, Al. But it's actually Mexican turquoise. Mexican turquoise, you'll understand why I, I, I got confused. It's because Mexican turquoise is normally more of a greenish Green. colour, yeah. isn't it? Much, a bit really like more like piece. Tibetan, yeah. yes. um, much yeah. more greenish colour. So you could, I would have assumed this was like Arizona State. Yeah. You know, no, this is Mexican. That's, that's a stunning strand. Um, I've got no idea where we're going to go with this. Because normally I can have, I mean, Ross always proves me wrong anyway, but normally I've got an idea of price per carat of certain gemstones within the current market. But this has properly thrown me a curveball, Ross. The quality is, would we all agree, the quality is like Sleeping Beauty quality. It, it really does yeah? look like Cochise, it be. Cochise yes. quality. But it's, I mean, location shouldn't. Bear much of a uh, have uh, have much of an impact on the price per carat, but the reality is it does. One hundred and twenty nine pounds for this grade, all day long. I would absolutely say that's a great deal because the quality of the stone is what's important. You know what? Let, you know, just use another uh, another uh, gemstone as a description. For example, you could let's look at rubies. Most people go, oh, Burmese ruby all day long. And yes, it is probably the most expensive and certainly the most sought after location. But that's not to say that you can't get amazing Mozambique rubies. Oh, yeah, well. Which will, which will absolutely command yeah, high price points too. There's always going to be something that stands out, isn't yes. it? Yes. You know, a classic I'm, piece. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm a bit lost on this one, Hannah. Ross says, listen, first price crash is not what our audience are going to be paying today. Ooh, I was not expecting that. Not what we're going to be paying. Okay. Sorry, I've got the beautiful set, uh, Jennifer Lawrence in front of me, wearing one of her favourites, a vintage Dior necklace. Um, I'm going to tell you, your colour, it might be the photography, granted, but your turquoise, to me, looks a better colour. Do you agree? Yeah, I, I would definitely say Because it's more intense. Yes. It's a, t it's a, it's a more intense colour. Kelly Rowlands. I mean, that's an amazing piece that's of jewellery, isn't it? Stunning, yeah. Absolutely amazing. That's a lot of turquoise, and they are huge. Absolutely huge. But again, you would expect her to have some lovely jewellery. Yes. It's yeah. Kelly Rowlands. Yeah. Go you have okay. Cher and Scarlett Johansson. Again, look at the quality of the, the, the turquoise. They just, it glows, doesn't it? And guess what? So does your Mexican turquoise strand. It literally glows. I can't believe we are going even lower than twenty nine ninety nine. Can you? I cannot believe you are. Sorry. Uh, there, we there we are. Already getting uh, lots of confirmations on this one. Oh my goodness me! Twenty four pounds and ninety nine pence for fifteen carats of a more expensive cut. Uh, of uh, you know regardless of the location wherever it might be and yeah okay there is that you know i always say it burmese um uh, burma to ruby is what is what colombia is to emerald i say that too but you you pay a premium for certain countries of origins but the beauty and the quality of the stone should be the first uh, um the first oh i don't know beckoning i guess um to purchase a gemstone we had 40 available opportunities well, okay, it's going under £20. I'm just going to say it really quickly. There you go. It's going under £20. Can you believe that? That's yes. unbelievable. That's not, I mean, that's going to be what? What do you reckon? Just, well, it's under £2 per carat. That's how amazing fabulous. is that? Yeah, really good. This would be a most beautiful bracelet. It's that perfect I, length I'm of just, bracelet. I keep looking at it thinking I, I, <laughs> I might have to secretly press the buttons to order one. Do it. <laughs> do it, do it, Han. You have to be quick, though, because there's only 20. Yeah, I think they're going to be gone. You have to be quick. 35 seconds. I'm saying it out loud. It's going under £20. Tracy's got hers. Well done, lovely. Geraldine's multi bought. Carol, Helena, well done, multi buying. Julianne's multi bought. Cumbria's multi bought. Gloucestershire. Um, you've only got 21 minutes. Gosh, where's that time gone? 21 minutes to make your confirmations. To be honest, on this strand, probably is more likely to be a sellout. 
probably more likely to be a sellout before that. Kathy in Derbyshire, hello to you, my lovely. Samantha in West Midlands, nice to see you. Nora in Surrey. Uh, Hilary, hello to you, lovely. I hope you're well. Um, if you've got a phone in your hand, stay where you are. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. You're going to have to be so quick on this. It's so close to being a sellout. Oh, tense. 19.99. There you go. Who's going to get it? How many have we got left? Oh, my goodness me. Kerry, well done. How many did you say? Did you say we had 20? Oh, 40. Phew. Thank goodness. Otherwise, I was thinking, I was actually thinking, my goodness me, that's already sold out then. Hannah Worcestershire is me. Hannah in Worcestershire. <laughs> well done, Hannah in Worcestershire. Thanks. <laughs> yes. I don't blame you, though, at the end of the day, at 19.99. Um, Carolyn Devon's got two. <laughs> Tracy in Norfolk's got two. Well done to you. Sorry. West Midlands, well done. Yeah. Kerry in Berkshire, amazing. <laughs> there she is. There she is. Turn it off again. Um, the final... Well, we had 40. Now we've got single figure quantities. I'll leave it with you because we're over allocated. Amazing. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, OK. Uh... I do have a huge Labradite before me. 6,200. Oh, hang on. It's heavy. It, oh, look at that. And you get the little plinths. That's mega, isn't it? Oh, my word. A full sphere of Labradite. Look at that, Carol. Wait, 6,240. I feel sorry for the postman already. I know. <laughs> I know. How amazing is this? Labradorite is a, a member of the Feldspar family. And, you know, we are like moths to a flame with this stone, aren't we? And you've got to remember, wherever you sit this in your home, whether it be on your mantelpiece, whether it be in the, on a windowsill or desk, whatever it might be, you know, as natural light sort of influences this beautiful stone and that curvature of your sphere um, is going to magnify that, I suppose. Tiny microscopic platelets that occur naturally within this stone um, create this, create that amazing phenomena effect. That's what we call, uh, that's what we call labradorescence. Um, you get a full spectrum of colour, often, well, historically as well, thought to be the aurora borealis, literally trapped within this stone. For me, I look at labradorite and I see this wonderful moody character. You know, of all the gemstones, this would be the, this would be that brooding, moody, Heathcliff-style like character. It's a storm cloud, isn't it? And you it see is. The going through the clouds. But how beautiful are storms? Oh, yeah. You know, how beautiful. They can be really beautiful. Um, amazing. Um, how many have we got? Ten. Seriously, we're at seventy nine ninety nine. That's amazing. I said seriously, not Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Susie? <laughs> Is she? <laughs> Susie's not $79.99. No, priceless, that one. Absolutely priceless. Um, we have 10 of these available. It comes with a little wooden plinth. I'll leave that with you. And just to give you a heads up, it's heavy, as you can imagine. It is heavy. Wow. Um, beautiful. Let's do what, sorry? Oh, my goodness me. This is unbelievable. I'm just going to steal... Um, one of these. I knew one had a mark on it though, so I <laughs> shifted it around. Um, oh my goodness me. Uh, what can I say that I haven't already said before? To be honest, um, there are seven available in the world. Those of you that know me know I've got a history with pearls. Um, I worked in a, in a jeweler's that um, used to sell very high-end pearls, very expensive pearls. They never had, back then, they never had multicolored strands like that, though. Not that I recall, anyway. Um, but every single one of the necklaces, pearl necklaces, that we used to stock in the jewelers that I worked at were four figures and then some. And I do mean and then some. Um, this would have absolutely fitted perfectly in said, said establishment. And it would have been knotted in the same techniques that you do, and it would probably have had an 18 karat gold clasp on there. What we are looking at right now, jewelry makers, is natural color. These are not dyed. That's what most people would expect. These uh, have not gone through the process of bleaching and dyeing. Those colors have literally been offered by the mollusk itself. And if, particularly with this strand, you've got golds, you've got purples, you've got pinks, you've got peaches, and above all that rarity as well, you've got natural metallic. It is estimated that from a harvest of 10,000 pearls, it's a lot of pearls, isn't it? Less than 10 will be naturally metallic. So on that basis, 
Um, I'm just going to count two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, uh, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. So you've, these, to get this strand, yeah. over 40,000 pearls will have been harvested. Wow. That That's a pretty lot of pearls. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it's, it's so easy to forget how rare. Firstly, the natural colours are. Then you talk about the shape, the quality of the shape, the amazing luster, but also the fact you have got natural metallics. So remember that from every 10,000 pills that are harvested, less than 10 will be naturally metallic. This is a beautiful strand. Um, again, I'm trying not to sound like a, like a broken record because I'm very well aware that I kind of say the same thing every time I see something like this, but I, I don't know how not to. To be honest, like I said, this is the kind of pearls that I am purchasing with my girls in mind. Um, I'm purchasing this because I know that, you know, even probably six months a year, who knows? I haven't got a crystal ball, but um, they're not going to be able to get prices, even that if we were to stay um, at what's on your screens right now. The quality of these pearls, I genuinely think jewelry maker pearls are second to none. I genuinely believe that. I think it's one of our greatest strengths, one of our greatest fortes here at Jewelry Maker is the quality. Hello, Liz. Oh, those are gorgeous pearls. What a lovely variety of gems in the first hour. Hasn't it been, Liz? It's been lovely, isn't it? We have tur we've had turquoise, we've had some mukai. Um, we've still got the Swiss blue topaz to bring you. We've brought you some um, beautiful, more classic jewelry maker pearls. And then we've got your uber high end. They are unbelievable. And please know that this is no reflection of the true value or worth. 299 pounds. Genuinely, I think we would be hard pushed to find one single natural colored pearl on a chain at that price tag. Yeah. Genuinely, I believe that. You know, whatever your favorite color, if you were to find a pearl specialist um, and say, I want a natural purple pearl, say, for example, just one on a chain, I doubt highly that it's gonna be 299. You know, um, we're not even stopping here though. There are seven of these available. Oh, five, five of them left. You have 14 minutes to secure um, your opportunity. Uh, listen, I'm being really honest. I've bought probably too many pills lately, <laughs> probably. Um, but is the, are they negative purchases? Is, is, is this, is, that's a good question. Is there such Isn't a thing it? as too no, many pills? No I'm thing. never going to look back and regret those purchases, not only because they're beautiful, but also because I know, like I said, when my girls are old enough, you know, um, and I can, uh, you know, when I go, say, for example, and I, I, I you know, they look through the jewellery that I've accumulated over the years, what I hope there uh, is that they'll do is, and I do get things valued as well, is they'll look at the valuation and realize, my goodness me, you know, this is something very special. Is the valuation going to be £299? Uh, no. No, it's no, not. No, no. It, uh, yeah, highly unlikely. And, and, and I would get it revalued if somebody did value it at that. You've got 30. That's quite a drop, isn't it? <laughs> it, it I, can't, I can't get over that. You know, the £199. If these were half the size, but they are double huge, figure millimeters, yeah. that's like. Yeah. So, do you remember? I asked Charlie Barron a while ago, what's the difference in terms of rarity between like a 10 millimeter pearl in compact? Can, can you relate that to a diamond? He said, well, okay, that's like a three carat diamond. Wow. That's wow. not my, uh, like, that's a question I asked Charlie Barron some time ago. So these are huge in their size. They're not bleached and dyed. They are naturally colored. And the certificate of authenticity will say that. Amazing work, Samantha. Well done to you. I've also got a maker who, who's got multiples in their baskets. If you want that quantity, I would check them out. Uh, Diane, Jane, you're there as well. Diane, you've just got yours on the phone lines. If there's any of these available, I might have to start shopping today. I already, I already have. <laughs> yeah, I might have to. I, again, I know I've, I've got pearls. Many of us have got pearls already from Jewelry Maker because we can we recognise the quality. Um, I'd sell one pair of those for that price at the very least. Absolutely, absolutely. And all the rest, well, uh, to use our lovely Jan, the rest is gravy. Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Um, hello, Elizabeth, saying morning, everybody. I have these pearls. They're gorgeous. Thank you, Liz, in Tynan Way. They are beautiful, aren't they? 
Absolutely. Are they for you though, Liz? Are you going to keep those for you, or is there something that you uh, do you sell them? Do you put them on your um, Etsy shop? Sorry, you've got yours. Amazing. I've got Lancashire there. I've also got Shropshire there. Hello to you, Jane. Oh, how many did you say there was, Ross? Seven. Three left. I'll have one of those though. I haven't got my phone next to me. Are those? Um... I'll wait till the break. I'll have one of those if they don't go, Ross. Look at this. Let's put it up against the neckline, shall we? Imagine this, imagine this, knotted. Imagine it with a clasp of your choice. Personally, I would go gold. That's only, I can only speak personally. I'd probably, Gradu I'd get something with um, a bit of diamante in there, or a bit of sparkle. Ooh. Very, very, very fancy. Are <laughs> these the pearls that I wore to the uh, I, um, I award ceremony? That, you know. I'm fairly sure they are. Yeah, um, yeah, Anne and Sue made me a lovely pearl necklace to wear to the award ceremony. And I'm fairly sure it was this strand. Yeah, I mean, they, they look sort of red carpet worthy. They do, they? they definitely do. Well done, Surrey, well done to you, Lancashire. I've got how many, Regina, I can see you there in London. I've got one left, so that could be yours. How amazing is that? I don't want to take it down, I love it too much. <laughs> oh. No, I don't. <laughs> um. Nobody, they weren't looking. They weren't looking. <laughs> Let's just say it wasn't the most perfect crime, was it? Being on live TV and all that. So, um, what's that? Sorry, Ross. Oh, the Akoya pearls that are coming up. Um, oh, my goodness me. These are happening just beyond this hour. So um, after the break, Akoya pearls. Yeah, I mean, so, um, they're from so the, they form in the cool waters uh, just off Japan. They are smaller than your um, um, sort of most other locations. So if you think South Sea pearls, they're a bit bigger than this. And that's because the, uh, the Akoya mollusk itself actually is much smaller. Um, and given the fact that they form in such cool waters, they don't grow as, as rapidly. Do you know, it's only about three to four months a year that Akoya pearls are actually farmed. So again, it all adds to the expense. These are coming up um, just beyond the break. So make sure you're with me for that one. Amazing. Good luck, Regine. I can see you there on the phone lines. Good luck to you, honey. Um, okay. Oh, Dan. Wow. There are only four of them, though, so you're going to need to be quick. Oh. They're so cool, aren't they? That's Look at that place. luster. The fact you get... What do you mean it's not just, oh, I always forget this, don't I? Sorry, Ross, every time I do this, don't I? Because, because to be honest, what you like, to be honest, <laughs> that's enough for me, I'm happy. Are you happy? Look, you've got the most beautiful fireball pearl, you've got amazing baroque, half drill. Are these all half drilled then? These are all half drilled. And then, as if that wasn't amazing enough, you've also got two beautiful strands. A lot. I remember this. I, I do remember this, Ross. I don't remember what you take it to, though. He says, there's only four, and I'm going to do it in one price crash. You get everything. So you get the fireball, you get the brock, you get the rounds, you get the two strands. I'm holding my breath now, because I can't remember what Ross took this to. There's a lot of pearls for your money. You see, I, I love this hatcheting of the prices that he's doing. It's like, hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. absolutely smash that price. <laughs> That's what he does in the gallery. I know, really. it's great. Lots of uh, ninja moves. There are only four. Oh, they've sold out. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. That is a lot of pearls for your money, isn't it? Amazing. Well done. Um, oh, I, I adore these. Where have they gone? Hang on. Oh, they. Hang on, hang on. Uh, sorry, one sec. Here we go. Now, um, faceted pearls are very new. Uh, um, you know, they are quite new to the pearl uh, um, market, if you like. And once upon a time, and I did tell you actually, I was flicking through sort of old clips of Jewelry Maker a while ago, and I saw our lovely Lucy, and uh, oh. lovely Lucy, who's doing amazing, by the way, isn't I know, she? Yeah, she's her uh, as, rate's incredible. Yeah, yeah, she's doing incredible. You see her at like Silverstone and things like that. Just with all the celebrities. All the you celebs. Know, yeah. the celeb. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so yes, yeah, so, uh, um, Lucy was talking about. 
about faster pearl. She was actually saying, and I am going back quite a few years now, probably about 10 years or so. Um, and she was showing some, some shell pearl. And what she was basically saying, this, this was a faceted strand of shell pearl. And she said, of course, because you can't facet cultured pearls. And she wasn't wrong, you know, absolutely. You couldn't at that time. Um, they are a new development um, that has taken years and years and years in terms of progression. I think it was an amazing uh, Japanese pearl harvester that masterminded this idea. But if you think about it, from the culturing process, which is not, you know, it's not, um, you know, one plus one equals two, you know, we'll start the processing, the culturing process, and they nurture for these mollusks in the hope that they will produce a cultured pearl. So you don't know for sure that that's going to happen. Then you get the rarity of, uh, oh my goodness me, we've cultured a pearl, but even beyond that, it's a natural purple pearl which again is there's no, no science to that. These are actually um, really an anomaly of nature to get that intensity of color. Yeah. Beyond that, you've got to nurture this pearl for much longer if you um, envisage facet faceting them because you want your nacre to be that much thicker to be able to cut it away. But the end result, if you can imagine a close, you, you know like a peony flower when they're in a bud, they're really oh, yeah. tight, aren't That's they? That's a really good description. When they're really tight yeah. and you've got all those petals together, visualise that in a pearl. Oh! So gorgeous. But they are expensive because you've got over 200 facets on each pearls there. I mean, it is, you, it's, it's, what is that price, Ross? What? Oh, I don't know what to say about that. They're so cool, aren't they? 29 99 is <laughs> Ross? Are they are they half drilled as well? Is that yeah, it? yeah. So that that is the most incredible pair of earrings, isn't it? Waiting to happen. Such a talking point. Or cufflinks, maybe. But I don't know what to say about that, other than the fact that's that's <laughs> far too low. Well, he's got the hatchet there again with the price tag and just going crazy with it. I, I, I haven't got time to do it now, but look, I've shown you that presentation, haven't I? Yeah. Where where there's one single culture purple, pearl. Purple pearl on the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or a Tahitian or something like that. And I, heaven knows what price those pieces of jewellery are, but it's just one. Twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, what on that's... earth? Of course they sold out. Sorry to those of you that missed that. That's absolutely amazing. Okay, goodness me. Where do we go from there? Well, you've got a matter of minutes to make your confirmation on any of the items included in this hour. Don't forget your Akoyas are coming up. Um, I do have the turtles. Should we quickly the put turtle? this? Oh, he's adorable. Oh. Um, just before your early bird, um, and because so many of you already confirmed on this one, we don't want it to close at 49.99 because it does need to go lower. Let me show you. You've got this lovely uh, um, sea turtle, basically. It's actually kind of like a locket. Can you see there? You've actually got a fastening, and that fastening, the topaz set on the top of his shell. Absolutely beautiful sea turtle. Lovely sterling silver um, filigree work all the way around. And you basically open the locket, pop your little labradorite in, which I know you're not seeing the labradorescent sat like that, but um, it has got a beautiful blue sheen across the surface. We've dropped that price for you, everybody. £17.99. Love this. They're just beautiful, elegant creatures, aren't they? That's so cute. Um, yeah, just dropping that down so it's at uh, its early bird price tag. Amazing. Okay, already lots of you have shopped ahead on your early bird, and I'm not surprised. What's better than one amazing gemstone? Two. How about a parcel, then? We're Go about on, to then. bring you a parcel <laughs> of the electrifying, the look-at-me gemstone that is Swiss Blue Topaz. <laughs> all of these <laughs> there's 296 <gasps> no oh my gosh <laughs> Han, years ago you and I sat next to each other in the in the office we did yes and we used to have the vault kind of behind us but yeah. behind obviously yeah. walls and security and every so often we'd be like, oh, I might treat myself to a piece of jewellery. 
And do you remember we used to do this on? Did quite a lot. <laughs> on the sneak, yeah. we used to like be doing our job, make a work, yeah. have a little look on there, and we used to do that. Can we um, our secrets now? Secrets. <laughs> and then we'd go to the vault saying, "Can I just have a look at this one?" And they'd bring it and show they us. Would. Do you remember? Yeah. Um, one of those pieces of jewellery that I bought was a Swiss blue topaz ring in nine karat gold. I wear it all the time, and every time I do wear it. And that's, I've had it probably, I don't know, 10 years. Um, every time I do wear it, everyone's like, oh, oh my goodness me, that's beautiful. They're so striking though, aren't they? Ah, you notice them from distances away. Topaz, a birthstone firstly, but also a naturally brilliant forming gemstone. And what I basically mean by that is, Topaz is almost a bit of a show off in the clarity stakes. It, it has, it forms naturally clearer than the diamond, basically. Topaz, again, is a durable gemstone. So you can, that's why, like I said, I wear mine all the time and there's no scratches on it. And I, I can't say it's indestructible because no gemstone is, not even diamonds. But it's right up there on the most scale. It's eight on the most scale. So very durable gemstone. But also, here is a gem that responds beautifully to certain treatments. And without getting too um, gemmy, because quite honestly, and a bit science, I, science can't, yeah. I can't get my head around this either. It's all about particles being bombarded at this gemstone and, and uh, for the period of time that they're sort of in that, I think it's called CPD, I think it is, uh, uh, or V, vapor, that's it, um, disposition. So they're actually positioning these particles within the gemstone itself. Anyway, the, so you have your, your sky blue, then you have your Swiss blue, and then you have your London blue. London blue topaz um, it takes much longer. That's why it's that darker color. You know, I didn't realize this, but years can go into the actual process of transforming what would have been a colorless topaz to a Swiss blue to a London blue topaz. Years. So we should expect to pay a premium for it. But the end result is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. It is one of the most. I mean, you think about it. A Pareva tourmaline is not too dissimilar from this. I mean, I'm not saying identical. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's swimming pool, it's, it's definitely, swimming pool blues, yes, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Some of the best appetite in the world is not too dissimilar from this amazing parcel. You are just a, a, a whisker away from five carrots. You've got a parcel of ovals, princess cuts, hearts. How beautiful are these? This is how jewelers purchase their stones. They literally purchase them in parcels and then what they'll do is usually organize them out so there's, okay, there's that calibration, that can be this design, there's that calibration or maybe they're one of a kind. We're at 14.99. I am staggered that we can offer you, well, one stone at what we're, what we're gonna do is amazing. One single Swiss blue topaz for the price that we're actually taking it to, absolutely amazing. You're not just getting the one though, you're getting the full parcel. Think about all the techniques that you can incorporate this within. Not just your gemstone setting, sand casting. You could incorporate this. You'd probably have to do the, 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 the metal work first and yeah. then set the stone. What about cast? The, the amazing team that joined oh, us on yes, the studio. Of course, yeah. Silver clay, all of the above. $9.99 for just shy of five carats of beautiful, summery, vibrant Swiss blue topaz. This is the thing, if any of my friends came to me and said, right, I want a really you know, bright blue, a really, really vibrant blue, what gemstone should I go for? I would probably mention Swiss blue topaz first. Yeah, definitely. I think, I think it's the only one that's kind of electric blue, really, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. You yeah. notice it from meters away. There's a 60 second clock on your screen. Oh my goodness me. Uh, can I say this? It's quite unconventional, but even if you don't know what you're going to do with them as of yet, this is a parcel of beautiful stones. They're beautiful, aren't they, as they, they are? Yeah, they Literally really as are. is. You could put them in a nice little locket if you wanted to and just have them like a shop art inspired happy diamonds kind of movement. How beautiful is that? Or whether you would, literally, maybe it's your um, November. Maybe you're a November baby, much like my little Tiggy. Then, you know, I buy topaz because it's her birthstone. And we're at 9.99 and we're going even lower. That's phenomenal, isn't it? We're, uh, sorry, what? We're going lower? We're going lower. There's a clock on the screen. Oh, my goodness. Even though that is Hannah, the price that I showed that you on is my the, Yeah, that's the price you just showed me. Yeah, it is. 
We are going lower. Well done, everybody. Beautiful. I adore Swiss blue topaz. And when I did do, uh, when I used to sort of present on gems um, and rocks as well, um, Swiss blue topaz hours were always one of the most popular. Always. Because, again, it's one of those showy gemstones. You know, you've got your subtle and your, uh, I don't know, maybe an opal, which would be a little bit more subtle. You know, then you've got your topaz that's just like this, you know, the star, the, the star of the show. Just look at me, six ninety nine. Goodness me, that's considerably lower than the price you put on the star buy sheet, Roscoe. Um, but it's all good. I don't blame you for multi buying. Kathy, Denise, Jackie, Elizabeth, Tracy, Dorothy, Kent, Maker in Isle of Man, Samantha, Francis, Karen. Well done. Um, I've got London. Uh, we've got Jennifer, Devon. Hello to you, Anne in Pembrokeshire, Deborah in Derbyshire, Julie, Rosalind. Hello to you, Angus, Lynn, Janet. I can't keep up with you now. Um, by the way you're not restricted on quantities can i just throw some say something really out there go on really out there um because my, my mum's actually gone into a home now and obviously we're in the process of going to empty in um, empty in a house and whatnot but she, i've picked up there's this just little tiny really cute little bowl yeah a little crystal bowl you know and you just think what do you use that for there's literally nothing that you could yeah, use that for yeah i've got a use I could just literally put these Gem little stones. stones in there. Wow. How pretty would that be? Oh my gosh. Just a little, little parcel, a little loose parcel of amazing topaz. Um, well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines, everybody. Right, I tell you what, if you love that, then I think you're going to absolutely love this too. Let me just give that a little rub because I think it's got a fingerprint on. Um, okay, I'm going to put it alongside and I'm going to let you know you've got an, another amazing parcel, beautiful amethyst here. Five carats of, or am 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 a yes, am a yes. I love I love the typo. <laughs> am a yes. It's not. It's amethyst. Okay, just so you know. Um, it's the type of the graphics. <laughs> um, am a yes. Um, it's amethyst. It's not a new gemstone. Um, we're going to put sixty seconds on your screen. Oh, okay. We're going to crash the pri uh, crash the prize, and then we're going to give you sixty seconds to check out, and that's everything else in the hour as well. After the break, we've got those beautiful Akoya pearls. Um, okay, I'll just move that so I don't confuse anybody. Amazing. Four ninety nine. Sixty seconds starts now. Go, 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 go. You've got sixty seconds to make your confirmation on your am amethyst, not amethyst. Um, <laughs> 60 seconds on this and 60 seconds on absolutely everything that we have brought you. Those amazing natural colour pearls, your turquoise, your mukai, your beautiful faceted pearls. I think they sold out anyway. Um, the turtle, um, the other pearl strands that we've brought you as well so far. You've got 35 yeah. seconds to make those confirmations, lovely jewellery makers. Don't go anywhere, though, because if you're shopping for some of the finest pearls in the world, we have a Koya coming up immediately after the break. How amazing. And we've got the beautiful kits with our gorgeous Hannah as well. Um, if you've pressed option one on your phone lines, don't you worry. Just stay where you are. Don't abandon those calls. Our call center will get to you. I can promise you of that. Stay warm. Stay safe today. Um, yet yeah, snows are coming. Isn't that like a Game of Thrones statement? It might well have been. Oh, it might um, be. Don't go anywhere, though. Check out your baskets. We'll be back after this. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. To know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour if you ever miss a show you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed 
and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Well done, everybody. Congratulations um, on what, whichever, all uh, the items that we brought you in the hour just previously. Those multicolored pearls were incredible. The uh, J, uh, sorry, the amethyst was absolutely amazing, honestly, loads. And we've still got so much to bring you. In um, round about an hour's time, we've got Dave stepping into the studio to launch to you all some absolutely beautiful type A carvings, brand new, never been seen before. But before the kits, and they are amazing kits, for the lovely techniques and demonstrations from our lovely Hannah, we have the most unbelievable strand of Akoya pills coming up. Um, and you know what? Certainly, I never really un appreciated this at the t um, a few, you know, a couple of decades ago. Because to me, pills were pearls. You know, um, even though we used to deal with some very expensive pills, I didn't know. I used to tell you, South Sea pills, but I never really knew what that meant. You know what I mean? It was just, I thought it was just a name and, for yeah, it. Yeah, like a title. Like. Yeah. Um, so there are, to say this statement is, is true, but it's kind of not. Let me explain what I mean. There are three big locations in the world, in the, in the pearl world. So South Sea, Akoya, and Tahitian pearls. They're all saltwater pearls, and really they are the kind of the pinnacle, if you like. Now, these days, freshwater pearls are equally, though, you know, um, um, and you've also got your, the Pearl River, I can't think of the name, it's gone blank. Um, Zhujiang, thank you, the Zhujiang uh, River pearls, equally very, very, very luxurious. Lots of freshwater pearls are, are, are living up to sort of that, that high caliber and grade. Um, but really, historically, it's Tahitian, South Sea and Akoya pearls. Now, but what is it about Akoya pearls? Because they are all very different as well, those three locations. So it's all down to what you're looking for. Um, you're, I'll start with Tahitian pearls, where they tend to be black. So um, they're black pearls. They come from the black lip oyster. So they're very unique for that reason. Your um, South Sea pearls come from the um, coast of Australia, much larger, certainly the most deaverish of the pearls. Um, they, they're formed in the golden lip oyster. Um, and you get your golds and your uh, sort of uh, uh, whitish color 
colours there. Akoya pearls, again, you can get mixed colours within Akoya pearls, but these are formed um, off the coast of Japan. But what is so special about them? Well, rather than me, um, my words, let's go to an article that I found some time ago, but it perfectly describes just how exciting Akoya pearls are. Um, so what is an Akoya pearl? And what makes Akoya pearls so special? With the fashion world embracing pearls like never before, there is quite a buzz about pearls these days, prompting Vogue to ask earlier this year, are pearls the new diamonds? Well, I think, to be honest, they are, aren't they? Yeah. Let's be honest, lots yeah, of celebrities definitely. are wearing them on the red carpet. Um, with the pristine white wonders of Mother Nature showing up on runways, red carpets and IG feeds, everyone is talking pearls. And we do mean everyone. Not just the ladies, this gender-fluid gemstone has captured the limelight with both males and female celebrities as fashion houses turn uh, to pearls as a powerful symbol of status and sophistication. I don't think they've answered the question yet, though. No. What is it about a coir pearl? Well, here's the science. You can see there in these photographs, um, that's you know, a pearl farm basically at the bottom just there. You can actually see the, uh, um, the pink tartar um, oyster as well, which is much smaller, and you can kind of gauge that as well. And again, the other photograph shows you um, an Akoya pearl. You might notice straight away the difference between Akoya pearls. They tend to have this lovely pinkish overtone. Um, they're very, you know, pristine white is their color. Mm. They're much smaller in their yeah. size. Um, so you can see a little bit of the science there but they're actually um, salt water pearls but much cooler water locations the Akoya culture pearl forms in uh, uh, pink tada uh, oyster these oysters are thriving in the hidden bays off the coast of Japan in the cold salt waters of the Pacific Ocean um, Asayla Okoya is a brand, by the way. Um, Okoya pearls come from Japan. These pearls have, are harvested in the colder months from December to March, so right now, actually, and produce pearls um, with the highest thickness of nacre. The highest quality Okoya pearls grow in the ocean up to two years to allow sufficient time for the pearl to form um, with thick nacre and a wonderful luster. The thicker the nacre, the more lustrous the pearl. And, and that makes sense because Okoya pearls are widely regarded the most lustrous of all. Um, again, to relate back to conversations that I've had with pearl specialists, that's really the number one in pearls. You know, if you think, uh, um, I don't know, if you go for maybe the size of a diamond, is that number one for you? Or is it the quality of the color or the quality of the clarity or the quality of the cut? In the pearls, really, it's how prominent is that luster. Um, uh, these oysters produce the smallest, uh, um, smallest of the pearl producing oysters, measuring three to five inches in diameter. It therefore produces smaller pearls than the oyster that uh, produce South Seas and Tahitian pearls. Akoya pearls generally generally range in size between three to nine millimetres. So again, nine millimetres really being that kind of, I mean, that's a large Akoya pearl. Um, where was I? Uh, with the occasional rare 10 to 10 and a half millimetre. The Akoya pearl is known for its superb luster and its perfectly round shape. Akoyas also have a beautiful colour consistency, making them often the pearl of choice for women's first strand of pearls. I would agree. If, you, if you're not necessarily looking for size, but you are looking for consistency in a spherical shape and you are looking for premium luster all day long into the moon and back, <coughs> it's an Akoya pearl. Uh, Akoyas were the first pearl um, ever to be cultivated. In 1893, a Japanese man developed a scientific process for cultivating pearls inside the Akoya oyster. At first, very few of these pearls made their way to Europe and even less the United States. And by the mid 20th century, um, Asile, again, it's that brand, had started distributing um, Akoya pearls in America. Culture pearls revolutionized the world of fine jewelry, making pearls more readily available to women of all types. Before cultured pearls, only natural pearls, as in literally diving to the bottom of the sea to have Free a little diving. look. Yeah, 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 to have a little look around. Mm. Um, uh, readily, uh, where was I? Uh, pearls have ever been available. So the supply was severely lim uh, limited and often reserved for royalty. Um, with culture pearls becoming available in the general public, the fashion world in New York, Paris, and Milan took note. So Akoya's revolutionized really pearls. The, they are the first location that introduced cultured pearls. But they come at a premium. You saw just a few moments ago, 
one single Akoya pearl. I don't know the size. I don't know the size of it, but look how beautiful it is. I mean, it's lovely, isn't it? It's a really simple design, perfectly spherical. You can see how crisp that luster is. That's because of the thick nacre. Remember these forming cold waters. So you get this really lovely crisp luster, but a single pearl, 129 pounds. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I mean, I'm guessing because it's hard to get your size, your scale, but that would probably be about 7 mil. That tends to be about standard. I'm guessing, even if it was 9 mil, £129 yeah. for one, one single pearl. Okay, but we're not bringing you one. We're bringing you a strand. So have a little look at Blue Nile. Now, um, I, I rate Blue Nile. I think they you know, they bring some absolutely Good. amazing yeah. quality stones. Yeah. Um, premium Akoya Pearl necklace strand with an 18 carat white gold, um, like slightly bigger by half a millimeter, basically. Um, ours are seven mil. Um, you're talking 3,000 pounds for that necklace. And, that, um, and I'll, I can tell you around about the price that that class would be maybe couple of hundred pound maybe um our strand by the way is 40 centimeters so it's more than enough with the knotting in the class to actually make a full princess pearl necklace three thousand pounds it's a lot of money yes they're marginally bigger but i think you'd agree they have that same consistency that beautiful spherical shape what about mickey moto themselves yeah so it was mickey moto who developed mm -hmm. the culturing pearl process from this location so it makes sense that they are working with your acquire pearls Again, a touch larger, a touch, £3,690. Again, I know there's a clasp on that. I know there is. It's knotted. But I, really, I'm not making comparisons here because these are marginally larger. But it's, it's really to set that expectation of what a coir pill should be. They should be. And, well, they are. The reality is they are four figures. In, on the high street even, well, high street, high-end jewellers. Today, I've got 30 available opportunities to get near round, and we will always err on the side of caution, six to seven millimetres, a full 40 centimetre strand. Um, I think this is one of the only Akoya pearl strands that we have left within the vault. Take a little look at this. Look at that luster from here. Even from that distance, you can see it's that beautiful stunning, luster. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, this is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. But do you know what, Ross? I'm kicking myself now. My dad bought my mum some Akoya pills years ago, years and years and years ago, and I need to get them re-knotted, re actually. Um, and I'm fairly sure they're actually a bit smaller than these. They're Akoya pills. They've got an 18-carat gold clasp. Um, and again, I know that he paid full figures for them years ago. This is an unbelievable deal. Hannah, have you got any idea what these are going to? Not a clue. You know, we talk about legacy heirlooms. Yeah. Yeah, uh, to hand down a coy pearls. You know, it's like, hand down, it's like handing down diamonds or handing yeah. down tanzanite or a coy pearls are in that. You it's, know, in that yeah, loop, definitely in they? that top bracket. Yeah. You won't believe what these are going to. I'm just trying, I want, like, okay, if you are a pearl lover and you are looking for the best, who wouldn't want to be looking for the best? Seriously, look, look at the comparison. And what's that? Uh, Mapping and Web, Mickey Moto, 3,690. Does it look vastly different? No, not at all. Marginally smaller. Marginally smaller. Look how crisp the luster is on both. Look how beautifully spherical both are. There is one significant difference. And it's going to show up right there. It's a significant difference. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness me. That one on the bus, goodness me. Oh, <gasps> That's stunning, isn't it? So beautiful. Oh. Uh, I'm shopping already, so I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> is this That's it, you know, we, we've postage paid. <laughs> I'm just looking, I was like, is there split payment? I hope there's yeah. split payment, because look, look, I'm getting involved on the split payment yeah, as well. Yeah. But, jewellery makers, let me just tell you, be, look at them, they're absolutely beautiful. Think about your five virtues, that absolutely is, applies, whether it's Tahitian, South Sea, Akoya, Freshwater Pearls, whichever it is. You know, and that is basically shape, 
Well, these are near rounds. Um, colour, well, they're natural, natural colour. I won't get into the overtones as well, but you can see they've got a definite sort of gold overtone yes, to this one, yeah. which is very sought after, um, a goldish overtone. Then we start talking about things like um, the nacre, how smooth that nacre surface is. We talk about the luster as well. That it's ticking every single one of these boxes. So even here at £1,999, if you'd have asked me 20 years ago, would I be able to source Sequoia pearls at two grand? I, I think you'd have had a struggle, to be honest, unless it was secondhand or it was maybe yeah. um, a secondhand piece of jewellery, pre-loved, as the, as the, as the yeah. industry likes yeah, to call yeah. them. It's going again. Oh, not just by a little bit, Han. Oh How God. did you say 30? Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> Don't swear on TV. <laughs> it's like, whoa. That is phenomenal. <laughs> that is not your price. No. Honestly. For a coil pearl. My goodness me. Let me show you the previous closing price. And then I'm going to tell you today, it's the last time we're going to see these for sure. Yeah. <gasps> Honestly. It's the last, <laughs> hang on a minute. I, I'm so tempted to be, to literally run over and get my phone as we speak right now. We've previously closed near round certified Akoya pearls, natural with a gold overtone at 249. And today we are going even lower. So again, I'm trying not to say the things that I always say about per uh, our pearls, but you know, this is legacy. This is heirloom. This is what we should we could we could absolutely pass down to future generations. You know, previously closed and over a hundred. It was with us, wasn't it, Ross? Over a hundred flew out at two four nine. Today we are going to change history. We're going to do a closeout deal. Remember that single pearl, by the way, at £129, you're getting a full strand of certified Akoya pearls. Fiona, huge congratulations. Samantha, massive congratulations. Anne in Cardiff, West Midlands, new customers. I so want to run over and get my phone right now. There are 19 of these left within the business hand. You might have to hold this in a second. Yep, I can do that. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this on Akoya Pearls. Akoya Pearls. You don't have to take my word for it. Have a look on the website, the price of Akoya Pearls. That's lower than you says on my That's star That's lower than sheet. I thought he was going. It's even well. lower than it says on my <laughs> star by sheet. Wow. Goodness me. If you know anyone getting married, yeah. Or if you're if you mother of the bride or Mother's Day, if you're I've never been this unprofessional fancy. before, but it's got to happen. Yeah, I, I, I won't rush we, because where, where I know there's people there. there. So you've got the chance to make your confirmations. <laughs> but I've got to do this. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> She's gone over there. I can't, I, can't, I can't quite believe we're doing this. I know I'm better off buying in this auction than I am as a, as a, as a member of staff. I know that. That's a ridiculous deal. That's phenomenal, isn't it? That's absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe we've just done that. £43.75. <laughs> Did I go for, uh, fully Welsh? Oh, you know I'm passionate when I... When, when I'm Welsh, the, when, I go all passionate. You proper Welsh, yes. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Well done, everybody. Um, we've got some multi-buyers on this. It's, it's not just me, is it, that, that, that recognises how no, unbelievable that price point is. Why is... You know, in the screen, play securely. Why won't you do it? Hang on. You won't let me scroll down. Oh, yeah, I had the same problem earlier. Close. There you go, it's all right, done yeah. it. I'm just about get it. Ah! Oh. Jackie, Anne, Rupal, Anna, Linda, Angela, Veronica, Victoria, Claire, Neil and Linda. I'm still on, oh, there we go. Worcestershire. <laughs> um, that's amazing. That has to be, thank you, Hannah. Stunning. And I apologize for being incredibly unprofessional there. But that's why I kind of meandered across because I was like, you know what? You don't, we, we, we shouldn't be able to buy a coy of pearls. 
No, they're not. I'll put them on the back of my hand. Somebody's asking about the texture um, of them. Are they banded? Hello, Deborah in Derbyshire. No, not at all. You can see that spherical shape. Yeah, there's a couple of little um, characteristics on there, but then we should expect those. You know, it's like us having a little freckle, isn't it? Um, hello, Jan, saying these pills are for my daughter's wedding uh, for her to wear in September. Oh, Jan, that's Stunning. amazing. Congratulations to your daughter. She's going to look absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, oh, I love a wedding. Hello, Gloria. Hi, El. I bought a coil uh, pills from Jewelry Maker um, years ago. Um, they're still in my um, possession. Can't let them go. Um, they're the best pearls in my collection, and I have a lot. <laughs> You've got some amazing pearls. I do know that, Gloria. I'm not passing with mine either. Literally, I've just purchased during this auction as well. Um, hello to Samantha. Hi, you lovely. Uh, this is the second strand I've purchased from Jewelry Maker. They're absolutely beautiful. The first strands were more expensive. Yeah, I'm fairly sure. You know what, Samantha? A lot of us will be saying that. I and I'm sure you still got a great price for yeah, Coya Pearls in the previous this is round. Crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense, does it? No. <laughs> 175 pounds. Ye May. Lisa, Jackie, Valerie, Clive, Tracy, West Midlands, Neil and Linda, Jackie, um, Eleanor. Yeah, that'll be me. Um, um. It's unbelievable. Do you know, I, and that speaks volumes, actually. Does it, our Adam, he's a man of few words, isn't he? Yeah. Director Adam. Yeah. Adam, you've just said, that is amazing. That is ama amazing. Ethan, you've seen a, a Coya Pearls on Gems. £175. It's amazing, isn't it? Look it at the quality. Crazy. There are seven of them left. We are right up close and personal. Oh, my goodness me. So if anyone's got a special birthday coming up this year, this would be a lovely present for them. Oh. I, d I would genuinely... I don't think I could part with them, though. Like a, a gold clasp or something yeah, like that Yeah, 100% well. a gold yeah. clasp. At the very least, sterling silver, but if you can, you know... If you can, do you, know, do you know, and I get gold is more expensive, especially at the moment. But can I just say, eBay is your friend. Or Cookson and Gold have got gold I, class. Yeah, I'd say I, I bought from them recently yeah. as well. So it's sort of restranded it. Cookson and Gold, a you know, a bit of, a bit of yeah. I mean, they're one of our competitors, but of course we'll advertise them. They've got, look, they've got a lovely gold class there at quite an amazing price point. They, these deserve a gold class, in my opinion. It is only my opinion. It's entirely up to you, of course. I can't believe we're at 100. The, you're, making, you're making huge savings on the strand. Huge savings. So hang on, let's just go back to it. Blue Nile. These have got a gold overtone, so you'll see the actual difference. This is more of a silver. And, and neither are, it's personal choice, really, which overtone. Here we go, 3,000 pounds. All right, it's got the clasp, it's been knotted. Hello, Anne. Well done. You've got yours lovely in Cardiff. Jane in Bristol. There are two left and 16 of you with it still in your basket. Oh, my word. I can't quite believe this. £43.75 on split payment. Oh, final one. The final one. I'll leave it with you. Amazing. Well done. That's an incredible price point, wasn't um, it? Yeah. Unbelievable. Absolutely yeah, unbelievable. Now, don't worry about the kits. If we roll over, we roll over. It's not a... It's not a um, it's not no a problem. Biggie. No biggie, it. no drama. <laughs> Remember, we have also got some, let me show you actually, these beautiful jades that are coming up being launched with Dave um, as your deal of the day. So you've got this lovely infinity design. That's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna, yeah, <sighs> I think I love the fact that it's all just sort of twisted round. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. The infinite spiral. It's stunning, isn't it? endless these are all being launched today with dave um amazing well done everybody make sure you stay tuned for that because that's going to be incredible how about suspending one of those from your aquarius wow wow gosh um now you've got four beautiful kits but hannah talk us through your beautiful jewelry once again um yeah so i'm just wondering if i if i had a different strand for my um amethyst one looking at this uh, -huh. uh but you could do the same thing with it yeah um so each of the kits has got a um a kind of checkerboard fasted glass um connector and then some gemstones um, that hopefully are, are of a similar kind of colour. Uh, and then some um, leather cord and some seed beads. And then what I wanted to do is I, I quite like the, the, the whole wrapped um, bracelet thing at the minute. So I wanted to see if I could do that with these kits. Um, so I got like the lapis was the one I started with. 
down there and I, I really love it I, I think I think it's just a lovely thing it's really really easy to wear um, I, th I think it's fine to mix the you, you sort of your glass with the gemstone because they, they kind of like they enhance each other oh definitely yeah and um, I, yeah I just I like the undulating kind of finish it's beautiful. to this yeah um, any questions that you have for Hannah, do message in. Um, there's four different kits, different colourways, but you can shop ahead on all of them. Now, firstly, you don't just get a small amount of leather here. Is it? Is it like two metres? I thought so. That's a lot. Two metres, 1.8 millimetres in its thickness as well. So it's, you can, you know, it's quality leather as well. Yeah. It's yeah, nice it's... and soft leather. Sometimes leather can almost be a little bit plasticky if it's too heavily coated. Um, this is quality soft le leather, which yeah. you'd come, you, you'd want that if you're obviously incorporating it into your jewellery. You don't just get that, though, so I'll put that down on the desk. You've also got a lovely tube of um, Mayuki Delicas. These are in your cobalt blue, um, 11 O's. Amazing. Here is that connector that Hannah was just referencing. Really beautiful. And again, these come in different colours. So let me show you that like a swiss blue like color yeah and finally you have an amazing strand of aquamarine this strand is stunningly beautiful are you going to stay there no i didn't no. So. <laughs> of course you're not going to stay there um here we go so a beautiful strand of aquamarine look at i love this shape um faceted rondelles but they're the the larger sizes yes yeah you get that, a lovely um well because you got all the, like, the sort of like the sparkliness to it i thought that next to the leather was quite nice yeah and beautiful then, it's just a, a is this a u kit uh, yeah I've, I've done these yeah yeah you put <laughs> yeah. these kits i could tell actually but it's, it's just got your vibe about it the but they all work <laughs> together so beautifully don't they yeah I, well i think so you know I, I just i like the idea of a little pop of color i like the idea of um something that it's kind of like it's kind of casual wear, but you know, it's like it makes me think of like summer and holiday and things like that. And oh, what's he saying? Yeah, yeah, the delicacy. Yeah, yeah. Um, amazing. Last we got the delicacy. Yeah, there yeah. they are. There yeah. they are. Each of the kits is same components but different colorways. So. Yeah, different kind of feel to them, but the yeah. same 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 kind of technique can be done with all of them. Now, let me just tell you, this strand of beautiful aquamarine on its own is what. Nineteen ninety nine. That's amazing. Today, though, you can get the strand of aquamarine and that connector and the two meters of leather and the delicas. And our first price crash is nineteen ninety nine. So straight away, we're purchasing the aquamarine and getting everything else for free. That's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> How many times do we say, and we get the question, message into the studio almost religiously? with every kit hour, can I buy this component on its own? Can I buy that component on its own? Listen, a, a lot of the time you are better off purchasing the kit um, because you can actually get most, you know, a lot of components for considerable savings. Um, so 19.99, you're pur basically purchasing your Aquamarine strand right now and getting everything else for free. But Ross is going even lower, he says. The whole Go on, kit. Then. Where are we going? No way near. That's amazing, isn't it? I mean, how low is he going to go? It's just like, I, lo I like the idea that people are getting a good deal as well. So you get quite oh, a lot absolutely. of stuff for your money. Um, yeah, and it's just... Some... How much are tubes of, de of Delicas? Well, I mean, we usually say about sort of six pounds, don't we? I mean, for a tube we, of Delicas, we, we sometimes sell them a bit cheaper than that, but then we're jewellery maker, so, you know. Seriously. So we're giving you a five pound saving on your amazing, uh, your genuine aquamarine, and then you're getting everything, everything else for free. Yeah, on that basis, six, seven pounds, that's your delicas. Yeah. Uh, how fabulous is that deal? Do shop ahead on the other kits as well, because I know that Ross um, will bring you the most unbelievable deal, the lowest he possibly can across every single one of these kits. You've got some multicolored beryl there. You've got some lovely amethyst. You've got some lapis lazuli. Just different components. Um, sorry, different different sorry colors of uh, each component. Loads of you there. Kirsty, Pauline, hello to you. Carola, hello to you. Cheshire, Jennifer, London, Veronica, Richard and Anelia, hello to you. Uh, Essex, Pauline, Jeanette, hello, Susan, Jackie, Jean, Wiltshire, Cheryl, Valerie, new customer, Manchester, Alison, Elizabeth. Make sure you dial through. How many do we have of, of these kits then, Ross? Oh, really? We had 100 of this kit. 
Um, um, again, shop ahead on the other kits. And Hannah, if you want to cue me whenever you are ready for me to bring another kit. Yeah, sure. So, so I'm actually, I'm using that kit to do the demo with, so I've, I've not got a pre-made um, piece for That's it. That's all right. Can we um, see it right need to move? Can, over yeah, where do you want me to be? And I'll shuffle. Let me move that. There, there. there you go. There we go. Something like that. And if I just hotch my chair, excuse me if it makes Can sense. Can Ethan oh, see? That's do we need head? to move some busts? <laughs> there we He's go. Right there, right, lovely. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that. I might move that one over. And now I've messed these up. <laughs> Take it away. Can you see? There we go. Can you see me now? We can see it. <laughs> right. Um, so for um, if you're going to make uh, the actual wrapped um, bracelet, then I would, I would take this lovely piece of leather, fold it in half and cut it, and then use half on each side so that you've got plenty to work with. Um, for the purpose of the demo, I'm going to do a slightly shorter one so that it it would perhaps just, just come around as a single strap, yeah. um, just because it's um, a repetitive technique. So once you've got it, you've got it. So I'm just going to start off by pushing the um, cord straight through the edge of that little connector there. Mm -hmm. um, and you want a, d a double length. So I would say that's probably more than enough. Yeah, oops, that's quite a lot actually. Scattering these everywhere. And then you can just cut it with scissors because it's nice and malleable. Um, try not to shower your uh, workspace with seed beads like that. But oh, I do that all, the time, all the time. So you have this little component piece to start with. Um, then what I want to do is I want to really push that together because you're going to tie that with um, a piece of uh, thread. I've got wildfire, but you could use fire line or maybe like a a lawn or if you've got a really skinny S lawn or a, I think it's a size D thread they sometimes have as well. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to do um, a normal overhand knot to try and secure that as close as I can to the um, connector. So if I do that, in fact, if I do kind of like a double knot and then an extra one on top, and then you just want to, um, it's kind of a little twiddly because you want to make sure it's as close as you can to that connection point. But at this stage, the leather will, will try and sort of spring open a bit. So you have to kind of roll with it a bit like that. And I just want to do another little knot, still trying to open. It doesn't help that I've got really hot hands. I have my own internal furnace going on at the minute, but it I probably... It's hot in here. No, though, I, no, I, just I think it might just be me. <laughs> I'm... Uh, it is warm. I'm hot as well. Of an age where it's be beginning to be a little yeah. thing. <laughs> right. I'm just going to pull that tight. So hopefully it gets nice and secure. I'm just going to do one more. I don't want it to slip. You can always add a dab of glue to that anyway. It's literally, it's just a, like an anchor point for you to start working from. Okay, but then you want to try and secure it as close as you can to the top. Then with a the little tail end, I just poke it through the loop there to try and pull the knot sort of in between the two pieces of leather. Like that. Okay, so this is my starting point. And then on the other end of my... Um, piece of thread I have a needle and to start with I'm just going to pick up one delica bead and I'm going to hold these I mean you could put this on like a macrame board but I, I, I did actually do it all sort of freehand kind of thing so I kept I keep turning it around so I'm going to push that through to the back so that the delica is sitting between the two pieces of leather and you can kind of open them out a little bit and then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go back through the same Delica bead. And I'm going to tuck the needle underneath the other side. So hopefully what that will do is create a little loop of thread around the outside edge. And then once you've got to the other side, I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to then go back through the same Delica bead from this side and again underneath that cord. So you should end up with um, a couple of, oops, get the tail out of the way, a couple of thread showing. It does, I mean, you could use thread that's um, not visible if you wanted to. I, I don't mind the fact that you can see it. I quite like the look. I think it's quite sort of arty almost. So I've just gone around there. Because this is the first one, I'm just going to take myself back through to the other side again as well. So it's got a double pass of thread through it. Um, so that this anchor point holds the leather closed. 
oh, at this point. We're going to then graduate that out. So I'm going to go around there. And I'm going to tuck that one through there. And again, each time you come around and up the outside edge of your leather and then you can um, pick up the same bead in the middle. So for the next pass, we're going to take two and we're going to do the same thing. So this time I'm making sure I'm starting on this side, so I'm going to pass it through to the other side, holding on to everything in my thumb so that it stays attached. Okay, and then you'd, it's like a figure of eight you're doing. So, so it's gone under that cord. We're now coming out and round and over the top through those two beads. And get through there. And then I want it to go underneath that side, which makes the figure eight of eight on the other side. And then what I was doing is I was kind of gauging how big the, um, the stones are that you're going to include. I think I am actually going to go for a third row. So, uh, th so this one I'm going to pick up three. One, two, three. Pass that underneath like that. And then I'm going to pop that into the centre again. And again, working in like a figure of eight motion, I'm then going to go from the other side. So it's coming down from underneath. From the top, we're now going to go through the same three beads from the other side. One, two, and three, and then pop it underneath that cord there. So each side has like a, a loop of thread securing it in place, and you get that lovely sort of graduated shape. Right, I keep turning my threads around as I go. And then now I want to add a gemstone in. So it's going to be the same technique, but we are going to secure um, <clears throat> the stone in the middle. So coming around from underneath this side, through the gemstone. On and under that side. Okay. So again, like, it, the only way I can describe it really is like a figure of eight. I think that's the best way of describing it. And then I'm going to hold on to that, turn it over. And then from this side, you've come from underneath. So you're going to go through the stone and underneath the other side. You see it's sort of gradually widening as you add the sort of the larger stones and the, the components to it. It sort of forces the shape open. Okay. And then I'm going to go through the stone again. So with the, when you've added the actual gemstone, I'll, I'll do two um, lots of wraps just because it's a, it's a bigger component. It's going to have more wear to it. You want it to be, to be secure. So a double pass, if you like. And then just making sure that needle comes out underneath. Oops, got hooked up. Sorry about that. Like that. Just going to trim that tail away because I keep on getting caught on it. So that's just the little tail end that you tucked through um, to hide the knot in the centre. So once you've got to that point, it's, e it's easier to hold. Um, this one, because it's a short piece, keeps flicking back. But obviously, if you've got a longer piece, it, like you could um, clamp it into... Um, you could almost... Uh, um I don't know, warm the leather maybe slightly yeah, and put it you under can a do book that. before the night before just to strain it out. Yeah, you could do that. Shall I bring the next kid? Um yeah, yeah. It's up to you. Well I want if I if I get down sort of the tape a bit and then to the wrap and then the next bits of, of sure. repetition. Sure. Okay. So so um for this bit I'm then doing the, the I thought you were break the, stopping, that's why the I'm reverse. Oh yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so, so the, we're then going to mirror what you've done um, here on the other side. So you start with the three, you bring the thread round the outside edge with the three beads on it, under the other side, and then I turn it round because I find it easier, and then around from under this side, back through those three, and under there. Very nearly knocked the jade over then, sorry about that. <laughs> It's me and my flailing uh, sewing hand. Okay, and at this point you, you want to pull this tight because this is how you get the undulation. So you can pull it relatively hard anyway. And then two, and do the same. So under that side, pull it tight. And then back through, again, the same beads. And that looks like the all-seeing eye. 
I was kind of thinking, so I went into a shop in um, Leamington Spa the other day and there's quite a lot of this sort of like evil eye, all seeing eye yeah. um, kind of pattern around. Yeah. And I do think it's, it's I think I'm sort of affected by it or, or inspired by it. And I, I thought that I could probably make something similar to that mm. um, with seed beads. So I, I just, I don't know, you know how you get inspiration from all over the place? Yeah. I mean, they've they've got some sort of um, bead embroidery earrings and things I was looking at and thought they looked wonderful, but I just I just liked the shape. So anyway, so you get to this point when you when you've got um, your undulated bit, and then I'm going to get literally wrap it, one, two, three, and and then from the underside, I'm then going to secure that wrap by passing um. the needle underneath. Put your hand through the loop and then pull the needle through. So you just get a, a, just a little knot, a single little knot, just so that if you want to let go now, you can, and it won't all ping open. Yeah. And then you start the next one in the same way that you did from this point. So this is this is when I can uh, throw to you and, Throws, right, and carry, it. And carry yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think this kit's going to be one of the most popular, this one. I'm going to the Lapis Ross. I love this one. I think it's absolutely beautiful. The leather's amazing. It's like a tan. Did you have this one? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's that's everything. the first one I did. I, I really loved that one. That that was you know very definitely the they just the, go the gorgeously. So look at that. I know I like this kit a lot. Oh, thanks. We've got this really <laughs> beautiful. Look at that for a colour. How amazing. Um, so this is your fasted glass um, connector. You get two meters of that, and it's it's not. That's more of a. Um, like um how do I describe the leather? It's not it's not so much a coated one. It's more of the you know it's like raw leather. Yes, yeah. yeah, absolutely. So when when they're more yeah, natural, more of a sort of a matte texture. Here's the lapis though. What? What? Twelve nine. I went all squeaky then. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> oh, I, re I really love that blue. It's beautiful, isn't it? So, so hypnotic. Absolutely beautiful. Twelve ninety nine. Have we got quantity of this kit? Oh, there's a hundred. I reckon lots of people are getting involved in this one. Um, this one's definitely got a boho vibe about it. Yes. It? Amazing. Make sure you dial in nice and note. That seems like a great price for the two metres of leather, doesn't it? It's definitely a great price for your lapis lazuli. If you consider that the CB tubes are usually about, what, six, seven pounds, well, they should be anyway. So, uh, jewelry maker do do amazing, uh, amazing deals. Um, but goodness me, you're getting all full components. I'll leave that with you. There's 100 available. And back to you, Han. Okay, so I've got the first one um, in there. So again, I'm just starting off with one. So you attach it in the same way with the figure of eight. And then the next one, when it comes round, you're going to add two beads. And you're going to go under your one side. And then back up and through the same two beads in the other direction. And then what that does is it traps it onto the leather. And then under the other side. So you get the little loop and then it brings the needle back round to where you need for the next row. So you can um, you can manipulate it because like, it will hold its form once you've secured it, like this bit does, um, and you want that lovely sort of eye shape. All seeing eye, hands, what's it, evil eye? One, two, three. I think both do similar things. Yeah, yeah. It's protection, isn't it? The yeah. evil eye is, is a protection off. against uh, um, jealousy and... Ah, wards off evil spirits and yeah. things like that. Yes, they're so both good. very similar. So, and this one's got three. Just need to make sure that that goes back through those three beads and under the opposite side. And again, I'm just going to push these back up because I want them to sit close together. Don't want any big gaps in there. Like that. And then I'm going to pick up my next stone. And again, sewing in a figure of eight shape. Secure that in place. It's another one. I think the, fir the first one um, is always a little bit fiddly, but then once you get going, I think it's something that, um, again, is quite therapeutic. So it's the sort of thing you can have a go at. And if it doesn't go quite right, you can sort of reverse your needle and you can undo things and adjust stuff. Mm. But it's quite a forgiving thing, quite malleable. 
So because that's the stone, I've done a double pass through there just to make sure it's secure. And again, I mean, I'm, I'm deliberately using visible thread, but you could use um, something darker so that it's hidden yeah. and you don't get, a, get the um, lines on the outside. But I actually quite like it. I think yeah, it's, it's cool. Yeah. It is cool. Uh, yeah, it makes it a feature of it, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, should we do the barrel kit? Here sure, we go. Sure. So this is lovely. You get a beautiful strand of barrel um, in, um, I think this is one of the, what's this, the cut on this? I can't quite see because there's a drop down box on this. Is, um, is it a star? I think it's a star. Yeah, the star cut this one. So that's nice, isn't it? You've got 220 carats of your, of your barrel. Um, sorry, come back here. Diamond cut. I knew it was one of those cuts that we launched launched around about the same time, didn't we? Um, yeah, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. And then you have this lovely connector. So this is this has got a definite spring vibe, hasn't it, about it. Um, so you get the pink glass. You get the multicolored barrels. So this has got your morganites, your aquamarines, um, some of your goshenites in there. Two meters of the pink leather and also your Mayuki silver-lined um, crystal 11 O's. Pretty kit, this one. Twelve ninety nine. Sorry, I've only just looked up. <laughs> That's amazing for the strand of barrel alone. Yeah, I mean, I, the gemstones in these kits are, are amazing anyway, and the, the rest of it's sort of an added bonus, if you like. But um, I just like the colours together. I think they, I think they look Anna really fab. Yeah, colourful kits. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, yeah, this it, it does it conjures up images. I know we're all some of us in, in in snow right now, but this does conjure up images of spring and summer. Doesn't yeah, it? like spring fates and things nice. like that. And twelve ninety nine. I know. Have we got a hundred of these as well? 80, so it is a little bit more limited. I'll quickly squeeze in. But, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Don't yeah. stop. Yeah, one sec. I've got one more kit, just because I need to squeeze it in between now and the top of the hour. Um, this one's really lovely. So you've got, again, your galvanized silver 11 O's. You've got a really beautiful, a different pink to the previous pink, if I show the two together. Can you see? So... This one's more like a slightly lilac-y, isn't it? Yeah, a more more lilac-y colour, yeah. like a like a kunzite colour, I guess. Yeah. Um, then this one has actually got the purple glass connector, which I can just show you there. Can you see that? And you've got a really lovely graduated strand of amethyst here as well, Zambian amethyst, no less. Isn't that pretty? It's twelve ninety nine. Goodness me. £12.99. <laughs> um, amazing. This is what you created the necklace with. Make sure. How many do we have of these quantity wise? 60 of this kit. So, again, loads of you there. You can see the call screens, Hannah. Lot, it's lit up. Back to you. Oh, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, so basically, um, I was just going to do one more and then um, finish it off. But I don't know that we've got time. So, I might just show you how you. Am I all right? I'm okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to do, I'm gonna do one more evil eye and then I'm going to show you how to finish that side because actually if you offer it back up to the wrist, you don't need very many of them no. to, to get across the top. So if you're doing like just a single one, you probably only have maybe three, perhaps four, depending on the, the size of your wrist. Um, so I'll do the one more. So just to reiterate the, um, the figure of an eight and the eye motif. So again, thread's coming out from underneath, add your Delica on, pass the needle underneath the opposite side, and then just manipulate the, the um, cord until the seed bead is exactly where you want it. So right in the middle there. Um, this is the good thing about this, uh, this kind of leather. It, it, just, it just moves, it's brilliant. <laughs> Right, yeah, it brings a softness. And I, I, and I know you've got the metal connector, but you don't have to put the metal connector in. You don't, yeah, so if you've, you if don't you've have got to. allergies to any metals or anything like that. You could, you could literally just do this yeah. all the way, all the way around, and then because, like, because I like the the big wrapped, um, you know, kind of, I, I like the wrapped um, bracelet look. So that's why I've done them quite, quite long. But I mean, in a sec, we can sort of un, unravel one of the others. We've got some of the leather you launched, actually, Hannah. I could, we're oh. going to pop on your screens as well. Pop that through there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, th I think that's it. If you've got different pieces of leather and different cords and things, you can yeah. you can do this with anything you like, really. Well, this could guide you, couldn't you? Yeah. Uh, with, the, with the actual threading. Yeah. You, I mean, you could you could like do the same thing, but it, because it sits flatter, yeah, you'd have a different kind of look. Might be easier to hold actually because the, the, the round does move and I keep turning it around in my hands as well. So, 
And really the leather and the cord is is key to this design. Yeah, design. yeah. You need, you need to have the cord. Okay, pushing that back up so that it's all nice and close together. And then I'm going to add the stone in. And then again, holding those two cords, threaded my bead on. I'm going to go underneath that other side and then pull it through so it sits in the middle. These kind of rondelles and wheel shapes are quite um, useful for this kind of shape. But I mean, as we've sort of shown with, with the other shapes, you, you don't have to have a rondelle to do this technique. Um, you, just, you just have to trust in the process and that if you're using a bigger um, bead, it just gives you a more dramatic look when you're finished. But they still, they still fit comfortably. Also, if you've got bigger, a bigger bead in the middle, there's less actual stitching to do to mm. complete your bracelet. They stitch up really quite quickly, which is nice. Well, when your strand goes a long way, doesn't it? Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah, and then you, you like unless you're going to like make a, a really long bracelet or or, or um, you know something more like a, a necklace, you're going to have loads left over. So it's something that you can make a couple of things, and then you've got loads of stuff left for a second project. Okay, and then this one because on this far side of the stone, I'm just going to use it to cinch um, the sides together again. And then two more. Again, under the one side, pull it through, feed your thread back through the same beads. Oops, can't get that last one. Keep sticking it out of my finger now. That's not that's not advisable. But oh um, no, ouch. yeah, no, that's not advisable. Oh, needle under the nail. No thanks. That, uh, so anyone that makes jewelry like, is probably quite war wounded from either hammering themselves or stitching themselves to something, something or about fingernails. Though, I isn't I know. Well, I always use mine as an, as a second pair of pliers usually, and, and, and yet they <laughs> still look so lovely. Well, <laughs> they they've been in nail SOS overnight. I've been trying to trying to resurrect them so they look, look okay. Right, so I've got the third one in, I'm cinching that in, making sure everything's where I want it to be, and then I'm going to do the wrap again, two, three, and then round to the back. And then for this one, I'm going to put a few knots in there because I'm going to snip it away. You could also um, glue these knots as well. Um, but one thing I did find was you can actually stitch through one of the cords if you need to. Oh! She says, hoping that the needle's not. Oh too God, it's making me nervous now. That needle going towards your finger. Yeah. Well, I did it with all the others. I stitched it through through there. It might be because I've got a fatter needle this time. I'm not going to do it just in case um, I do anything silly on telly. You don't want to do that. So I'm just going to do an extra knot and then trim it away like that. So that will stay put. And then all I've done. If I get one of the other. Um, bracelets over here and take it off you can sort of see how I finished this one off so this one's longer um, but it's literally just a, a ribbon cord end and then I, I've, I've positioned them in so you get a couple of your strands you work out how long you want it to be first so if you're doing a, a wrap loop obviously it's got um, not a wrap loop a wrap bracelet it goes all the way around this one if you just hold that in the middle yeah, I could put it. I could put it right up to where the stitching is to, mm. to be in the middle. So I can trim that away to about there. And then what I tend to do is glue them in before I close them. So if you imagine that's already glued in, and then just use your flat nose pliers just to close it up. Um, it's just a ribbon cord end. You can you could use a number of different endings, fastenings. You could do macrame um, sliding knot if you wanted to as an alternative probably isn't going to work because it's on TV. So close it up as much as I can. We need these back, don't we? And then we? flatten the one side down. Yeah, it's trying to escape. Get in there. They do do this at home as well. So they just take a little bit of um, persuading to stay where you want them. But that's why I glue it as well. Belt and braces approach. I'm hoping I can fold that one over. Come on. 
Right, and he's fighting back, so I'm going to use a two pair of plyo approach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hold that one in there. There we go. It's just to fold that one over. Okay. And then once they're in position, you then just use jump rings or um, whatever you like. So that's half of your bracelet. You add a jump ring and a, and a clasp to it, and then that's your that's your bracelet good to go. If you want to do a, a wrapped one, just make it longer. So this one goes around so that that one's in the middle. Where can I go? There. And then that comes all the way around and that will go all the way around the other side. And then as long oh, as... Oh, look at that. Hannah, that's lovely. Yeah, they're just, they're just cute, aren't they? And it's like kind of... I don't know, it's quite nice. And then, and then obviously you do it up at the back. Beautiful, like Hannah. That. Amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> Love that. Thank you. You're welcome. How beautiful. Make sure you check out your baskets. Those kits are getting quite limited. Um, coming up, did you uh, did you bring these ones? Yeah, okay, so there's different colourways of these cords that we brought to you as well. Now, coming up in a few moments' time with our lovely Dave, um, launching some absolutely amazing master carvings, you have got your Endless, the uh, you've got the Infinity, um, all done literally by hand. I mean, the, uh, these this literally I'm seeing them for the first time this morning, and they are so detailed. Um, of course, they come with the... The, the usual amazing stories. Um, every single master carving literally has a story behind it, isn't it? We're looking at not only yeah. this valuable material, but literally it's a story in the story, its the sentiment, there's like a yeah. moral to them. Yeah. Um, so these are coming up in a few moments' time, so make sure you're ready for that lovely jewelry makers. We've still got loads to bring you. Don't forget Hannah's masterclass as well. Um, if you've loved those interlocking links, you may well have only actually ever seen them in Nephrite. Well, we are. Uh, I don't know if it's a launch, but um, certainly in the you've got your jadeite but not only that you've got them in mookite amethyst amazonite um, labradorite. and labradorite also yep. coming up at 12 o'clock today it's going to be amazing so don't go anywhere because lovely dave is stepping into the studio after this <laughs> Makers. Did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, 
which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome lovely jewellery makers, really excited for this trio of amazing launches. Um, there's some designs here that I don't think we've seen before and of course, wonderful Dave, back in the studio. How are you? I'm very good, Elle, how are you? It's exci I'm good, I'm yes. excited about these. Uh, you should be, as am I. Uh, I think you guys are going to be extremely excited as well. This is very different to the way that we usually work. Mm -hmm. So the way that we usually work is we work with our vendors like uh, Bernard and, and Sally and Bree and we, we manage to be able to get you know, incredible deals, you know, big quantities. Um, they offer us things all the time. We're like, yes, no, this is very different. Um, and you're going to see a different quality of jadeite, which is really hard to, to be able to do. And you're going to see a different level of carving. So um, for those of you that don't know, I think you all pretty much know now, but we know that a lot of the Western jewelry houses are really making jade their they're, they're kind of, they're hanging their heart on it for, for yeah. the new generation moving forward. You're talking about some of the most traditional jewellery houses with some of the most conservative collections, you know, yep. sapphires, rubies, emeralds, diamonds, go back over hundreds of years and now embracing jade in a way they never have before. For the first time ever. For the really? first time. So the most notable, I think, is Asprey. Yeah, mm -hmm. They've created jewellery for the royal family. They are embedded in like uh, British culture. They're, they're an old traditional jewellery house. Um, and they've just put this press release out where they're like, okay, not only are we bringing Jadeite, we want to lead the Jadeite market. And Forbes picked it up, so Forbes put this out there. Asprey are set to lead the luxury Jadeite market with the launch of their exclusive collection. Uh, my mic is making a noise. Okay. That's okay. While we just, while we just address this, because we want you to be able to hear, obviously, everything that, uh, uh, the message that Dave is, uh, is that better? There you go. Cool. Um, so Asprey, as we know, are starting to, they want to lead it. And, and they literally say, it's a collection so rare that it's only available to view by invitation wow. only. It's just, they're starting with just these 60 incredible pieces in their Mayfair flagship store. And it ranges from like heritage jewelry pieces and object art collectibles. And, and it's highlighting the house's ambitious plans to lead the top tier luxury Jadeite market. And that is ambitious. Yeah, because they're not just, look, it's one thing to recognize and go, okay, we're going to offer Jadeite as well. Yeah. But to say, no, no, this is going to be our whole focus. Yeah. We want to source the best Jadeite, we want to bring it mm. to the Western world. Prices literally start at 130,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. And they wow. go up to 18 million. Wow. And I don't know about you, but when I read that, I wanted to know what an 18 million pound Jade looked like. What does that look like? Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to show you. It's this. So this is a piece of rough. It's seven kilos. It's about 30 centimeters long. And essentially, the reason it's so highly valued is because it's got secondary colors in it. It's bicolor, essentially. You've got white, red, and green. Um, so recently acquired by the Mayfair-based luxury house, this rough um, piece of jadeite features many of the hues which with, uh, with which this silicate can be blessed, notably, literally notably red and white, the colors that we don't expect. Um, and this is why it commands 18 million pounds. Mm. And if you look at the, the subheading, 
It says you'll now be able to commission a carving of your choice from the unique block known as the Stone of Heaven. Wow. So I want you to understand when, when you get bicolor or tricolor jadeite, which is extraordinarily rare, really, really rare, it either goes for one of two things. You're never going to see a necklace. You're never going to see earrings, okay, because you're never going to see bicolor round jadeite cabochon beads. No. Um, what they want to do is maximize it. So they either make a bangle or they make a carving. Wow. Those are the li that's why you, we never offered it. That's why we never see it. I guess because okay. you wouldn't want to separate those colours. Absolutely. 100%. And also, when you think about a beaded necklace, it's the most wasteful thing you can do. So you're yeah. not just going to whittle it all the way down to just a, a small cabochon. The other one will make one impressive bangle or an incredible intricate carving. That is the, that's why we never got offered or see this material. It's unbelievably rare, and it's not the natural route to market. It never really makes its way into jewellery. I remember bumping into this lady in Bangkok in November, and um, she showed me this impressive bicolor bangle. Mm. You know, just hints of those colors, green and, la and uh, lavender. And um, I was quite open with her. I said, look, I can't afford to buy it, but just talk to me about it. And she brought out this slither of rough, and she was explaining how hard it is to find secondary colors. That's why the bangle is so expensive. But even that, that, that slice of rough was $10,000. Wow. So you can really? imagine the price I mean, of the bangle. Yeah. Um, because it's got two colors and it's, it's, there's no fault lines, it's top color. And, and, she, and obviously she doesn't want to sell it either. So she's just like, if you want it, it's $10,000. I was like, obviously no, but to get two or one, more than one color in a jadeite and to have translucency, wow. we're just never going to see it. Never, ever going to see it. Now, in the book that I always reference, they showcase um, you know, what, what the market looks for. And here they're looking at a boulder that has you know, both colors green and lavender and um, they say after estimating the overall quality of the rough buyers need to picture the final products they want to make and their quality so here the buyer wants to make a bangle with both green and lavender colors because they want more than one color because it mm. takes the value through the roof um, and you can see and this is why i say to you bangles aren't made for you or me right no one's going oh this yep. is going to fit that person or that person there's two bangles if you can look closely sketched onto that piece of rough oh, yeah, templates yeah. there's one here and one here the one on the left is smaller Yep. Right, because it's got to avoid the fault line down the centre. Uh -huh. And the one on the right is a little bit larger, but it's still got to avoid this fault line here, so it ends there. Right. Okay, I was just explaining to her, but maybe you can see it. So you can see the white fault lines, um, and they're creating these bangles, and they're trying to maximise the colours in it. Um, and they, you know, they go for carvings like pieces wow. like this. So this is the reality, that or bangles. Um, when I was in um, Hong Kong at the back end of last year, I got to see an incredible slice, like the one on the right, I compared it to the one on the left in the book. And I said that um, today I got to see the material most only get to read about. Um, and I was talking about a friend of mine opened his safe. And he's revealing one of the most sensational slices of jadeite in the world. It's translucent. It's incredible. It's one of the most talked about uh, jadeite occurrences in Hong Kong. And from the sister slice, a bangle was cut for me. And it was acquired for an undisclosed fee. But this piece was kept for discs and cabochons because see all the fault lines in it. Mm. So they can't create a carving, they can't create a bangle. Because it would shatter. Yeah. Right. It wouldn't survive. And even that piece, that slice retail, with what can be cut and sold from it, they think it's about a million dollars. Wow. Retail. Yeah. That's it's not the, the, the colour, it's not that intense, but it's no, because no. it's got that translucency. And it's because it's the bicolours. Wow. Because you've got more than one colour. Now, you may never see a collection like what we're about to do today, we're working with a different team of carvers and we're working with a different grade of jadeite. And I'm going to show you right now something that I've been working on for two years. Okay? So for two years I've been working with an incredible team of master carvers that are carving pieces like this. Oh my goodness. Right? So even the wooden base is carved, but you can see there's more than one colour at play. So you've got, it's really hard to show on a picture, but there's two dragons there with a pearl that they're fighting over. Mm. And I've, I've zoomed in on the, on the right image because... That dragon is green and lavender, his face. And the one on the right is, is green. And then you've got the yellow skin as well. Like I said, that's one piece of jadeite, over 5,000 carats, maybe over a year's work. This is what we're working on right now, pieces like this. Wow. And incredible. you can see, again, it's more than one color, yellow, green, and lavender. And this is really impressive as well because the carvers are literally demonstrating, yes, we could have cut two bangles from this, but we're creating something even more intricate, even, even more valuable, even more coveted, um, and you know, just as difficult. And you can see that again. And then 
this wonderful, wow, yeah, this is all carved from a single piece of jade, green and lavender here at play in this wonderful piece. And then I'm going to show you this piece, the dragon and the pearl. Okay, this is a tricolor jade. Gosh. So there is yellows, um, deep kingfisher greens, lavenders. The pearl is lavender. Okay, you can see, the, you can see all the colors, right? And then I'll show you that this is the, what we are working on right now that we're going to be bringing to our collectors. It's two years' worth of work. And even as you go through the body of this incredible dragon, this is a team of master carvers, literal master carvers, of which there is only around 100 recognized in China, mm. in a population of 1.2 billion. Um, they have a studio in the middle of China, and they are open to bringing this to our collectors. And you can see, in one piece of jade, this is, I didn't even know this existed. We think about me as like an expert. Holder. I didn't even know you could get jade, like a single jade that has yellow, black, lavender, kingfisher, and apple green mm. in one single piece, all That's certified incredible. in the Hong Kong Jeb Lab as well. And I'm telling you right now, by working with this studio, a few master carvers that work in there, they have vaults that they've had rough sent to them for like the last 60 years. And they go into these vaults and they have jade that you would not even know existed in there. They've got chunks like this, they've got larger pieces where they can make masterpieces like that. It's like 7,000 carats. And these three pieces are from this team. Wow, really? So, yeah, these three pieces are from the incredible team that have carved both this. I'll show you the other piece again. Uh, this, this, and this. So you're getting access to something that unfortunately cannot be mass produced. They don't work like that. Okay, this isn't something where we can, hey guys, we want to get the, the cost down. Can you make us 300? These guys do not work like that. No. But you're going to see a level of jadeite and a level of carving you've never had access to today. There are just three pieces in this whole collection. These truly are masterpieces. This mm. is wearable art. And you are about to elevate your collection. For instance, the first piece that I'm going to bring you is more than one color of jadeite. It is a bicolor jadeite that has come you know, essentially from the off cuttings of some of the pieces that I've just shown to you. And it is carved by the same incredible team where they lift the relief, they create these intricate moments. Each one's a one of a kind. Each one is a one of a kind. So even if we had 50 of these, there will be differences, 100%. They want me to stress that. But if you want the best carving as a business over 18 years we've ever bought to you, it's this singular piece that I'm about to bring you right now. It is this incredible, wonderful, green and gray, translucent, top color jadeite with the wonderful horse carved into it. Uh, I'm gonna say to all of you, this collection will sell out. Every time we bring one live, it will sell out in 30 seconds. Mm. You're gonna get the most sensational kind of jewelry maker deals. We're not elevating the price. We're just elevating the proposition. Um, a lovely message from Collector and Avon that says, I don't think enough credit is given to the people who look at the slab of jade and craft such an elaborate masterpiece. Um, what an honor to see this. I appreciate mm. that. You're not just going to see it today. You're going to be able to own it. You are going to be able to own this incredible material. So I'm going to give you a 30 second clock. Ross, how many of this, this first piece do we have? 48. Okay. That's, we're so fortunate to even have more than one. Look at that. It's outrageous. Like, it's like smoky jade. Uh, th th there's a year of the horse, isn't there? Yeah, well? there is a year of the horse. So they've got all the uh, amazing stories, but I think the excitement, of, Dave, is about the, the, the bicolour. This yeah, is for, a bi For this piece colour. in particular, and translucent. This is not Look like opaque. That. I'm just going to put the torch through it for you. Sure. Do we have a torch? Here you go. I've, I've got my phone oh, amazing. Here. I can use that. Good. Um, Amazing. Good luck, everybody, but be quick. Forget the carat weight. It's not important. It will vary with each piece. They'll all be this size. Um, it is a wearable piece of art. Yeah. And this team is like, like no other team. Oh, my word. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look at that. Do you know, right up close there. I'm showing you that so you can see that translucency, even in the... Yeah. That is outrageous. There you go. How amazing. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Do you know what? It's like, she, it's like the horse is up in the clouds. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even know you could get jade like this. 
Even the horse is bicolour on this particular piece. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Amazing, amazing. So piece. I'm just going to give you 30 seconds and I'm going to give you a price that you're not paying, but I would encourage every single one of you, if you're falling in love with this, then I would get on the phone lines because this will disappear today. Yeah. Good luck, everyone. How, I'm trying to think, have we actually ever done a horse before? I'm not sure. Not that I'm not I sure if before. we have. Um, but what an absolutely beautiful piece from the same amazing master carvers yep. that have literally created those incredible sure. sculptures. Are they going to be available as well? The sculptures, they will be, yeah. How exciting. They will be available to our wonderful collectors. Um, right, I'm going to start right now at two and a half thousand pounds, which I don't think you can get this for anywhere else. Mm -hmm. You just don't see, you don't have access to this material. It's usually one of a kind. You've got to work with a big master carving studio to get hold of the jadeite and the, the element of detail that they are doing here. Well, going back to what you were just saying about that vendor that you were chatting to at the beginning of the year, Dave, you know, yeah. that one slice, $10, which would have been what, inch or so? Uh, yeah, maybe. That had, uh, that had bicolours? Yes. Yeah. $10,000. $10,000. They're, they're either sent for carving or they're sent for bangles. That's it. Um, Oh, thank you, uh, Stella. And look, I'm just as proud of the piece that I'm bringing you right now. It's from the same team. Mm. It is your, your wearable masterpiece. And you could be the custodian of it, as For sure, said. absolutely. We have 48 of these available. Let's do a 30-second clock. Oh, uh, these geniuses are the finest of what they do. They put heaven on earth for us mortals to see. Spectacular workmanship. Thank mm. you so much, Caroline. Um, yeah, it's really, really spectacular. It really is. 18 seconds. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Um, the bicolour. We don't often see bicolour no. jade in any size. No. And this is huge, isn't it? It's mm. absolutely gigantic, if I can just show you. Wow. Side profile. You know, it's a large, it's a considerable um, piece of jade but to have that wonderful bicolour with, of course, that transparency. Yeah. So I'm just going to, right now, do something crazy, and this is where it'll probably sell out, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm still not done. Take 2,000 pounds. For this level of intricacy, for this exceptional, wonderful, bi-color, translucent jade eye, we are going into three figures, and we're not done. Wow. 499. Yep, 499. Not done there. Use, nope. your, use your time wisely, though. Absolutely. Um, look uh, at that wet look glassy finish. It is an, an insane, incredible type A jade that you're getting access to right now. Mm. And let's, let's give you a minute and then we'll give you the final price. Okay. We'll give you a minute and we're going to give you the final price. About a quarter of the stock is out the building. Good luck to every single one of you. Good luck, good luck, good luck. 55 seconds until we take it to your amazing closeout deal. Um, I don't say closeout, this is literally launching today, but it's going to be your final price point. Use this time wisely, but to have that beautiful blend of natural colours, absolutely amazing. Team that with that, tra uh, with that translucency and, of course, the workmanship, the craftsmanship of those master carvings. You can absolutely see why, you know, you know why we get so excited about these amazing opportunities and the prices that we bring them to you for. When, you know, we're showing you directly from vendors all around the world, the likes of Hong Kong, which is really where you go to source uh, to source your finest jade, are saying, look, this slice here is not for sale, but if it were, it would be $10,000. You know, that's why we get so excited about such opportunities. Good luck. In six seconds, it is happening. Be lucky. Okay, your deal right now. For all of our collectors, we're at 499. Where do we go from here? Well done to everyone who's already on the phone lines. Yours right now, 149. And I would just absolutely run. If you can multi-buy, do it. We've never had this level before. We've not had access to these buy colors before with that wet look, with that translucency. Get involved, whether you're in Wiltshire, Hertfordshire, Lancashire, Middlesex, Durham, Swansea, Yorkshire, Lanarkshire, Surrey, Amazing. Bristol. Uh, we've got Essex, we've got Angus, we've got Greater Manchester. We've got other bidders on the phone lines. Surrey, you've just jumped on as well. Greater Manchester, you're there. £49.66 on your interest-free split payments. Lincolnshire, you can also do it. Swansea, you've just jumped on. You can do it. Like, yeah. like we said, be lucky, be fast, be, be first. Yeah, and what an achievement as yeah. well. What an achievement to say. I mean, and we, we've got some collectors, Caroline, for example, yeah. just messaging. We've got 
got some absolutely unbelievable jadeite pieces. Yes. You know, be, to be able to say that, got you, two. that you have mm -hmm. multiple colours in one oh amazing my God, yeah. piece. That's exciting. Uh, do you know what? Can I have a 30 second clock, Ross? Let's do something unprecedented. Let's do something crazy this morning. This is the launch. This is this moment. Introducing you to this incredible team. What's you want to get on? this home? I'm going again. And I'm not taking a little bit off. We're just going to do it. Ross, it might not make any sense, but it's going to introduce all of our collectors to these wonderful master carvers. This is a new relationship, right? Yeah, this so is a new brand new relationship. Uh, for, for you guys, I've been working with them for about two years in the background, How? trying to bring something really, really special to you guys. And I'm going again. How exciting. Yeah. And are these the same, um, is, is this the same team that we may well see behind the scenes? Yeah, absolutely. Forward? The documentary, yeah, absolutely. This is How exciting. Team. Ross, take 50 quid off, go 99, go double figures. It's insane. That's when you're going to get people probably, yeah. Multi Look how many people are multi buying now. What, wait, you've got... How would you describe these colours, Dave? Well, I mean, like they're these smoky, wonderful, enigmatic, you know, you've got those greys. It's called the Greater Black series that we deal with. Greater Black, how beautiful and you've, is that? you've got it with the wonderful green as well. It is absolutely uh, uh, beautiful, I think. Rosemary's got two, Wiltshire's got two, Swansea's got two, Alison's got two. This is, uh, I have gone too low. Um, yeah. I will concede that. Um, yeah. But that's all good, though, isn't right, it? Minute clock to close this one out, Ross. I've gone far too low. We have two other incredible pieces coming. We're going to put... There you go. You've got a minute to check this out. I don't know why I did that. I just got too excited. We, we're in double figures. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You've got your interest-free split payments if you want that. Um, just make sure if you want to capitalise on this deal, you can, you, you're on the phone lines. Um, update, we are hugely over allocated, as you can well imagine. We are down to the final seven um, yeah. available within the vault. First come, first serves. You can always wish for sure. something like this, which is definitely worthwhile if you're told that you're unsuccessful. Half a minute. It's the only buy colour, right? Yes. How amazing. Only buy colour we have for you. We have two other incredible um, master carvings for you. I think you're going to go wild for them. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. They're absolutely beautiful. Plus, of course, one thing we haven't really mentioned, Dave, because it has been about that bicolour and also that translucency and this new new relationship, these new master carvings. But you've got, of course, the meanings behind the oh, horse yeah. itself carved sure. in there. There's always that that you can research later. Eight seconds left. Three, three. what's more important, three remaining within yeah, the vault. Three remaining. Make sure if you have it in your basket, you check it out because you'll, you'll come through it a little bit later and it won't be there. Um, and now we have... Uh, another impressive, incredible carving. And you know what? We're just going to do a crazy deal on this one as well. How many of these do we have, Roscoe? We've got 50 available. Okay, this so, is unbelievable. Yeah. This is very, very special. So this is, uh, am I pronouncing this right? The Queen Lin? Yes. Queen Lin, okay. We, 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 we're talking about a very auspicious, uh, symbolic you know, creature in Chinese folklore. goes back thousands of years. And oh you, my you word. Can, you're going to see it right now. That's amazing. So it, it kind of it traditionally has the, the body of a horse and the head of a dragon. It's got the pearl there as well, the pearl yeah. of wisdom, as it was. You've got a very, very beautiful carving. I don't think we've ever done this figure before. This, no, um, this is so precise. Yeah. You know, I'm just looking at. I mean, to be able to do that on, on that miniature kind of scale is so difficult. The scales on the body. I don't know what you would call, uh, call this part. I'm not, I'm not great on the anatomy of horses, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure. But look at that detailing. Yeah. Each tendrils. one will differ <coughs> ever so slightly. How amazing is that? And that's yeah. why I'm rocking it back, so you can really see that precision. Yeah, and it's, it's lifted from the body of the jade, like that relief work that you've got. Yeah, let me just hold it like so. <coughs> Absolutely beautiful. Three-dimensional. So exciting. Okay, never done this figure before? No, we've never done this. Uh, it'll be a first for many of you. Um, let's get the graphics in. And I promised you with this new team, we're going to do introductory deals today. Over 100 carats. It's amazing. It's absolutely beautiful, this piece. I would be early on this. Do we have quantity of, uh, of this one? 50. Oh, I mean, that is quantity. It's really. great. It's amazing. The the we should, it is amazing. We should be expecting just ones and twos with something like this and with this kind of level of carving. Um, so this is Queen Lynn. Again, there you go. Very auspicious. Good luck. You've got the, uh, you've got the message, the story behind um, the dragon and the pearl. Oh, I love this. Absolutely beautiful detailing, isn't it? 
muscle definition, the tendrils literally surrounding um, uh, the dragon's face. You've got the detail of the teeth. I mean, I, I, it literally blown me away that this, this amount of detailing. When you actually get up close, when you actually sort of see his, see his facial features, and obviously every single one will be ever so slightly unique because they are, they are uh, um, hand carved. Look at that. Look at that for craftsmanship. Good luck, everyone. Good luck to each and every single one of you. There are 50 available. I'm quite envious of those of you that managed to get hold of this one. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay, let's do a 30-second clock. Rosemary, you're going you're gonna to be over the moon because you've committed, you're confident. I did tell you it was an introductory deal today. It's probably not going to make any sense, but you've multi-bought. You're trusting us. In 23 seconds, you're going to see why. Um, I've told you so early on that it is an introductory deal on this collection. Mm. It's going to be crazy. The, the best um, carvers we have ever worked with. Access to Jadeite we've just never really had access to. And uh, in, in five seconds, you're going to see a price that's going to blow you away. OK, you ready? 99.99. And I'm not done. Yeah, I told you it's an introductory deal. Got people already committing and multi buying right now. We're at $99.99. We only had 50. Marianne, James, Maker. I'm not done. I'm not done. Caroline and Greta Manchester, RuPaul, Linda, Rosemary, Allison, Marion, Andrew, Elaine. We've got Andrew, oh we've got Maker, we've got goodness. Sue. Look at so the, the reaction. So the Berlin, uh, as we're reading here, in Chinese mythology, is the unicorn whose rare appearance often coincides with the imminent birth or, or, or death of the sage or of an illustrious ruler. Um, so again, you know, when we talk about uh, Feng, Feng Hang and it's the, the male and the female, that's where this name comes from as well. The Kui is the male and the Lin is the female. Uh -huh. uh, and, and you talk about the, the, <coughs> the body of the deal, the tail of an ox. It's, it's incredible that we've you can got see it all access. though, can't you, as you're Yeah, they're working it through right all there. of this incredible material. 30 second clock, Adam, and we'll just make these disappear. This is going to be crazy. That's some few centuries later. Gosh, this has literally been around for centuries, yeah. hasn't it? Century. 2697 BC. Wow. How amazing. Yeah. The death of Confucius was uh, foreshadowed when Quilin was um, injured. Appeared to be approved. You've got, you've got that. Gosh, the, the signific significance in Chinese history. I can't How believe amazing. we're going again. Like I said, just so you know, it is just an introductory deal today. So we, we shouldn't expect these prices. Never expect before. them, but we want you to get them home. We want you to see the difference in the, in, in, the, in the carving, in the craftsmanship. I can't believe we're going to do this, Ross. $79.99. And when that price comes on, we're just going to put one minute on the screen because we are way too low. But it's the introductory deal for every single one of you today. How absolutely amazing, incredible is this? Mm -hmm. The first Keeling and the first time we're ever actually working yep. uh, with, with this team. Rather, this team. Teams work, this craftsmanship. £26.66. Look, you've only got a minute though, then we're moving on from this piece. <laughs> That's it. I'm sorry. I've gone far too low. I don't know if, you'd, if, if you've clocked that split payment as of yet, but I've seriously. Just seen it. Alison, you've got three. Well done. It is £26.66 on your interest free split payment. How awesome is yeah. that? Leonard, you've got two. Lindy, you've got two. Um, so many of us just multi buying right now. Valerie, Maker, uh, Teresa, Alan, Donna, Keith, Dorothy, Janet, Judith, Tina. Um, Lynn, uh, Lorraine, you're joining us. You've got 25 seconds and we're going to be moving on from this piece to a very, very special piece. No, oh, it's beautiful. Well done. Down to the final few. Yeah, the phone lines have absolutely lit up. Um, good luck, everybody. Yeah. I love this. I absolutely love this. Me too. A gentle disposition. It never walks um, on grass or eats living vegetation. Wow. How amazing. Yeah. It How? is incredible. Right, it's moving on, out. moving on, moving on. It's sold out. Now, there's three of the horse remaining. This one's, uh, sorry, that one's just gone. Um, this one is really, really special. This is carved from a single piece of jade. And you'll see how it's creating this fluid motion. When I spoke to the team that I'm working with, of the three that you've just seen, as impressive as they are, this is the most difficult and time-consuming to do. You're going to see why when you see it. And if you was to turn this uh, on the profile, you'll see that it's separated. See? Oh, my goodness me. So they put that gap through it. This is like almost like the same uh, skill set as the link carving. You know what I mean? So yeah. you've got something very difficult in the white jade eye. 
carries huge symbolism in uh, you know Chinese culture and in, in in Western culture. You know, the symbol of infinity, you know, uh, symbol of uh, family, of longevity, mm. of the perpetual motion of, of of life. It is translucent. L, I can see you checking. It absolutely is. <laughs> it's the best of the best. Um, there it is, carved by hand. And I, I'm going to do this for a price where you're going to multi-bite, there you go. And you're going to get earrings. You're going to make earrings. You're going to make your pendants. <gasps> They'd be fabulous Yeah, earrings. that's what I mean. And we've just never been able to bring material like this before. And I'm going to shock everyone. Remember how I said this is introductory today? So yeah. this is introductory. This is the most time-consuming of everything you've seen today. The, yeah. And the most delicate and the most dangerous. Really? Yeah. I guess it's because it's kind of mathematical, isn't it? Yeah, well, you've, you also you've got to separate this jade, create this... this um, Separation, create that fluid movement. You know, it's crossing over each other. It's carved from one block of jade, so it takes a lot longer than anything else here. And I've got a hundred quantity. Um, I've got a hundred quantity, and we're promising introductory deals. Translucent top gem. I'm actually going to give you a 30 second clock to open the graphics on this one, but I guarantee every single one of you can multi buy. How about that too? I just want to test this theory. I can't see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You could, there's no, it doesn't have to be. No, 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 no. Look, you guys are the jewelers. You guys can decide whatever it is you want to create from this wonderful piece. You could possibly position a few gemstones in there yeah, as yeah. well. Oh, my goodness me. But I'm, you're all going to multi buy. I can guarantee that. You've seen the crazy deals we're doing all morning. And this piece is the most important, but we have 100 quantity, which means we're going to do something crazy. Phone lines are opening now. It is a, a sensational piece, the Infinity Pendant. Well done, David. Well done, Maker. Well done, Geraldine. Well done, Janice. Well done. When we have 100 or something, we always do a crazy deal. But today yep. we're doing crazy deals anyway because it is uh, an introductory partnership with this new carving house. Dave, I was also thinking, this is international, isn't it? Like, oh. the, infinity is, is, is global. I mean, yeah. So it's not just... Um, you know, uh, an yeah. auspicious symbolism in the Far East. You know, no. a lot of the times, you know, we like to learn about it, but maybe it doesn't carry over into the West. Here, this is, yeah, it's got a broad appeal with every Absolutely. demographic, with every culture. It, take, it, it doesn't take any explanation, does it? No. Nope. Sorry, I'm trying my hardest to do this. But I'm just going to say we only have 100 and everyone has multi-bought so far. So, well, bar a couple. So that means that we really might only have 50 or even less because a lot of it. Susie in Wiltshire, good to see you this morning. You've just got three. Um, Leonie's got two. Valerie's got two. Rosemary's got two. Linda's got two. Every single one of you. I've, I promise, there you go. That's where I see it. Yeah. I'd probably take I it think. from the top. Yeah. I'd take it from the top loop and, yeah, wear them as earrings. For sure. How beautiful are these? So, Ema, so in Rutland, you've just got three. Good luck, everybody. Ross, I'm going to start right now at £99. Just so you know, even though it is the most time-consuming, even, even though it is the most elaborate, the most uh, difficult to be able to put together, and it is absolutely translucent. Yeah. Susan, you've just got three as well. We're nowhere near done. Kath, you've just got two. Well done. Nowhere near done. Sue, you've got five. No way near. Dave, we're at double no. figures. I know, but we're still nowhere near finished on this. Amazing. Amazing. Sorry, if I seem distracted, it's because I can't do the chain back. Okay, we had 100. I'll let you know already. Half the stock's gone. Oh, I'm Maker not and Meat, you've just got two. Well done. It's so beautiful, isn't it? And this, uh, would this be, you know, your white? This is a white colour? Yeah, white jade, eye. yeah, absolutely. How beautiful. Right. How beautiful. I'll give you the last minute you're going to need. I'll give you one minute. For you to, Linda, you've just got four well done. I'm going to give you one minute to get your pieces. If you want to multiply them, do it. I'm going to call a price and it's going to go wild. Good luck. Um, and I guess this new relationship is the only reason, Dave, why we're actually seeing a triple figure quantity. For sure. For absolutely introductory. I just want to show you the lab cert from Hong Kong. Um, we talk about the top water content mm -hmm. of it. This is what they call in the lab aqua. Now, that's not in, in uh, consideration of the colour because it's white. It's down to the top water content of the jade. That's why it just lit up like a light bulb. Yeah. Aqua jadeite. Natural. Big cat. There you go. There you go. And I'm about to take this to an unprecedented deal this morning. Wow. So, I mean, the fact you have that certificate, you can see 
you know, you can see the gram weight. They don't talk on carrot weights, actually, um, over in the East. Um, they talk about, so, so they might say, so uh, natural, natural inclusions basically is your type A grade. It's not polymer impregnated or dyed in any way, shape or form. And of course it is genuine J dye. I did hear Dave say that he's going to take a considerable drop. So I'm intrigued by this as well. That beautiful infinity design. I love it. The fact that it's so uh, internationally recognized. That's the thing. That's probably why, you know, so many of these were actually carved because this could be sold into the Eastern market. It could be sold uh, anywhere around the world, quite literally, and have that. Um, it's, it's emblematic, isn't it? Um, it'll be, yeah, yeah, it'll be unique to you, of course, but I think most of us have that association with endless love and family. Half the price. Pardon? Half the price. We're going to half the price on aqua jadeite um, in that infinity carving. Um, and you can see how it's separated. It'd be very easy just to punch the holes in to that form, but to have it separated, like you can yeah. see on the profile, where it's all um, removed from one another. But it is a single piece of jade. Can you see how there's literally a gap? It's like a ribbon. Yeah, that, yeah, a ribbon, around. a ribbon. Yeah, carved from material that is That's that is unbelievable. Yeah, you know, harder than stainless steel, by hand. Absolutely unbelievable. Here, Maker in Cumbria has got four. I told you you're going to want to get earrings. I told you you're going to want a multi bag of people with fives and fours and threes and twos. Um, I don't. There's barely anyone that's singly bought. Can you see? No, well, why would we? I've never seen it like we? that. Well, I can't, I'm struggling to find one person who's only acquired just one of these. Maker and Meat, you've got three. Anna, you've got two. Greater London, you've got two. Another bidder in Greater London's got two. It just keeps refreshing. Uh, Pembrokeshire, you've got three. Somerset's got two. County Durham's got two. Rutland's got three. Essex has got three. Edinburgh's got five. Mm. Uh, Middlesex has got two. Uh, Tyne and Weir's got three. It's gone wild. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Forty nine ninety nine on yeah. some on really, you know, this reminds me a little bit of this samsara, which I guess would be quite similar in the sense that you know you. I don't know that. Uh, it just blew my mind in terms of it's wow. it's it's the it's. Big, no, look, just it's that, that shot layering. there, that shot there that Adam's showing, right? You can see how it gets darker when the piece overlaps the piece underneath yeah. it because it's separated and because there's twice the d the density to go through. Yeah. You can see. It's that. not because it's included. No, no, no. That's because it's still got translucency. Yeah. Well, here we go. Phenomenal. Look here. Yeah. This is the one literally I'm holding with yeah. my hand. You can see. Oh, my goodness. Dave, this is absolutely amazing. Look, we had 100, and we'll always do the best deals. Leone, you've just got four. Susan's got four. Collector's got fives and fours and threes. That's the way to do it today. Double, uh, quadruple, triple your saving. Oh, it's gone. Down. Sorry, 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 sorry. Amazing. Well, I okay. think that's unbelievable. So we have, uh, you know, carving collectors right now. We've delved into our vaults. We want to bring you some other impressive, incredible carvings, and that's exactly what we're about to do. But it is really, really limited on these pieces that we're about to bring to you. So don't wait. Be as fast as you can on the pieces that we're about to bring your way. This is beautiful. The beautiful prancing deer. Yes. The king of the woodland. Yeah, absolutely. Guardian. And look at the depth they can create in this piece. Thank you, Dan. Um, you know, you've got the wonderful uh, uh, woodland that you can see. You've got Taipei green jade. It is translucent as well. Um, how many of these do we have, Ross, available? 58. Let's do a mad deal then. Who wants a crazy deal? Yes, please. Okay, this is going to be it. If you've just missed out on the other pieces, this, we're going to make a crazy deal for you. I really Look like at this that. It, do you know, this, this one always reminds me, I think it's quite... Um, um, quintessential like to sort of the, the traditional English country yeah, absolutely. Uh, countryside mm -hmm. you know um, it's just beautiful isn't it yeah okay 58 of these not 100 unfortunately uh, but we're going to do a crazy crazy deal top color as well we pay a premium for those deep greens that we're looking at here yeah. um, we're going to bring the graphics in for this uh, it's a massive carrot weight 120 carats but limited opportunities yeah look at the little butterflies Oh, every time you look at it, you see more and more and more and more. Hand I'm going to take you where we should be closing on this. We should be closing on this 120 carats, top green, translucent, jadeite master carving. Should be 149 as an incredible deal. Close out, gone. Yeah. But I said we're going to do something wild today. So let's go to 149. Then I'm going to give everyone, there's only 58, or there was only 58. Well done, Rosemary. Well done, Pauline. Uh, it's Worcestershire, Surrey. Um, and then we're going to do a 30 second clock and I'll give you just a crazy close out deal on this. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Uh, clock has started. Again, I think this is one of the only deers that we've actually ever 
yeah. um, ever carved. And I know deers are, um, that's long, that's good health, isn't it? Good fortune, longevity. Yeah. Look at how beautiful this carving is. Sensational, see. absolutely sensational. Top water as well, you can see the fine polish on it, the wet look, texture of it. Ready? 99 pounds. 99 pounds, Ross. It's just gonna be a really 99. quick one. We're very limited, yeah. Massive, the biggest character we've seen today. And uh, oh. sensational material. Look at this. Look at that. Donna, Sue, Pauline, Maker and Angus, Rosemary and Surrey, Manahari and Essex. Good luck, guys. Just beautiful. For sure. You can really see the movement when you see, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when it actually has a light source behind. Yeah. 99 pounds only. Love the deer. If you just go back to that shot, oh, sorry, guys. My fault. Um, but you know, thank you so much, Adam. If you look at this, right, you know where you can see the movement? You see the way that they've carefully carved the action of the movement, yeah. just as yeah. the accent around it. So it creates the actual almost. movement, yeah. They didn't have Amazing. to do that, they've done that. So when the light interacts with it, it gives you that, that prancing, dancing movement. Just amazing. It's so clever. It really is. Guys, we're at 99 pounds. I'm just, we are absolutely rock bottom on this, giving this away today. Yeah. If you want it, it wasn't meant to be here. We're bringing no. it because everything's sold out so quick. I'm just prepared to do you crazy deals. This shouldn't be an introductory deal, but I'm doing it as one. No, absolutely. I think it is only the, uh, or one of the only, if not the only, uh, deer that we've ever brought. Good luck. It's beautiful. You know, and there's, there's so much meaning behind it. Um, you know, that guardianship, that yeah. longevity. It's off. Yeah, this has been depicted, I think I'm right in saying, Dave, and feel free to correct me if I'm no. wrong, in, 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 uh, for like centuries. Yeah. But um, emperors used to have sort of the deer. deer. Yeah. On it's painting. a graceful animal, isn't it? Yeah. It's a graceful uh, animal. And uh, we, we wanted to bring you this incredible um, artistry. Like I said, it wasn't meant to be here. We just sold out so quick. Mm. We have so many collectors missing out there. I said, right, we're going to do a crazy deal on this as well. Well done Lovely. if you're capitalizing on it. We're, we'll, uh, you know what? We're, we're going to move on from this one. I have a brand new carving for you right now. Really? A brand new carving. <gasps> and I'm going to do an unbelievable deal. Oh, my goodness. This is meant to be for the weekend, but we just brought it forward because we have sold out. Of sold out already. So we just want to do something crazy. Um, the quantity on this is about is, uh, 65. Oh, my 65 goodness. 65 unbelievable brand new carvings coming your way right now. And I'm going to do a, a sensational deal on this for every single one of you. Oh. That's incredible. I, I yeah. don't, straight uh, this, away, uh, I'm yeah. thinking earrings. Yeah. How beautiful. But I will be. tell you, this level of, of carving is, there's no way around it, I'm going to tell you, it's expensive. I bet. Open work, um, you know, the, the, the thinness of this incredible slice. It's going to come in just sub 10 carats, but the reality is it was about 20 carats before they started removing the weight, mm. even in the finished form. 65, one crazy. I'm going to do an introductory deal, brand new piece. Let's bring in the graphics, Ross. Um, so it tells you a lot, brand new. And we couldn't make 100, couldn't make 200. It's that hollow, carved, beautiful floral patterning, unique shape. You'll see these in, in high jewelry only, exclusively. It'll always be with sapphires and 18 karat gold. It'll always be part of a pendant or earrings. And it'll always be, you know, five figures when it's in that finished piece of jewelry. And today yeah. I'm going to give you the opportunity to acquire this, the, the most significant of the pieces you brought to you today. Do you know, I'm just looking, because it is double carved as well, that's yeah. why I flipped oh, it yeah, over. Yeah. And you know, I said earrings. Mm -hmm. I would have it that one side. Oh yeah, definitely. Does that make sense? Yes, 100%. And right, then, Ross, I'm going 79.99 and tell everyone I'm not done. Pardon, what did you say? 79.99 and nowhere near done. Right, and Susie from, yeah, our wonderful Susie's in, she got of three Of course, already. Susie. 65, brand new, your opportunity today. 10% of the stock's gone. I'm not done, I'm not done, I'm not done. I'll give you a minute. Um, Ross is just saying, actually, if there's 65 and everyone is multi-buying uh, buying thus far, that actually makes it around about 30-odd 30 30 opportunities. Uh, yeah, I agree. That's what's going to happen. Um, and everybody has multi-bought so far, so I don't, I, and I don't blame you at all. Yeah, I'm just thinking about it that way. Imagine that, literally, say, if, you're, if, if your face is here, is this side. Look at that. Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, mind. in, what, 30 seconds... I'm going to destroy this. How amazing. You, you aren't going to believe. Which 79 99 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Nowhere near them. 
So when we you were over in Hong Kong at the beginning of the year, Dave, did you see this? Uh, um, so this grade, this this craftsmanship yeah. at, at double figure price tag? No, I did see it, and I saw it at the price point that it should always be. Yeah, it's thousand. Yeah, and we're already at seventy nine ninety nine. That's why the people who already know, like like our Suzu knows Jade, and all of our other collectors are already multi buying because this is already crazy. It's about to get a lot lot better. Someone's trying to get seven. Well done. We only had sixty five. Ross, 50 quid, 49.99. It's on split pay. It's, it's, it's going today. Three split payments as well. Double-sided. Double-sided, open work, hollow carving with the floral, beautiful detailing as well. This is insane. That is insane. That's why I, that's why I wanted to sort of flip it over because that yeah. could be the most beautiful earrings that they could almost frame. And a pendant. Oh, wow. 49.99. It's ice jade, right, as well? Is yes, right? of course. So you've got that translucency. Yeah. 16, 16 pounds and 66 pence. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm laughing at that, but generally that is, that is, do. that is, that is. Uh, this is not Claire's accessories. No, well, no, exactly. Good luck, everybody. This was, it's brand new, it's premiering today. Limited though. 33 have already gone. In fact, sorry, we're actually in the 20s now. Okay. In terms of uh, um, quantity. And there's loads still a queue. There. Still opportunities, though. Well, let's give everyone a minute, then. Let's yeah. give you a minute, and we'll move on from this minute to close the auction out. Um, we can see, uh, we know it's in a lot of baskets, and that's fine, but don't expect it to be there, you know, a little bit later on. So this minute really is, hey, guys, time to check out, time to, to get it while you can, yeah. um, while you're safe. Otherwise, you are going to probably miss Yeah, out. definitely. Um, it, well, your call to action was a while ago, so yeah, I would definitely be uh, quick about this. And it's beautiful, isn't it? It just blows my mind that we can create these almost lace-like carvings out of something that is as hard as steel. And, you know, the risks that goes um, into actually sort of working with something of this rarity, yeah. particularly this quality, amazing. Like I said, I those, those, um, those master carvings that I was showing you yeah. from uh, David Harry Jules or whatever, those incredible 5,000, 7,000 carat pieces, um, we're in talks with a gallery in London, like an art gallery, to exhibit them. Um, and they want to do a big press release because, and, and this is what I'm saying to you, this should never be affordable. This level of work, this level of craftsmanship, you have to realise what we are offering you right now. Yeah, totally. You have to realise what you get access to here. Hello, Hazel. Would look good on a pinch bale. That's what I did with my own. Oh, that sounds uh, amazing. Which I love. Amazing. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Well done. We're going to move on. There's four left, so time to check out. Only a few of you, but well, only four of you can be successful on that. Amazing. Oh, next one of my favourite pieces. Oh, that's good to hear. How many of these do we have, Roscoe? 20. Oh, God. May well be the last time it's on air. Let's make it so. Okay. All right. So this is going to be the last time you ever see this. Oh, my God. Yeah, I love this piece. Look at that. I mean, you can... That's wear not it. waxed. No. There's no resin over that. That is a very, very high grade. Jade eye. It looks wet, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, and, and you've got the hollow work as well, as well as the intricate, ornate masterwork we are used to seeing, like with, you can see it in the body of the flower. And it's got the circle of heaven. It's got a bangle within it. Yeah. And the reason they do this, and I didn't used to know this, but the reason I, they, they, they do this is the same reason that the one that I've got, that incredible um, two bangle dis display. Yeah. You know, the one where they're, yeah, they, yeah, they're where showing, they the hey, we could have cut bangles. This is them saying we could have cut this huge circle of heaven, but we are going to carve it. We're going to carve all of this as well. How amazing is that? 80 carats. This is a very limited. These are gone today. Look, I'm going to say this and then they'll be gone. I'm doing this for double figures today. Pardon? Yeah. So let's open the graphics. I'm telling you now, I'm going to do this for double figures if you want it. Maybe my favorite ever carving I've bought to you. Yeah, it's just, it's just, again, look at it. Yeah. You have, I don't want to say lace-like, there is a thickness to it, but you know, when you can compare- Can you show your torch through it? Is that all right? Sure. Just because you can tell the crystal of it. Yeah. By the way, the, the, the tighter the crystallization of this, uh, the harder it is to carve. It becomes a harder gemstone. Okay. Okay, so a lot of the times, not in the collection that I'm bringing you, but a lot of times the ornamental pieces, look at that, uh, will be a coarser grade, which is easier to carve. This material is so, so difficult. This is the material that is, the hardest version of Jade. Look at that intricate. Yours today for £79. That's what I'm doing. It's going to be one deal. On and gone. 20 left. Never see it again. Do you know, I think the last time I actually saw this, Dave, which was um, um, a while ago, I was actually thinking, 
this I know it's it's a big carving. Oh it's a, my it's God, a work of art. How daylight. amazing would these be in earrings? Yes. I mean just it's priceless possible, anywhere else. It? But priceless anywhere else. Yeah. And even myself, like if I was in Hong Kong or if I was in Mayfair or Knightsbridge and someone, you know, because a lot of them are right now bringing jade and they have Taipei Burmese jade earrings. What, 160 carat pair of jade earrings intricately carved like that in their window. I would not ask the price. I would not ask the price. <sighs> and you can make that so for Jeez. less than 200 pounds. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Good luck. There was only 20 of these. Yeah. They would be fabulous earrings, wouldn't they? And to, it's that photograph of Sarah Jessica Parker that I showed you. Yeah, or, yeah the turquoise. That remind me, yeah. that inspired me. But imagine if you had a suite in Mayfair and it's the earrings and the pendant. Oh, my goodness. It's like, it, it, you know, when you see Asprey saying our starting price is 130 grand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, imagine this. Wow. 26 pounds and 33 pence on split payment. Yeah. Amazing. There's five of them left. Good luck. They will, yeah. Well, you, that was... Your aim was literally to sell I said, these out you're never going to see them again. Let's make it so we've done it in double figures. Well done. Sharon, Rupal, Gabrielle, Valerie, Suja, Neil and Le uh, Linda, Fiona, Lisa, Kath, Maker and Glo I, I, You disappear off the screen. I can't see everyone's names. The final few. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I can see why this is one of your favourites, Dave, because you've got flowers, which is what... Um, You've got the infinity Love, symbols as infinity. well, which, which went for crazy. It's all one ribbon carved along the top series and the circle of heaven. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Down to the final two. Good Incredible. Look. Okay. Where do we go from 150 here? 150 carats. The Cation carvings. That's what we need to bring to everyone. Else. This is so detailed. I know. Um, but let you know, we've got less than 50 of these. Oh my all last me. opportunities right now. So who is this little chap? Uh, this is Keishan. Can you get it up for me, Ross? I didn't bring the, the book with me today. So Keishan, he's... I don't want to get it wrong. He's... Uh, I'm you pretty know. sure he's the god of... Uh, I don't want to say finance, but I guess wealth. prosperity or wealth accumulation. That's why he's there with the abacus. Um, you can quite often Money see... The, yeah, I was going to say, you quite often have the traditional Chinese coins carved there. Um, those at the bottom, the, you know, the pearls of wisdom there because of his, his gift, essentially. And this is, you know, we have in the West, we have some symbols, don't we? We have the St. Christopher. Yeah. We have th different things that mean different things. Right? Yeah. Like for protection or, you know, to safeguard you while you travel or whatever it may be. We have our patron saints, don't we, really? Yes. So the, in the Far East, they, they have their symbolic you know, pieces, their, their moments. So he's abundance and they wealth. Go. Yeah. How amazing. Look at the, but look at the detail. And, abund and, and, and that's but not just financial, is it? That, uh, you know, that's health. That's Yeah. Happiness. Any, any, any way, you know, people, you know, if, if you've got a, a loving family, you're rich anyway, aren't you? Of course. That's what, yeah, it's what we always say, isn't it? Like, that's, there's, that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Your health, uh, your, your, your family and things. So, you know, richness or prosperity can be, you know, factored in many, many different ways. Um, I, love the, I love that close-up that we did because you do see the, the gold coins top left. You yep. see them uh, on the right as well. You see that traditional kind of money envelope. You see all of this, the pearls of wisdom, the abacus. I mean, genuinely, that, look at the detail on this. I know, it's amazing. Even that there where you see the, the beard. The, 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 the movement. Yeah. yeah, the movement in the beard. Okay, thank you so much, Ross. Kei Shen uh, is the god of wealth. Uh, is the mythological fig figure worshipped in the Chinese folk religion, Taoism. He has been identified with many historical figures, uh, viewed as his embodied forms. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the god of wealth. Kaishan's uh, name is, is often invoked. A large temple was built of Kaishan um, in the 2000s. Wow. Uh, they, they use it a lot in the Chinese New Year celebrations. I think that's why that money envelope is there, top left. Because that's what you get the gift, isn't it? Uh, yes, of course. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, he's often uh, depicted riding a black tiger. He may also be depicted with an iron tool capable of turning stones and iron into gold. Wow. How amazing. So here, there it is. Kaishan. All right, Ross, let's do it. 150 carats. Crazy deal for every one of our collectors today. It's beautiful. Absolutely you beautiful. forget. I mean, it's huge. It's massive. Yeah. But, and it is carved as but well. But it's, also, drill, it's also small, right? You know, like when we see that wonderful carving that Adam, um, recording that Adam was showing us, you'd be forgiven for thinking this must be six foot. You know, like yeah. genuinely, <laughs> like like, because soft. you're like, how have they carved all of that into something that you can hold into your hand? And there was that other shot, this one, where it just glides all the way down. And you're thinking, how large is this? Yeah. How impressive? That much detail. And you can wear this. Yeah, you can literally wear it as a pendant. Mind-blowing.
How amazing. The God of wealth. Yeah. Worshipped in Chinese folk, uh, folk religion for centuries upon centuries. I love, I love this one. It's beautiful, isn't it? And it's, it's so much, be it's beyond just monetary, isn't it? Wealth can mean a multitude of things, can't it? And I think it, it should do as well um, to us all. 150 carats. You've got, you can see the money coins there, which are always depicted in exactly the same way. You've got the, um, the pearls of wisdom. Look at the robes, the movement that you see with Kaishan and the abacus. That's what the abacus is all about as well. Um, again, it is, dr it is actually drilled. So for those of you that are wondering about how you incorporate it into your jewelry making, it's a very right, Ross, sweet 45 Just because I went quiet, I went into um, the gallery, which is where our producer Ross uh, sits and our, our wonderful director, Adam. And I just said, like, he can see, there he is. He's got it there, all the details of all the pieces, and that's why he, he can share with us. So, you know, when Elle says the piece before, when she was like, the last time I saw this was ages ago, Ross has all the details, like, when the last time it was on, blah, blah, blah. Go to the price. This is only ever sold out. I've just been in, I know the price. Okay. You'll probably know the price as well, but, which no, is an no. absolutely insane deal. Because in my head, I'm like, this is 179, 149. Yeah. At 149, it's a pound a carat, for goodness sake. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's 150 carats. Uh, but that's actually the crazy deal that we've done before. What? We did it at ninety nine ninety nine. Right, Caroline, you own this piece. You, you'll know the price all too well as well. I'm actually going to a new low today. Are you? Yeah, I'm going to go to a new low. If, and I'm going to ask for 30 seconds. For those of you that, that know me, I'm not just going to take £10 off or, or whatever. We're going to go massive, significant, brand new low. We're never going to see this one again either. There was 47 available, and in 24 seconds. That's the price it's always ever sold at. I love that shot as well. It's so beautiful. It really is. As if, how far we have come. The jewelry maker, we now uh, have this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I find it... I find it, you know, so Listen, amazing. Do you know, yeah, and it's, it's a conversation that I know has been had, and I get it, I totally get it, you know, oh, the price, the price point's gone up at Jewelry Maker. Yeah. Maybe, but it's not that everything's gone up. We offer a broader portfolio now. Yes, yeah. Including some of the world's rarest, most sought after Ross, treasures. 69.99. We said it, we're going to do oh, it. Never going to see us again. Oh, my goodness. Because that's gone. That is going to be gone. 69.99, it's only ever sold at 99.99, which is an unbelievable deal. At 149 pounds, it's a pound per carat yeah, that's on jadeite. Translucent, type A, not type C, not type a pound B, a carat hand for carved. Would be, yeah. would be absolutely awesome, but well this done. is, yeah, literally can carve. Uh, one has to see this piece to appreciate the carving. Suja also has this as well. Mm. Suja's here, Caroline's here, they have this at home, they've seen it up close. We're yeah. doing our best to really show you how incredible this is. Sue, you've just bought two of these. Well done. Audrey, you're there. Tony, you're there. Rosemary, you're there. Ala, you're there. Emma, Valerie. We've got Germany. We've got Cumbria. We've got Northumberland, Sussex, Great London, Cardiff. So many of us jumping on the phone. We have gone to a brand new low. $34.99 on your interest-free split payments. Um, thank you yeah. so much, Suja. I really appreciate that. It is rather, isn't it? I know. I, I'm, I'm stunned by that one. There's a little queue on the phone lines, I believe, but it yeah. is... Um, you know what, though? 45 seconds. Yeah, well, it's 45 seconds. Do you know what? If you want to go and see Jada in the West, and you want it to be type A, you want it to be certified, you want all that, there's a few places you can go. One of them's Asprey. Yeah. Um, you're going to be waiting a lot longer than 45 seconds. You have to Absolutely. ring up their concierge. You have to book a physical appointment. You have to go down to the, their Mayfair store, which is a great day out. Parking. They're going to close down the, the store for you. They're going to, you know... Um, you know, invite you in, you're going to go in, you're going to look through their pieces, and they're, they're cheapest pieces. You go, look, I don't want anything too expensive. What's the, what's the uh, cheapest jade that you got? They go, oh, no worries. We've got this one here, it's 130,000 pounds. <laughs> you know what I mean? 69.99. You can buy a house for that. Yeah. Absolutely. You know? 69.99. It's amazing. You, it okay, well, amazing. maybe you're ultra wealthy, maybe you've won the lottery, maybe you have... Um, you know, master great fortune. You say, no, nah, actually, I'm, I fancy, I want the most expensive piece in this shop. And they go, no worries, come out okay. the back. Let me show you in the safe. And they open up the safe and they pull out this rough. And I'll tell you, it's 30 centimetres long. Okay, so you're talking about that. Yeah, so 30 centimetres, it's 7.5 kilograms. And they pull it out and they go, this is very special. We've only just taken ownership of this. It's, it's really impressive. It's got the bi colours, it's got the white, it's got the red, it's green. <laughs> it's natural type age. It's not you even Commission carved. a carving from it as well and you go, oh, I love that. Yeah, I never knew you could get red jade and this and that because maybe you don't watch Jewelry Maker. We do bring you red jade. And they go, it's um, this one here. 
is 18 million pounds. That's what, that's right now. You've got Cartier with Black Jade, 100,000 mm. pounds. You've got Roberto Coin with Black Jade slices yep. for 22,000 pounds. The West is waking up. And, you know, we, we can't say this all the time, but we have, we have led the charge for Jade Out. Okay, we might not lead the luxury Jade Out market until we bring those master carbons, which is 5,000 pounds. Oh, pounds. move over I'm there. telling you right now, we led the charge. Yeah. We were there early. We were bringing you jade out. And I, I read all of the articles about Asprey. I think it's amazing what they're doing. And they said, we want to improve uh, access and the way that the West can get jade out. Don't even try. We've already done it. We've already done it. You, you can't improve on this. We, we join you in your own home. You haven't exactly. got to make an appointment. No, you, you get your, your money back case. guarantee. It's certified. We, we go and we get a Myanmar. <laughs> we go to Hong Kong. Like, it actually doesn't get better than this. I don't know about you guys, but this is, no. this is the world's finest, most coveted gemstone. And you cannot improve on this. You've got an app. You've got the website. You've got your TV. You can take us on the go. You can sit in the comfort of your living room or your kitchen. You can watch it. You can message in live. You, you can know, ask us questions. Do you know what, Dave, as well? I mean, having I used to work, as you know, in a jewellers that used yeah. to sell the likes of Roberto Coin and Cartier and Face. And this, it's such an intimidating environment. Imagine. We, we take the, the inverted snobbery out of high jewellery. Yeah, we do. And we're going to do really it even do. with, even when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these jewellery houses and we bring you the 7,000 uh, 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 carat master carvings of, of Hong Kong certified Taipei Jedi it's still going to be the same. We're not going to have the snobbery. We're not going to have any of that. We're going to do something unbelievable. We've had a request, right? We've had a request. I can't see what you can see because my return's broke. So Al oh. is seeing what you guys and me are about to see. But we've had a request. We don't physically have it in the studio. We're going to show it you from recording that Al's already seen. I haven't. I don't know what the request is. Okay. Let's take a look together. Oh, hang on, we've got to hold off. Okay, okay. I don't know what's going on right now. Um, One second, I'm being just told because that of the recording, Okay, that's perfect. All. I'm being told that we've only got 10 of these. Oh, my We've goodness. had a wonderful request, and whenever Adam's ready, we're going to show it. I'm going to see it for the first time with you. He's not here. Andrew Kerr's type it. Oh, my God. We'll have to... I haven't got it physically here, but there was a request for it, so... Okay. So we're talking... Oh, yeah, this beautiful... The dragon and the phoenix. That, the uh, two... Top of the tree, mythical creatures. This is bicolored jadeite as well. Yeah, look at the phoenix. You can oh, see the What phoenix. a request. We are like the best, aren't we? Yeah. Like we take requests, we yeah. answer questions, uh, we have our wonderful yeah, team up. We, we show you how to make the incredible jewelry. Yeah. Um, you get a masterclass every day. It's not sugar coated. Let's well, be I honest. mean, like usually for, for that, you know, what Anna's going to show you in a moment with the wonderful how to create a masterclass, uh -huh. you have to pay for that. You have to pay to go on a course and, and all of these things. We, we absolutely have revolutionized every for part free, of the For free, by the way. For, for free. free. And again, you have to pay for that um, master. You know, whether you're just beginning, whether you're just starting out, whether you're an expert yourself, you're always going to learn something. You're never going to feel intimidated. You know, that's what we do. Mm. Okay? In the comfort of your own home. From, from every facet of the jewelry industry, everyone is welcome. We, we deal with traders. We deal with uh, you know, people at home that are maybe just starting their journey. And we deal with people like, for instance, just name on top of my head, Caroline in Greater Manchester, who's been collecting jade art for 50 years. Yeah. You know, I have vendors, uh, I have jade art dealers in San Francisco that watch this show. I have people in Hong Kong that watch this show. We are a global community right now, and we're going to bring you this. We don't quite have the recording. You know how good it is. You get your money back guarantee. I'm going to do a crazy deal for I you. Love don't worry this about one. that. Satvia, well done. Janice, Rosemary, Maker, Gabrielle. I've only got 10. I've only oh, really? got 10, yeah. Okay. So this I'm going to do you one request. crazy deal on this. Who Just requested one price. this? Oh, Janice, who was oh, the first one on the phone lines. Well done, Janice. Well Amazing. done, Janice. Okay, one deal. Uh, carrot weights, 100 carats. It is the Dragon and the Phoenix. The only time I've ever done this. Even in the collection that I have of the 10 master carvings, the big ones, we don't have the Dragon and the Phoenix. We have the double dragon, we have the dragon, but to carve the dragon and the phoenix is two different disciplines. One scales, one's feathers. Yeah. You know, it's two different disciplines. Yeah. Okay, yours today, 149. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. And again, look at that amazing luster as it's well. It's sensational. Beautiful, that water content. Oh, I love this one. It's, do you know what? I think it's the whole dynamic of the, uh, of the yeah. dragon turning the, towards the um It's the yin and yang. It's, you know, the, 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 the balance. It's, that, it's exactly that. But it it's also yin and yang. just the ultimate. Isn't yeah. It? Dragon 
and the phoenix, which is just absolutely But even the phenomenal. positioning of it is yin and yang. Yes. Ah. Yeah, it is the swirl. Yeah. Right? yeah. How Susan, amazing. Susan, Sue, Valerie, Maker, Rosemary, Satvir, Janice, Mary, Sean, Maker, Maker, Gabrielle, and Patricia. We, we don't have enough to go around, but whoever wants it, it's yours. Yeah, we've got, it. yeah we're over-allocated hugely. Yeah. Good luck. Love it. Amazing request there, Janice. Yeah, I love, love that it. one. We should do a request show every now and again. Yes. Shouldn't we? Like, what a, do you like a radio show. Sh should we do Or I tell you what we could do. I tell you what we could do. We could try something else where we will. I don't know. If, I don't know how to do it. The best way to do it for you guys. Whether we do like a social media post or we do uh, an advert or something so, or on our website, we give you fifty options, mm. and you can vote on the ten you want us to bring you. Or something okay. like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That would be pretty cool. You get to choose your own showcase that you're going to tune in for. Or we can give you 100 or 200 options or whatever. But yeah. We could do that and then we'll say, right, this showcase is going to be built for you. You've got a week. Tell us what you want to see and we're going to bring it to you. We're going to do the best deals and you get to absolutely merchandise your own shop window and then we bring you that. How about, um, you know, literally getting as, as many of the master carvings over? Mm -hmm. And literally be a request show and we just have them all. Oh here. yeah, that's even just better. Surround do it live. Do it live. We'll just call it the request yeah. show. We'll have we'll find it, we'll find the, the best way to display them. Yeah. And we'll get something like a display cabinet or something. We'll have yeah. them all there. And we'll say here they and we'll have numbers under each one. Yeah. And we'll say you tell us what you want to say. That sounds like fun. That would be great. Let's do it. Because then we'll be an absolute an experience. We'll call it uh, by invitation only or something, or oh, by appointment yes. only, and you can all be welcome to this incredible experience and you get to choose what you want to see. Um, really amazing, cool. I like the idea I of that. We'll too. get that in the diary, shall we? Okay, what, sorry, Ross? <gasps> Don't tell me it's... Oh, my goodness. Go on. A phoenix Yeah. in a teardrop. Oh, my word, so you've got that, yeah. This is the Feng Hang, beautiful, and the lotus flower. Oh, yeah. Such symbolism here. Um, I love the fact that you have that. Oh, hang on. It's encased in the jade as well. You know, you have that kind of halo around the outer edge. One second, I need to get. Hang on. There's a small piece of dust. There you go. There you go. Okay, this is uh, 60 carats. Wow. 60 carats. Yeah, that is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Uh, you know, and I think people can relate to a phoenix, Dave. And I know, obviously, that, that uh, China has got the history. You know, yeah, no, I get it. Even here in the West as well, we can think of... Yeah, it's like rising through adversity. Isn't it? Absolutely. Um, the journey. For us here. Um, in the Far East, it carries different symbolism. But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to do a crazy deal on this. It's often, often actually tattooed, isn't it, as well, the yeah. phoenix, like the yeah. lotus flower, yeah. actually. And it's, going through, it's, it's that transition, that yeah. journey of through hardship yeah. or challenging times. But the lotus is the same. Yeah. Like the way that it, it, it is also kind of adversity. And what I mean by that is, well, the, the lotus is uh, linked to Buddha. Yeah. Okay? They're usually uh, carved together. But it is essentially the Buddha in, in that form because... In the same way they say that Buddha is born of this earth but exists above it, mm -hmm. that's the lotus. So the lotus mm -hmm. in, in the wild, it, the seed pods exist at the bottom of like stagnant water beds, yeah. like rice paddies, you know, brown water. And this seed you know, uh, emerges, rises through the adversity of this stagnant, lifeless water to reach the, the sunlight, and then it opens and unfurls above the water. So it is of the water but sits above it. Yeah, and that is, again, you know, rising through adversity. Considered the most beautiful flower in the world. Yeah. Right. Let's get the graphics in. I've only got 50 of these, but you know we're going to do a crazy deal. I'm still... I'm thinking these could be earrings as well, depending on... 100%. 100%. How beautiful shape. would they be? Yeah. In earrings. Well, it, let's it, do it at a price that people can multi-buy. Okay. okay. So the, the phoenix and the lotus flower. Yeah. Same How many do we have? 50. Let's, uh, let's get the graphics in for this. I've, I'm going to do it so you can multi-buy it. 60 carats. If you trust me, I'll be on the phone lines earlier. If you trust me, multi-buy. I'm going to start at 79.99. Not done. Huh? I said we're going to multi-buy. We're going to start at 79. Forget 200, forget 300. Start at 70, 60 carats. And I'm going to... I told you you can multi-buy. I told you you can get this material. 79.99. Uh -huh. Oh, God, and it's got split pay. Yeah. Right, uh, Adam, should we just do a minute clock? 
I've told you now, I've, I've made it really clear how, how low I intend on going. I want you to be able to get the earrings. I want you to get the suite. Thank you, Adam. The clock has started. Um, in 55 seconds, I'm going to an unprecedented price on this. It is type A, it's 100% natural. It is yeah. translucent. It is large, it is 60 carats. It is the Phoenix and the Lotus. And it's an incredible deal. It really is. Good luck, everybody. Even if we were to stop here, I think that's absolutely amazing, don't you? Well done to those of you that have already made your confirmations. There's that translucency. Oh, my goodness me. He's beautiful, isn't he? 20 seconds you've got. 20 seconds you have got. And I'm about to absolutely take this ridiculously low. I know that you trust me. I really appreciate that. Um, and, and remember, there's no risk in that. You can always cancel your order if you don't think my price is good enough. But um, the only reason I'm telling you to get on the phone early is because I'd hate for you to miss out. I'd hate for you to miss out. Mm, absolutely. Beautiful. I've never seen this. It's the first time I've actually seen this one. Yeah, well, it, you know, you won't have seen this this year at all. Ross, oh, man, this is bad, but I'm going to do it because I said it. So, I'm um, nervous. <laughs> that's all right. I said it and we'll always go through it, if, whether it works out for us or not. If I say something, we'll always honour it, even if we lose money because we are live. So forty nine ninety nine. but you've just got to be really quick. We only had 50. Well done, Surrey. You've just bought, you bought Jenny. You've just bought four. You know, that sounds a bit big. I'll tell you, quite honestly, I've gone too low on this piece. And that's fine. That's fine. That happens from time to time. Yeah, I mean, it's not a small piece of jade. No. Oh, my goodness. £24.99 and pence yep. on split payments. Turn it around again, please, Al. Sure. Right. I'm telling you, and you know it, if that was uh, in a finished piece of jewellery, anywhere, and it's a pear-shaped 60-carat type A jade, just cabochon. Yeah. At 50 quid, it's a joke. Yeah. And then you turn it around and you go, oh, did you not know? It's um, it hand carved. It actually has... Uh, uh, hand carved by hand. Yeah. And it has the phoenix, which is the most symbolic creature in Chinese folklore behind the dragon and the lotus. How amazing. What an absolute... We are <laughs> absolutely doing the, the, the craziest deals in the world. I'm 100% I'm, I'm convinced of that on Jada. Yeah, all totally. All certified, all type A. Wow. That makes it an unmissable deal. It does, knew, If it? you knew the cost on this, if you knew what Ross is seeing on his screen, uh, and we, I can't tell you, but I'm just telling you, it's unmissable right now. 60 carats. Yeah, less than a pound a carat. Crafted. Less than a pound a carat. That's, yeah, yeah that's you know going to I mean? be a first, isn't it, surely? It's a joke. I mean, I'm serious. If I'm next door, I don't do, you know, many gemstones here. I bring you jade, I bring you conch, I bring you pearls. But yeah. next door, I do a lot more gemstones. And um, if we had a 60 carat amethyst, yeah. It wouldn't be a pound of carrot. No, I'm sure. Than that. So I'm sure you know it this is crazy. It's ridiculous. How incredible. We are over allocated. Good luck. Um, Ross is suggesting we leave the last five there because we're so yeah, over allocated. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. So, okay, next piece is on its way. Okay, the next piece is on its way. Um, we, are, we, we put together like a small selection to bring to you after the initial launch, which sold out. Um, and we are, thank you, Dan. Dan has just brought, I mean, just the treasure keeps coming. But I don't know why you're doing this, Ross, because I just keep giving it away. This is unbelievable. Let me see. I don't have the return, so. That's probably one of my favorites ever. Oh my God. Right, let me show you something. How many of these, how many of the crane do we have? 46. I'm going to show you something crazy right now. Uh... Uh, sorry, I'm teasing you right here. Let me show you something crazy, though. Sorry. Because uh, there are things that we're working on behind the scenes. I'm working with the best carving facility in the world. Okay? <clears throat> and um, this was... I, I was like, I'll be led by you guys, what you think. We're going to bring this to the Western world. We're going to put it in a gallery in London. What do you think is, is the, the, the pieces you want to bring? Mm. Obviously, the dragon and the pearl. I can't see the return, but that's the crane. Oh, my goodness me. Uh, it all carved from a single piece. This is pure white yeah. as well. As is the crane here, even though the colours exist around it. And um, you, you are about to, sorry, guys, you're about to get uh, the only crane we've ever bought to you here. I'll just show you quickly. Sorry, Ethan. Um, it is a, a, a pair, okay? 
of these lot. incredible cranes. And I'm going to do your price where you can multi-buy on your own crane today. Is that what, it, what you call a pair? What's that? A brace. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Oh, my goodness me. The only time we've ever done the crane. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Look, look at the water by his feet. But look, at the, but look at the water quality of the jade. Yes. Oh, my I think goodness. this might be my favourite ever carving. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm with you on that, uh, Dave. You know, you've got the wonderful symbolism in the clouds in the top, which is also may all your wishes come true in the, in the carving, but it's also the clouds. His beak. Yeah. But it's that foot that's in the water. Can you see how it's pooling yeah, around yeah. it? And you see the other foot is lifted. Oh, my goodness me. How many did we at 46? Okay, let's bring the graphics in. This is a special piece. A special, special piece. When did we launch this? Uh, a few weeks ago, I think. Oh, oh I'm, I'm going to miss out now, aren't I? I apologise. This is unbelievable. Um, the Royal Crane. Okay, guys, this is the only time we've done the crane. It is... Uh, part of uh, a collection that, that will be with us uh, later in the year of master carvings. This is your very own. The wonderful, natural, type A, top water, jadeite crane. The green that, that follows almost like the, the, the um, sort of bone of his wing. Can yeah. you see that? So you've got, the, there's, 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 I know we call it a uh, white jade, but it is the royal crane. Um, you do have areas of white, mm -hmm. of green. It's the most significant bird in um, in Chinese folklore okay. that actually exists. I mean, the phoenix doesn't exist. No, yeah. Like, it, this is the king of the birds. The, the, the royal crane was on all of the emperor's robes. Wow. Always has been for thousands of years. And um, I don't know if you know this, but the crane lives um, for, for, like, in the animal kingdom and a usually long life. So oh. it's a symbol of longevity. And it also, you know, pairs for life as well. So it has a lot of incredible um, sim you know, symbolic meaning to it. Jeanette, you've just bought three. Immediately, straight away, I love that, that species. Mm, I do too. So they're, so, they're so regal, aren't they? Yeah. So the way they carry themselves. You know, they're, they're, elegant. Yeah, elegant is the word. Wow. Um, I only have 46, though. Or had 46. Marion, well done. Rosemary, well done. Jeanette, you've got three. Moira, you're there. Keith, you're there. Make Great Great London, you're there. Sapvia, you're there. Um, Cheryl, you're there. Julie, you're there. Marion, you're there. Karen, you're there. Janice, you're there. 30 second clock, Adam. We'll just do one deal on this. Okay. This the is Royal Crane. I think, I think this is going to be one of the fastest sellouts. I say that because I think so. it's certainly resonated with us here in the studio. And, and I'm, I can see by the call screens it is you too. There's just the elegance of it. The clouds rolling, the movement, the angles. You know, it just you know the bird in its own right. Like I've, I couldn't sketch it to that level of detail, let alone actually carving it within. You know, look at the craftsmanship of the feathers. The fact the water literally pools around his leg. So beautiful, so beautiful. I love this. Okay, I'm going to do it. Ninety-nine pounds. Double figures. That's absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. It is. I would. I would say this is my favourite. Who said that as well? I would say Ross is asking. Yeah, you, yeah. Is this the no, nicest this is. You've ever I think. Seen? I think it's my favourite. I think it's my favourite. <clears throat> I mean, look at that. Look at the detail. Mm -hmm. You know, and do you know what? For once, I don't know if I should say it out loud, but I will. And, and feel free to tell me off, Dave, if you think this is wrong. No, but. Go on. I don't actually care about the meaning of it. It's yeah, no, beautiful. No. That's that's yeah, that's the ultimate, isn't it? I would I am it's beautiful interested in to that, but it's discover beautiful the regardless. Meaning. But you should always buy what you love. Yes. You should always acquire the things that you love. Yes. And then, and then you can find out that journey of discovery. Beauty should the, be the deciding yes, factor. Absolutely. So and then I the think, story, the history and, and that follows. For sure. For sure. How sixteen left. Apologies, guys. I do wish we had more. I said these are all kind of last to stop now. It's, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just unbelievable elegance. Good luck, everybody. I, I'm actually a little bit speechless on this one. I've, I've never, it's the first time I've ever You know, seen these it. pieces, though, they, they, you, we don't even need to speak. They speak for themselves. They really do, and, and that's why it's so busy right now. 
Um, I do obviously wish we had more, but we don't. So apologies for that. There are six uh, very limited chances remaining. Make sure you are checking out your baskets mm. if you want the Royal Crane um, in that natural type A jade eye. Um, I'm just I'm just thinking about the stork as well. It could I know it's not a stork. I know it is actually a crane. But if yeah. you know somebody that's maybe about yeah, to have yeah, children sure. or something like that, you could have that meaning. Um, yeah, the bringer of new life. Amazing. Oh, speaking of beautiful birds, we have got Aha Adams just saying this is his favourite ever. Yeah, the bird with the thousand eye tail. Yes. This is the the, the legendary uh, peacock, which is um, essentially the phoenix on earth. That's how they refer to it. 135 carats. Wait until you see the translucency of this. Um, you know, very small quantity, but this is top aqua material. Ready? Wow. Oh. He's beautiful, isn't he? Yeah. Even down to his coy appearance, you know, he's literally got his sort of, his eye closed, his head turned. Just coy in his, uh, his appearance. But in reality, they're not that at all, are they? They are the massive posers, the show-offs, if you like, of the, um, of the bird world. But they are beautiful. You can't deny that. Both the peacocks and the peahens. Again, I, 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 I'm, I'm not familiar with the, um, the history on the peacock. I don't know if it, I should imagine beauty comes into it. I should imagine. Stunning, absolutely stunning. I know there's not many of these remaining. Yeah, I'm going to go to a brand new low on this because it's my final auction with you, Al. Yeah. Uh, I know you still have some incredible deals coming up for everyone. Yeah. But I always like to go out with a bang. So this is always only ever sold at 149. So we're going to go to that. We're going to go to 149 for top water. The incredible peacock, the thousand eye tail. You've got the, 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 the ornate, beautiful, intricate detailing carved into the jade eye. Um, and 30 second clock, my final deal, a brand new low. Uh, we are gonna go out with a bang. I'm not taking 10 or 20 pounds off. We're going in a massive way. We're going to a price this should never be, has never been. So if you want it, your last chance is today, it will disappear. We won't see this again, certainly not at this price. It's a gigantic carat weight, nearing 150 carats. It is the, the wonderful peacock, um, and it is the thousand eye tail with, with the, the, the beautiful uh, the, the head and, and the eye in the center as well. I'm trying to figure out which wh where you start with something like this. Do you start no from idea. the outside, work your way in, exactly, or from the inside, yeah, work no. your way out? Look at that, it's pure white. Right, £99. My final deal, that's the only reason. I always like to give you the best, the very is... best deal when we finish the wow. showcase like this. This master carving, £99. Take advantage, Fiona, Gloria, Cheryl, Anne, Maker, Rosemary, Susan, Keith, Janice, you're there. Good luck. £33 on three interest-free split payments, very easy. Uh, you know, you make use of that uh, if, yeah. you, if you want to make your, your, your budget go further. You know, make use of those split payments. They are interest-free. Monarchy, you've just joined us. This is really happening. This is only ever sold, only ever sold at 149, and we're in double figures. Amazing, truly, truly amazing. Look at that, it is literally crisp, pure yeah. white. Yes. With that wonderful... And translucent, level. top yeah. ice jadeite. Um, amazing, I can't get my head around how they even go about carving like something no. like this to create those layers, mm -hmm. you know, because you yep. can't make a mistake. No. Nope. You have to. And the, the, the head is in the foreground. Yeah. The way they've created that with that relief work. It's Look, really, really Can you see really his special. eyes shut there? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful, the detailing of his beak. £33. If you miss this, you're going to miss out. I'll let you know right now, you, this is going to be gone today. Yes. So if you, want, if you want to be in with a chance of owning it, if you're one of the several people within your baskets, I'll check it out. It, there is still a chance for you to call up on the phone lines. It can be reallocated to you from a basket if they haven't checked out. But I'm letting you know we're at an unprecedented, ridiculously low price point, and I would encourage you all... To, to snap this up, genuinely. Amazing, beautiful, beautiful color, type A grade. It has easily been, so this is certainly one of the most beautiful, uh, beautifully memorable as yeah. well. You know, people immediately think about the peacock, For don't sure. they, this yeah, carving. Yeah, 100%. Um, it is, it's, it's stunning, well done. I'll leave that one with you. Do yeah. stay where you are on sure. those phone lines. Um, Make sure you check out your basket. There. Yeah. Um, I've left Elle with some other incredible jadeite to bring to you. Um, to, to see the show out. We have the amazing masterclass coming up at midday as well. Um, it's been wonderful to be with you out and, and the whole team. And of course, you guys at home. And I'm going to see you very, very soon. But don't go anywhere because you haven't seen anything yet. So good luck. 
Amazing, isn't it? Always a pleasure to see our lovely Dave. Now, I do have more. We've given, been given authority, been given uh, permission um, to take some more of Dave's um, amazing uh, acquisitions to, again, these unparalleled deals. So, um, so yeah, don't go anywhere. Please stay holding on the phone lines for the Peacock. Um, because you will be answered. Uh, you will be answered shortly. Sorry, what was that, Adam? Okay. Um, I've only got a few to play. So, firstly, oh, I can't believe this. We had it in the black. Oh my goodness me! Look at this pure white. Look from there. Look at that. Look. Literally, the black was one of the most popular ones we've uh, items we've ever played. It sold out the fastest, I think, of that collection. We did the same master cutter um, has actually uh, carved this one as well. You can see that beautiful floral detail. Yeah, that's lovely. Um, Adam was just saying, can you imagine if you've got the black? Imagine putting the white on there. That yin and yang. Um, that would be stunning. Yeah, and I would probably team it with something like your white and black jade as well. Um, just take that literally from, uh, from end to end. What a beautiful piece. 21 carats, but be warned, this is very limited. Literally, it's, you know, it's like lace. You're talking about something that is um, wafer, th wafer thin in comparison. Um, it's a type A gemstone. You know, it is totally and utterly natural. You know, and, and this is not machine cut. This is done by hand, incorporating some of the most advanced of techniques. Look at that. Pure white colour. How many do we have then of these? There's 30 available. If you're lucky enough, I actually bought this in the black. And now I love your idea, Adam. And I'm thinking the piece of jewellery that I've already made with it needs to be taken apart. No, 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 it's all good because I like that idea. It's easily done, isn't it? It's easily done. We're at 99 pounds and 99 pence for the final 30 opportunities. I'm going to hold this up to the ear as well because I think they'd be absolutely beautiful earrings. Oh, my goodness me. Look at that level of quality. Final 30. You know, you know, the sculpture's amazing. The master carving pennant's absolutely incredible. But it's this that blows my mind. To be able to create something with that level of intricacy. You know, if you think about it, if you just take one false move, I don't know, and you, you take off one of these beautiful sort of scroll details, you've spoiled the whole design, haven't you? So it is absolute precision. And it's all done by hand. 30 of these remain within the vault. We have been given approval from Dave to continue these amazing closeout deals. If you got the black, then the, I think you need it. I think that's my that's what I'm saying to myself. Well, I got the black one of these, so yeah, it'd be nice to have the white, and I love Adam's idea of wearing the two together. Or one on each ear, that's cool. 79.99 £26.66 Hannah these blow uh, I oh absolutely staggering absolutely staggering to be able to sorry Johnny uh, Mr our, our financial director has just walked past by the way give me a, a very uh, very enthusiastic wave and maybe he wasn't waving after all maybe he was just going stop Stop. That's what he was actually doing. I've had, I've had permission. It's all good. Don't worry. I'm not nervous. $79.99. Stay where you are. Make sure you check out. Hello, G. May, Angus, Maker, Suzanne, Valerie, Somerset, London. Amazing. Oh, this one's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it's going to go straight up to the ear, I think. Again, you've got those lovely offerings. With this, well, the House of Suju, we introduced this technique through the House of Suju, um, which is a bit like, you know, all right, Ida Oberstein don't carve this material. Obviously, it is China that is synonymous to that. But the House of Suzhou is regarded as the best in the world. And that is what they, uh, they are able to create. If I can just for a second pivot it, you can see, look, just wafer fine, type A jadeite. It's this, the, the, working with something that is that fine, that intricate, and creating this level of detail by hand. Again, that would be quite difficult to sketch, wouldn't it? To get that amount of precision 
let alone actually carve it out of a, a rare, beautiful gemstone. How many do we have of these available? 30 available within the vault. We're going to do it in one price crash. We're not going to mess around on this. I love it. I absolutely love that detail. Um, I think it's got also a little bit of a Celtic vibe. What do you think? I think it's got a little bit of sort of... Uh, um, um, yeah, you've got kind of the Celtic vibe. You've definitely got a bit of... I'm trying to think of the artist. Oh, my goodness me. Who is it? It's gone off, gone off the tip of my tongue. I want to say Monroe, but it's not Monroe. Macintosh, thank you. Thank you. It's got a little bit about, about a Macintosh vibe. 79.99. Well done. I'm going to move quite quickly through these just because they are very limited in their stock. Um, oh, it's so beautiful. Seriously. Oh, oh my goodness me. Every single one of these will be unique. And I know on your graphics it's saying hints of green. But the one I hold here, I actually think an aqua. That's white, isn't it? Look, you can literally see my finger through it, can't you? Look at that detail. And I've got to get my mobile phone one second. Hang on a minute. Ready? I don't need to do this. You can see it's translucent anyway, can't you? But look at this. Oh, my word. It is. It, it's got that, the translucency that some people would actually assume that this was actually selenite, wouldn't they? It's not selenite. Far error. Type A white jadeite. Oh, my goodness me. It's like I'm holding literally wafer fine work of art. I'm going to open this up at under £100. And then we're going to go even lower. Please say this quantity. Please say this quantity. 30 available in the world. How beautiful is this? Can I just throw this one out there? As we're getting such amazing deals, dial early for this one. We have got this coming up next. You know, like Adam, you were saying about using it with the black. I would use those together. I think they'd be really nice together because you've got that same beautiful, I think this one needs to go that way then, um, the same beautiful floral motif. 99.99 but going even lower look at that level of intricacy good luck to each and every single one of you again straight away collectors and confirmations i don't blame you look at that beautiful ice white translucency it's not bleached it's not dyed it's certified laboratory tested type a grade you are literally i think making history today in terms of the quality the deals that you're uh, you, you're obtaining for that level of skill, for that level of artistry. We've shown it before, haven't we? We've shown you the likes of Pillar and Stone. We've so shown you uh, Ronan Schlussel, um, literally at his craft event over in uh, Tucson, well, the year just gone and also the year previously. They had works of arts like this that were thousands on thousands of pounds. They were not 69.99. And look, going back, not, not January just gone, but the year previously, when I actually managed, oh, it was allowed to, oh, it was able to go, allowed to go. Um, you, 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 it's, it's, it's kind of once in a lifetime opportunity that. Um, and Ronan Schlussel was actually saying, look, we're going to have to diversify because literally the Burmese mine is now closed. We're going to have to diversify into other gemstones. And they, it's, I think they mentioned tourmaline. I think it was in Spinel. Um, you're sourcing that same stone that was on that booth. But instead of it being thousands of pounds, it's 69.99. Gabrielle, Victoria, amazing. Carola, London, new customers. I know I've got retailers getting involved right now as well. Um, split payment of just 23 pounds and 33 pence. Amazing, well done. Um, okay, let's do that, Marquise. And then I have got a strand to bring you as well. Oop. Wow. Do you know, it's not only that direction, but you could also wear it this way. How beautiful would that be? Now, there are only 18. This one's very limited. We're going to do it in one price crash. Pure white. Intricacy. Front and reverse. Look at the beautiful forget-me-nots that you're seeing here. Oh, my word. 
49 pounds and 99 pence only such an elegant shape i think this lends itself to slider bracelets i think it lends itself to individual pendants earrings most definitely um, you know, if you love it, this marquee shape is widely uh, known as, as being one of the most um, wasteful. But beyond that, you're getting the marquees, but then you've also got these kind of wafer fine slices in pure type A white jadeite with this level, um, this level of intricacy. Good luck, Victoria, Lynn, Valerie, Carola. Hello to you, Essex. Hello to you, new customer. Again, make sure you do check out those baskets. All the W's at jewelrymaker.com. is a free phone telephone number, 0800 644 655. If you've never shopped with us and you're watching for the first time, they are master carvings. These are literally works of art. You know, um, they're not reconstitutions. We are look, talking about one of the world's rarest gemstones, like the 6,000 minerals that exist this is one of the world's uh, rarest and most valuable, and the West is finally waking up to it. Now, I have one more um, opportunity in your Type AJ. Don't forget, you've got the most amazing masterclass coming up with lovely Hannah as well. Beautiful jewellery. And if you love master carvings, don't think it ends here, because you've got jadeite, but you also have amethyst, you've got uh, labradorite, you've got mookite and uh, amazonite coming up. Now, the only strand that I've brought you today um, in, in obviously jade eye and this is the only one I will be bringing you outside of the kits that are coming up they glow oh look at that pristine pure white jade eye I'm looking at 8 mils 10 I beg your pardon 10 millimetres and a total of 100 carats. This has been under lock and key since January this year. Wow, look at this. This is there's this beautiful little ethereal glow. And I think it's someone Sus Susie and I were talking about last time we were together. She was saying we all know how much Susie loves jadeite. We all know how much she loves the white jadeite in particular. But she was saying about the glow that you get. It's almost, and I've always put it this way, literally for years and years, as long as I've been describing jadeite, I've, uh, I've said it in the same way. It's almost like there is a light source in the heart of the gem. Almost like there's a, you know, like, you know, like a, um, oh gosh, what do you call them? The lights on the end of the, by the cliffs, et cetera, to help the, Lighthouse. Lighthouses. Yeah. It's like it's, it's like their own little light source in the centre, you know? Yeah. They literally glow. Totally and utterly natural. The only strand, outside of the kits, by the way, but it's still very different jadeite that we're bringing you in Hannah's kits. In your 10 millimetre round. So again, think about all the carvings. I'm going to, I have to do this. I don't know if Adam's got time to try and find it on the camera, but look, look at that. There is one of the one or two of the cranes left. Um, two, sorry, I beg your pardon. Here we go. Look at that. If I turn it that way, there we go. Look at how beautiful that is. Stunning. Um, we took that to an amazing low, didn't we? I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Was it 99? I think it was. I think we took a low. £199 for your 10 millimetre type A jade white round. And listen, I'm, that's £300 to purchase those two items. But again, if you get it valued, if you get it appraised, you know, uh, um, which we would definitely, definitely recommend you do at some point, I don't think it's going to be reflective of what you're purchasing it for. Um, it's the only strand that I've brought you to, uh, well, actually today today um so we do have some strands coming up in the next hour as well alongside hannah's amazing masterclass. do make sure you check out your basket it's absolutely beautiful you can get hold of this today 10 millimeters so they're huge sizes uh 66 pounds and 33 pence i'm gonna leave that with you do not go anywhere lovely jewelry makers because i'm gonna make my way over to beautiful hannah who has made beautiful jewelry and i know the kits are utterly beautiful as well don't go anywhere because we'll return after this
Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one P&P charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Well, <laughs> up there for thinking, down there for dancing and all that. Yeah. Sorry, the guys were just commending me on how I was like, I just open my um, my little snack now, so I can have a little discreet lunch. <laughs> I can, be, I can be munching whilst watching you. Absolutely. Why not? Exactly. You know, jewellery, cake, tea. You guys, what Heaven. more could we possibly Heaven. want? Hannah Osborne. Oh, seriously. I don't know about that. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Hannah, no, do you know what? We we can literally sit back and enjoy. Um, yeah. Do you know, all the kits are available on pre-order, but I want to show you, I want to show we've got plenty of time. I want to show you each and every single one of these kits because I hope... In fact, let me double check. Oh. So they are quite limited though. Are they? There's around about 50 of each. 
So I would be quick. And I, can't, I will tell you, these are not really expensive kits either. Which is surprising because these are amazing components, yes! aren't they? I'm going to start with the Mukai, seriously. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Shall I bring the necklace? Bring the jewellery in the yeah. middle. I tell you what, put it in the middle. So there's, that's that one. Oh, Hannah. In fact, yeah, never mind looking at on my tweezers. Let's just look at your beautiful <laughs> jewellery. And then that's, that's the same. It's just I've doubled it up to fit it on the bus. Hang on. Is it in the way? Sorry. That's all right. There we go. Move, right, beautiful, beautiful, way. beautiful, 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 beautiful. Look at those, though. They're so cool, aren't they? We had them last week in Nephrite, and they sold out in a heartbeat. I'm not surprised. Now, today we have the jadeite, but do you know what's really exciting me is the fact that we've got other gemstones in it too. Yeah, yeah. It, it just it, it makes it sort of I love opens jadeite. it up to so many more people. It does. It? I love jadeite, but there's no two ways around it. Even at jewelry maker prices, which is just unbelievable, it can be. It it, it it's a more considered stone, yeah. and rightfully so. Rightfully so. However, isn't it lovely to see it in mukite? I don't know. I don't know if that's ever been done before here on our screens. I don't know. I've not seen these connecting thing like because um, that's carved out other than jade. Well, let's 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 have a little look. I'll hold them in the tweezers for a second. Firstly, look. I mean, that's carved out of one individual stone. There's no way of actually saying. Oh, I tell you what. I tell you what. I'll 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 I'll, ca I'll carve a link, and then I'm gonna connect another one. No, it's all going to be done at the same time. Because, you, you know, you can solder jump rings or precious metal together, but you can't do with your gemstones. Yeah, I know that's a really not. obvious thing to say. But for some reason with me, it took a bit longer to sink in. To realise that it was all made from one piece. Yes. Yeah. yeah. One amazing boulder. It's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. Now, you get two of each in each kit as well, which is unbelievable. But wait, I'm just going to put this one down. Because you also have it in the amethyst. Times two. Oh my Lovely. word. Look at that. Look at that chevron. So beautiful. I'm just going to put that down. And by the way, they all come with the same corresponding size, uh, beautiful gemstones as well. I think this is going to be one of the fastest selling. Labradorite. You get two of those as well. Look at that rainbow. Little rainbow sheen there. It's gorgeous. Honest. Honestly, honestly, and you have your Amazonite and you have your Jadeite as well. I'll show you the Amazonite. I'm going to show you these together like this. In this, it's such a romantic idea, isn't it? Two interlocking links. There's the Amazonite with the Amazonite strand just down here. Ah, oh. and then you have the blue. linked for eternity absolutely yeah. then you have here's the jadeite two of the jadeites your six mils six millimeter type a jadeite rounds you get two of these but sorry they're eight millimeters in their size look at how beautiful they are again you get two how amazing and you get the silk Again, if I go back, come back this way. Sorry, Ethan, I should have done this at the beginning. So with your Mukite, you are getting two of these. Not just the two links I'm holding. You're getting two of what I'm holding. Yeah, two lots of... Yeah, you're getting the silk as well to go alongside it, and you get your eight millimetre strand. Um, again, alongside with your amethyst, you get the eight millimetre strand. You get your silk. How incredible are these kits? Oh, my goodness. And then likewise with your labradorite, you get two of the interlocking links and you get the eight millimeter strand and you get the silk. One, two, three, four, five kits. Hmm. I'm just trying to think, Ross, because these are available on pre-order, aren't they? And I know that they're going to, uh, you know, you might have looked at these interlocking links, love the romance, love the ideal of the uh, design of it uh, as well. But you might be looking at, uh, and they've been, a certain price point, because yes, you've got yeah. to remember this is probably one of the most difficult techniques to create. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, Han, never mind just a boulder of gemstones. Imagine somebody said, there's a lump of clay. 
<laughs> which, make, you can, which is links malleable. Breaking it apart, yeah. Make <laughs> chain, yeah, exactly. Interlocking links. It's, but you're not allowed to disconnect it's it. It's so difficult. And even if you manage to create it, you've then got to polish it and hone it so it's all smooth and yeah. beautiful. You know, there's, they're so lovely. Such beautiful components. They really are. So beautiful. Um, okay. Again, these are limited kits, as you can imagine. There's about 50 of each. Is that right, Ross? About 50 of each of them. Are they available on pre-order right now? Okay. But tall, yeah, here we go. All the W's at jewelrymaker.com. If you don't know how to pre-order, you can do that via the phone as well. Speak to our call centre. Everybody pays the final low price tag regardless of when we actually uh, drop that price for you. So I know on the, on the website now it's showing like £4,294. It's not going to be £4,294. But look at, the, look, look at the amethyst. Look at the labradorite. Um, why is that labradorite at £76.99? I mean, that's pretty amazing straight away. These are, I'll be honest, they're, they're nowhere near. And it's just basically a number that our system... So I don't know how it even manifests that number, to be truthful. Um, yeah, but it's not going to be anywhere near any of those. So um, I can promise you that you'll be, you'll be delighted with the saving. So shop ahead if you can. Secure your place. If you're not happy, then you can always cancel it, can't you? Um, not that I think you will be. Hannah, talk us through these beautiful designs, because they're stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, well, so uh, basically I'm, I've, I've got the same uh, necklace but with different ways of doing it. So um, the first one that I did was the jadeite one and that, that is um, a complete over-the-head necklace. So um, there's no clasp, but it's, it's just continual. I've added some fire-polished um, AB-coated beads nice. in there. Um, and it's, it's literally the whole, the whole thing is knotted. So you've pa passed the um, cord through here as a starting point. Oh, so I was um, going to ask you about that. Where do you start with something like well, this? Well, yeah, so on, on the one that's like entirely knotted, uh, like I started there, um, and then you see there, there's like a little um, crimp cover there. So that's because I've ended up doing so like a, a big chunky knot and then gluing that, and so I wanted to hide it just to, mm. to tidy it up a bit. Um, and then the rest of it just flows through with just knotting all the way around. So there's no clasp on that because it's long enough just to pop straight over your head. Wow. Um, and then with uh, this one, the Mookite one, um, it does have a clasp on the back. Uh, and I think that might just be because I had a s slightly shorter strand or, or, or maybe I used different sized um, space beads in between. So again, I've, I've added some fire polished beads in between. It's still knotted, um, but it comes to a clasp at the back on that one. Um, so if you wanted to, you could, you could double that one up. Nice. Um, and in the same way with the amethyst one, this, what, this one's got clasp on the back as well, and that, that is it doubled up just to show. Oh, okay. Um, but that one's not knotted at all, so if you're, if you're not comfortable with doing knotting, you don't have to. You can save the silk for something else. That, that's on beading thread, and then again, it's a, a crimp bead with a crimp cover either side of each of the links, and then I've used seed beads just to sort of um, decorate it, add a bit of extra colour or contrasting colour, um, just to, you know, give it a bit of zhuzh. Um, yeah, so three, three, Hannah, three different so variations on the same theme. <laughs> yeah, but these kits are, are stunning. They, they are absolutely amazing. Absolutely stunning. I, I love them. I think I think they're so lovely. I've never seen these components apart from in the nephrite. Yeah, yeah, day, yeah. Which I think have sold out now. Anyway. Yeah, I think I, were they with Susie? I think yes. Was, yes, only yeah. only last week, so not that long ago. Yeah. Um, I I if I was a betting person, which I'm not, but if I was a betting person, I would bet every single one of these kits sold out. Um, I'm trying to give you as much of clues without actually saying it out <laughs> loud just how, how amazing this deal is. They are. We talk about master craftsmanship. You know, every single lapidaris is a master carver, aren't they? Let's be honest. It's very difficult to facet gemstones. But then when you start talking about curves, when you're talking about literally artistry in a gemstone, um, it, takes it, to, it takes it to another level. Start adding a little bit of, I don't know, how would it be? Would it be science? Because interlocking links out of one solid boulder of gemstone. Yeah, there's, that's, it's real skill. It really is. And they're, and they're the same size as well. So when, when you look at them, they're, 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 it's not like one that's really obviously bigger than the other. They, no. they, they've really tried hard to make sure that they are um, not, not like completely uniform, but as, as close as you can get from something that's being carved like freestyle, you know. Yeah, um, I'm gonna. We're gonna open with the jadeite. You can shop ahead on all of the kits. In sixty sec. Uh, sorry, sixty seconds. Yeah. There's how many? 
There was 50. Okay. Seven have already gone on pre-order. Okay. Eight millimeter type A jadeite rounds. Look at how beautiful that strand is. In fact, Ross, remind me what this is going to. Okay, Ross, ask, see, correct me if you think I'm wrong. And likewise, Hannah. Yep. What you, you have just heard in your ear, and I'm not going to say it out loud yet. What we are taking this kit to, including the two interlocking links, two, but I think you, this kit, it's hard to display something like this. I think this kit is the price of the strand. Do you agree? Yeah. For eight millimetres of that quality. They, they are stunning. Or, yeah. I think the price of this kit is the price of that, that one. One of those interlocking links. Look at the quality. They're just stunning. They're, I mean, they're so beautiful and so easy to wear, so comfortable to wear as well. But also because this, this is that um, this is the, like the, the amazing jadeite one. I, I always find if you pick jadeite up, you get that lovely sort of serenity. That totally, cool, you know, there's that something calming. about it. There's something about having like a, a continual circle of, of jadeite, like on your person that that just I don't know. There's there's like um. So it's not magic, but you know, it just cools you down. It does, down. it does. It's got this, this yeah. Got, yeah, I totally agree. So I believe, I genuinely believe that for those two interlocking links, the romance, the sentiment, the meaning, that just the, the, just the artistry of just one of those double links, the price of this kit, that's amazing. Or the strand of that quality, absolutely amazing. You don't just get the one of those interlocking links, you get two and you get the strand and you also get your silk. Now I have, I had, sorry, 50. For, oh, there we go, that speaks volume. Susie's got involved. Oh, well, Guest they, design they, Susie. there you go. <laughs> Hi, Susie. Hi, Susie. <laughs> um, yes, one of the jump rings on its own. Absolutely, I totally agree. Where we close this kit, but you are getting everything. Guest designer Susie, Victoria, Cumbria, new customer, Diane, Christine, Morag, Tynanware, um, East Sussex, hello Tom, hello to you, new customer, Julie, Somerset, Michelle, Sharon, you're all there. Oh. Hang on a minute, hold up. Stop, stop, stop. Ross, have you seen what's happened on the web? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> Kits are already selling out. Mooka, it's extremely limited too. I would not leave these in your basket. They are already selling out. This is the type A jadeite. Victoria, well done. You've just secured yours. Bernadette, Diane, Christine. Good luck, everybody. And listen, we can sit back and enjoy. I'll bring you the kit and then the floor is yours, Hannah. Okay. Um, £199 for the two interlocking links. You know, those, those wonderful, the sentiment and the meaning. Often, um, you know, we associate that with, with love and romance. Yeah. But not just, I think, I, not just, I, I think, partnership, um, as in a romantic romance. It can also be mother and daughter or, or father and son or father and daughter. You get the idea of friendship, Any, you know. Anyone you're connected to. Connected. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the perfect description. Yeah. Would we all agree? And £199, absolutely amazing. Definitely. Never was going to be the price of your kit, though. When it's an, au an auction as, as in demand as Jedi, and we know it is our number one seller here at Jewelry Maker, we do have to manage it. And what I mean by that is we need to make sure we don't melt the, the phone lines. <laughs> yeah. But we don't crash the website and the app. So we will stagger the auction down. Now, every single one of you that's already confirmed, that doesn't mean that you are getting, uh, you are paying a higher price point. Don't worry. You're not paying £199 either because everybody pays the final low. By shopping ahead, you are guaranteeing your success. The rarity of type A jadeite, the quality of that beautiful color. You can see the fine texture, can't you? But it is those two just jaw-droppingly beautiful interlocking links. And yours today, times two. Yeah, you get them times two for 129 pounds. Wow. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? That's that is incredible, yeah. And if uh, also, I mean, if you bought any of the, the jade from um, 
Dave's uh, show just a second ago, then all of these are going to go wonderfully with it. So yeah. you could add fabulous pendants and things. Oh, that's a beautiful idea. You know, it just look amazing all together, wouldn't it? Oh, absolutely. That, they could be, you know, you could have the two interlock. I know they're not a Mobius, but they're that kind of Mobius Similar style. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Um, you could have them sort of just below the collarbone, maybe, and then you could have a big master carving or one of those Chant Chantilly lace carvings, I think, would look yeah. beautiful at the bottom as well. But heads up, we only had 51 of these, and they are flying Maker, Cumbria, Wiltshire, Victoria, Nicola, and Victoria's multi bought. Well done, London. Heath, you're, you're with us. Well done, Ron you've done it Pauline you've done it Gabrielle you've done it there are so many of you with it in your basket half the stock has already been confirmed so amazing sit back everybody um, how exciting we're gonna have the most lovely lovely hour with Hannah we're gonna learn how to create how to work with these beautiful uh, beautiful kits and not only that, you're getting an amazing, amazing price point. Swansea, you're there. Good luck. Maker, you're there. Good luck. Susan in Newport, good luck. Uh, Carola, good luck in Oxfordshire. Pauline, good luck. Pat, good luck. Helen, good luck. Tracy, good luck. Bernadette, good luck. Uh, Christine, good luck. And I can't see everyone else's names. They're off the bottom of the screens. But um, how many? Oh, so over, over half the stock's gone. How many are in baskets? 49. How many on the phone lines? 22 on the phone. And we've got about, about the same quantity as well, about 22 left. Who wants this under 100 pounds? Oh, yeah. Go on. Do you see why I was saying that's an amazing price for the strand? It, it really is. It really is, yeah. An amazing price for the strands, which are 8 mil. It's an amazing price point for just one of these, but you do get two. Everybody pays that final low. It is going under £100. So many of you have checked out. Absolutely amazing. Susie, uh, Susan, Victoria says, I'll have three. Thank you very much. Amazing, Victoria. Really, I mean, such an incredible level of skill and artistry. Plus, it's in type A jade. If you want something different, if you're looking for a different gemstone, then don't worry. We do have other kits, but one of the kits is already sold out. I know, that's... Just yeah, bonkers, isn't it? I'm not surprised. <laughs> and Mukai is looking like it could follow suit very quickly. Meath, Suja, well done, Victoria, Suzanne, Essex, congratulations to you, Tracy. I've got Judith, Mary, Cambridgeshire, Donna, um, Swansea, hello to you, Mary in Cambridgeshire, well done to you. Um, if you want that quantity, Helen, all I can say, good luck to you. I would encourage checking out soon rather than later because we only had 51 of them, remember. And any questions that you have for, um, that you have for uh, Hannah during the masterclass, then take Text in. We're, we're, we're live, literally here in the studio. So if you, maybe there's something you're struggling with that you would maybe encounter alongside these kits. Then hopefully we can address that and sort that out. You get the silk, and I know it's kind of taken a bit of a back <laughs> step back in this one, but it had to be all about these beautiful jadeites. That's how many are left within the vault. Look, hang on. If I just one second, one minute, one, two three can we just consider that's 33 pounds per component for interlocking jadeites or a whole strand of it uh, oh my god i can't <laughs> believe that i mean one of these should be brilliant. 99 pounds yeah shouldn't this it? is brilliant can you get your head around that artistry because i can't i, I, lo I can't. love them they're, they're so beautiful they really are in, in like the skill that it's taken to make those is phenomenal what an amazing anniversary piece this would be yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a lovely idea. Nice. I, I've just got goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, it was a lovely anniversary piece this would be because they are literally oh. together forever, aren't they? Oh, that's so nice. Amazing. Love it. Down to the final nine. Hello, Marva. Hello to you, Sharon. Hello to you, Carol. Hello to you, Suzanne. Hello to you, Susan in Essex. Meath, you're there as well. Um, <laughs> absolutely incredible. Um, the final nine opportunities, single figure price point. Do make sure you check out your baskets, everybody. Stay where you are, the final seven of them. Lynn Pauline, amazing. Well done. And again, do have a little look on the website. Speak to our contact centre because we have this amazing kit in um, in uh, the Labyrinth. We've got it in, or rather we had it in the Labyrinth. I've got to be honest, it's already sold out. So let's do that now before we dive into yeah, the demonstration. Yeah. Shop ahead on the other kits. Um, look at this strand. Look how lovely this strand is. Oh, you've got purples in here. Yeah. Can you see it? It's fab, isn't it? Look at how amazing that strand is. 
it has already sold out. Let me show you the interlocking links. You get the blue, which I think is a lovely colour choice. Come on. How awesome are these? Very cool, aren't they? Um, 49.99. How awesome is that? Very cool. Very cool indeed. And by the way, <laughs> the only way to get hold of these interlocking uh, links, I have to do the amethyst too, is, is wow. in the kit. It's the only way to do it. Again, look at this strand. I don't, you know, look how beautiful this is. Oh, such, oh my. such a beautiful strand of amethyst this is. One of my favourite colours as well. Yeah, sorry. Look at how beautiful these are. I keep leaning towards this one because it's got a bit of chevron about it. But I also like the Rose de France too. 49.99. Oh, sold out. Well done. We have got two more kits. Wow, that was um, quick. <laughs> yeah, we have got two more kits. We've got it in Amazonite. Let me just tell you how many we've got. Four left of the jade. That's it. Labradorite, sold out. Amethyst, sold out. So the jade is going to follow suit shortly because there's literally four. Mm -hmm. But just take a little look. You've still got opportunities in your Mookite. I knew these kits would fly out. Yeah, they're amazing, aren't they? Um, and your Amazonite. So they are coming up um, as and when, whenever. whenever yeah. We've got plenty of time. So, um, Hannah, over to you. Take it away. OK, well, obviously, um, knotting projects um, take a bit of time, so I'm going to focus on a, sort of a bracelet kind of length, if nice. that's all right. You've got plenty of time. So I know, I know. I couldn't, I couldn't do a whole one of those. <laughs> right, so I have unravelled all of my um, silk. This is mm. the Amazonite kit, and um, it comes with the blue silk, which is lovely. Um, I've laid out a design and I've added some of these fire polished spaces in as well. Um, just uh, you don't have to. You could do it all solid in the one, but I like that again the undulation thing following on from the uh, this morning's kits. Um, so I've just made myself a little design. I'm going to move these out of the way, and again I'm going to start in the middle with the connector. Um, so I am going to thread on uh, my large bead followed by my small bead and I'm going to thread those down so that I've got a little bit of a, a tail left that I can hang on to the end of and then I'm going to tuck that through one of these loops like that. and then I'm going to come back through the smaller bead actually gone through the silk itself don't want to do that I don't want that one to fall off that's why I've left a bit of a tail for it and then I'm just going to feed this all the way through so that it's quite close not so tight that it, it can't move because it, the, the tighter that is um, the more friction you'll get and I've let I've deliberately left it without French wire on there because I want to see the blue color um, then I'm gonna <laughs> Going on there? Did you get cut into vision with your? <laughs> I got rumbled with my cake. Well, you did tell him you were going to. <laughs> then I'm going to tie a little knot after it, like that. Just making sure that that's staying secure. I might actually do a double knot with that one. And again, I don't want this one to fall off the end of here because. It's quite difficult to, to thread it on without a needle on the end. So that's kind of your second bead. So I've just done a double knot there. Then I'm going to pass the needle through the second bead. And the reason that that's threaded on now is because if that comes off the end, it's harder to get that through a bead without the needle than it is with this one. So you want the second one on there already. OK, so I'm just going to pull that through. Like that. And then I'm going to pull both of them and I suspected that might happen. So I'm just going to use the tweezers to help me tighten that little last knot there. Pull it tight and then add my first Amazonite bead. Then um, I want to do another double knot here. Like that. And then what I've done on, on all of mine is I've then glued that knot 
before I've carried on. However, I haven't got the glue with me, so I'm going to leave the tail there. So again, I'm just using the, the little tweezers just to make sure that I'm, I'm pushing that knot up to the edge of the bead. Um, I'm better with the, the nozzle one. No, okay. um, uh, actually, I could probably use the end of a pin. There you go. You. And now I've just been handed a bit of a little bit of glue. Because so, everybody carries around E6000. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. And also, everybody does. I normally do, right. I'm just going to use that because I don't want an awful lot of it. Oh, it's, it might have glued itself together, actually. Oh. Sorry. Here's me thinking I was helping you. It was a lovely idea. The idea was there. It's, the thought uh, was there. Yeah, Never yeah. Mind. More, more of a prop than a function at the minute. And um, the jade, just update, by the way, the jade kit has sold out. We're going to bring the graphics onto your screen for the Amazon um, night, sorry, um, that Hannah, you're demoing right now. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, so I'm just adding my um, next Spa well, spacer bead. So this is the fire polish bead that I've added for my stash. Okay. And then from now on, I'm going to make a little loop there. I'm going to pass the needle through. So it makes a, an overhand loop, but you want to make sure that there's no other knots forming in your thread as you go. And then I'm just, I quite like to use a little T-pin. It just helps you to get that knot really close to that last bead that you've added. So I'm going to gently that a little bit of a wiggle there. I'm wondering if I need to do a double knot with this uh, thread. So some, some of the threads are, are thicker than others. I know the purple one, if you're going to do knotting, um, I would double it up before you start because um, of the drill holes in the beads. This one might okay. be okay. So I'm just and I guess the drill holes in the gemstones differ as well. Yeah, definitely. Right, so that one, if I push it, it's going to disappear into the, the bead. So I'm just going to use my fingernail to tighten that. Yeah, I might go for double knots from now on with this particular size one. Okay, so it's a 0.6, by the way, if you're if you're wondering with this kit. So the Amazonite, you get the 0.6 blue that Hannah is demoing right yeah. now. Right, so I'm going to do a double knot with this one. So I've just gone through the same loop twice before I then put the T pin there. Okay, so I'm just going to bring the the bead up as close as I can to the the base of the pin, hanging on to the the oh the bead and the pin, and then just gently let that knot slide towards it. Okay. Yeah. And then when you're happy with it, the problem I've got is because that knot there's probably not big enough. Should have been a double one. I need to position it there before I pick up my next bead. And I'm just alternating as I'm going. And then I'm just pushing that against the knot before I release it. There you go. That's a better knot. And you, you can t you can tell because like you can see that one the the knot's sort of almost disappearing. This one's more visible. And when you're using coloured cord, it's quite nice to have to see it. So I'm going to go with, d with double knots to carry on. So again, through the loop once, I'm pulling the cord all the way through because it just stops it getting too tangled up. And all the way through again, over my T-pin, holding the bead that you've just added as close as you can, and then slowly pull that knot towards it. It's a bit trickier with the double knot, but it will work. You just have to be patient. <laughs> okay, so when that's quite close, I can then add my next Amazonite to the end. Feed that through. Right, this one's got quite a big drill hole. I might actually switch that one out. Some of some of them have got bigger drill holes than others, and when you're knotting, you need just need to know that the um, the knot you're creating is mm. bigger than the drill hole that's in in the bead. So either you need to look for one with a slightly smaller drill hole, or make sure that you've got a double knot or something like that. And then I can take the pin out and push the bead towards it at the same time. Just making sure that knot's nice and secure. There we go. 
beautiful. It's lovely, isn't it? Um, so the kit that's on your screens right now is the Amazonite that Hannah is demonstrating. So you get you are getting just so you know the eight millimeter Amazonite uh, strand, which is absolutely beautiful quality. Again, you know, you can really see the similarity. Where Amazonite often quite looks quite a lot like jade, doesn't it? It does. Um, yeah. um, and. Well, it, yeah, if there was a, you know, blue jade, I, I know all mech is very different, but it's got this bluish tone, hasn't it? Um, this beautiful uh, similarity, amazing glow about it. And they do say as well about Amazonite that it, it looks even better at sunrise and sunset. Um, so natural, totally natural. You're also getting your two um, beautiful interlocking links. Half the stock has already gone on pre-order, by the way. So again, you're getting two of those. And you can see the blue um, silk that Hannah is demoing with that, with, um, that I mentioned is 0 0.6 millimeters. Um, so yeah, the techniques that Hannah's demoing, of course, you can do with this kit. Are you ready? Half the stock's gone, 49 pounds and 99 pence. So many of you got involved. Again, I mean, that for me, that's the price of the Amazonite or one of those interlocking links. I, yeah, I think those connectors are absolutely fabulous. Like, you know, they're, they're, that's, that's really for me where the, where the money lies because, you know, you're, you're paying for that incredible craftsmanship, that skill. Yeah. It's not something that you could easily replicate yourself at home. No. And I, and I think that's, that's when you, um, you appreciate it. And I know ge certain gemstones are softer than others, but it's still incredibly difficult whether they're, you know, whether, I don't know, let's say turquoise, because turquoise is a softer stone yeah. altogether, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But it's still going to be hard to carve that kind of shape out of turquoise. Oh, yeah. Mass Do you know what? I'd love to see a turquoise one. <laughs> um, yeah, but it would be really difficult to make it. Yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, it's, it, for me, I'm just blown away by these. I'm, it's so, so exciting to see it in the moo kite as well. Um, love them. Make sure you do check out Anne in Worcestershire, Janice, Neil and Linda, Virginia, Cheryl, Maker in Essex, Victoria, Ma uh, Meath, Tracy, Anne. Um, loads of you there. Keep on dialing through. Back to you. Okay, I'm still, I'm still going. So, so um, each time, because I'm doing double knots, it's, um, it's a bit slower than it would be if it was a single one. Um, but you just got to make no, sure. No, it's good it... to see because not. I, I think most people. Well, I didn't know you double knotted some. Well, I, I try not to if I can if I can help it. But I, I was just thinking because of the um, the size of the drill holes that we've got on this particular one, um, I just think it needs it. And you got uh, the, the trick is trying to get as close as you can before it knots up. Mm. I'm just trying to help it. There we go. There we go, because we want it to get as close as it can before it forms the knot, and then you can use the pin so like to pull against just to make sure it's nice and close. Actually, what I haven't done is measure that against my wrist, so I will just take it off in a second. Again, use that to make sure it's close, and then push that bead to the knot so it's nice and secure. And then because this was, um, I was thinking this would be a bracelet, just got to kind of measure it against your own wrist really and see how far round you got. I can afford to go a little bit further, that's okay. Because it's kind of, once it's on, it's on. You, you, you can take um, knots out, but they're, they're really hard to do. Like, you know, it's easier if you can do it in one sort of sitting. And I've always said, if you're going to do um, knotting, it's like try, try and like make time to do the majority of the project in one sitting if you can. Or if you're doing a bracelet, like do one half of it yeah. in one sitting. Just you're saying because you, you have different tensions. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just, it's very easy to um, go away and come back and it might be you're in a different frame of mind or, you, yeah. you, you, you know, you, you might, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're coming at this from a nice, calm sort of point of view one day and then the next day you're thinking, right, I've got to get this done in whatever time, then you might find that the, the tension that you're creating with these knots differs. That's a top tip, actually, mm. because you almost imagine that uh, knotting you can kind of stop, put down, come back to. And yeah. You can, but it's a top tip to you be... You can when, you, when you're used to it, but it's just something I, I found because I was actually watching um, our lovely Sue when she was doing knotting, and, she, and she's really quite quick these days, and, it, and it's just like, it's so it's so therapeutic to watch it. Oh, yeah. But when you're actually doing it, if you, if you get one knot that's slightly you know, too far out, it's quite frustrating. <laughs> you, you, oh, you want to then go back and yeah. make sure it's it's exactly where you want it. When I was at the jewellers, I used to, there was, um, bless her, Brenda, little, uh, a lady that lived worked there, and she'd worked there all her life, 
she'd worked there, you know, and she was in her 80s when yeah. I worked there and still, um, and that's what she did. She used to sort of stand and literally just knock was a knotter. Um, and I used to sit, stand and talk to her for hours upon hours, just watching <laughs> her knot pearls. Yeah, it's lovely. I wonder if I can actually do, yeah, rather than putting it around my wrist, I'll just borrow that a second. Yeah, that lady Brenda, sorry, I can hear down the back, but she, <laughs> she worked at that, uh, that jeweler's for over 50 years. 50 years. Wow. How amazing is that? Lifelong passion kind yeah. of thing. And Yeah, she was very good at it, yeah. Amazing. Definitely, definitely. Well, mine is more, I've sort of learnt it from watching other people and... Um, it's the same with most jewellery things, isn't it? Well, it's a it? talent. It's, it is a happens. talent. And it's, uh, you know. go. Yeah. I'm just gonna make Stock sure. update on what? the Amazonite. How are we doing, Ross? Because I can see the call script. There's a lot of you with it in your baskets. How many do we have? Half the stock. So look, if you can see your name on the other side of the list, um, there you go, London, Mary. If you if you're on this side of the screens, you do need to check them out ASAP because remember we only oh, yeah we had less than fifty in every single one of them. So yeah, yeah. Um, the amethyst sold out, the labradorite sold out, the jadeite has sold out, sold out. Yeah. So if you're seeing your name on that side of the list, I would check out sooner rather than later. We've still got the mookite to bring. Shall I do that now? Yeah, sure. I yeah. think this one's going to be, if it hasn't already gone. Has this sold out? I don't know if I should have favourites, but I think this is one of my favourites. <laughs> I have to admit, I really like the Mukite one as well, just because of the, the, the beauty of the colours. Well, we don't it. see it, do yeah. we, in carved stones? It's just so beautiful. Um, it's been very popular on pre-order, says Ross. Oh, look at that. I love it. It's a beautiful... Mukai is a variety of jasper that comes from Western Australia. I love it. You get these wonderful warm okras, um, chocolates, taupes, these beautiful crimson reds. It's just beautiful. And I'm just trying to cast my mind back. I don't know. I don't know. Have we ever done it in a carved stone before? Probably, because it's jewellery maker. But um, we don't see them very often, do we? Don't see them very often. Look how beautiful they are. And you get two of them. And I can only, well, I could hold two, I suppose. But you do get two of those interlocking links. Um, amazing. I love this kit. 49 I think the colours in that, they're just so, they're so scrummy, aren't they? Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Make sure you check out, though, because there's a lot of multi-buyers getting involved. So amazing. Well done to you. Back to you, Han. Okay, so I'm, I've just got a little bit of French wire here that I'm, I'm going to cut about a centimetre off. Might be a bit knobbly bobbly. I might not. I might have to use a different bit. Some of this has got stretched, you see, and once it's stretched, it's, it doesn't like going back. That's a better piece. Right. So French wire is just something that protects your silk um, when you're doing uh, attaching clasps and things like that. Mm -hmm. And it just takes the, um, the pressure off when the clasp is moving. So I've got a jump ring. Which I'm thinking. I'm hoping this is going to be long enough. Let me just try this again. I wonder if I should just do one more on there. So better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, safe. yeah. I'm going to go for one of the darker ones I think right so with the last two beads don't tie the knot in in the middle of them yet thread that one on okay then I'm going to add my little piece of um, <laughs> French wire um, so and French wire is, is basically it's like a little tube a tiny spring little coil so if you've ever seen them um, gizmo wire it's like that but much much smaller Hopefully it's going to fit over there nicely. Get it all over the, the lumps and bumps on the wire. <coughs> and then literally just pinching it in my thumb because I don't want it to uncoil itself as I, as I drag it down the, the cord. Okay, so you bring that back down to there. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Bring it out a little bit. So then I'm going to pop that through a jump ring or clasp or whatever you want to use. 
If you go with the jump ring, it just means you can change whatever class later on. And then I have to, I have to leave, leave enough space for a knot there and a knot there, but without it being too loose. So this could be challenging. <laughs> it's good to see you using the French wire, though, because... Uh yeah, it's a, it, we don't do it that often, actually, do we? Yeah, not often. It's um, it's one of those things where if you've got it, then use it because it really does make a difference. Well, yeah, absolutely. You spend all the t you spend time creating these wonderful pieces of jewellery. You know, you might as well invest the smallest component, which can add years to your jewellery. Yeah, work, I th it? I think it does. I mean, that's that's the thing. It's just it's just um, giving it a bit of longevity. So I'm, I'm trying to make an, a knot at the base of that um, French wire. But because I've got a big bead there, I might have made myself a harder task than I needed to. So threading this down. Want that the other side of that bead to start with. Right, so got that bead. I need the knot to be that side of my French wire. If I can have that to help me pin it in place. Probably just completely blocked the view, haven't I? Bas basically, what you're trying to do is you're making a loop with the French wire that goes around your um, jump ring and then a little knot so that you can hold it in position. Uh -huh. We're right up close to you now, Hannah, so we can okay. kind of see. Okay, like that. I think I actually could do with that being a double knot before I pass it through the bead again. So I'm just going around again. Just to make that into a little double knot, using the pin to pull against before I then pass the needle through that last Amazonite bead. Okay. Going back. That is the beauty of having a bigger draw hole because you can get the thread through a number of times. It's just trying to get it all neat and tidy before I release that pin. Okay, then I should be able to pull the thread and the Amazonite. It should tighten that knot there and then you want to do a, a closing knot between these two here. So you just make... That's if, why you didn't knot it. That's why I didn't knot it, because I wanted it to finish there, um, just so that this is nice and secure and, and out of the way. And then this is actually the closing one. You can add yes. a dab of glue um, to either or both. Right, so I'm going to go actually round it and through. Hang on to that thread so it doesn't pull where I don't want it to and then just pull that tight in there. And hopefully, you should have a relatively even looking pair of knots either, either side. And then again, what I would do with that is, is I tend to add a little, a little dab of glue, let it dry, and then, and then trim away the ends. And then you just do the same thing on the other side. So, am I allowed to do the other side? <laughs> Why not? Yeah. We've got it. We can bring a few items in as and when. Yeah. But the time, like I said, there's plenty. So, of time. so I'm going to leave myself a little bit of a okay a tail there. You might as well make the bracelet. To well, I'm just necklace, think, I'm just you? thinking that you know. Um, yeah. Good luck on the kit. They are getting quite limited though um, now. I'm going to just bring you as well some lovely little embellish uh, some additional gemstones that would go. Thank you, Adam. Um, that would go absolutely beautifully alongside each and every single one of your kits. So how about adding a little flourish? Yeah. The tanzanite. Oh, amazing. Oh, look at this for colour. It's a long strand. Look, uh, do you know, we talk about tanzanite. We know, we, we, well, I think most of you will know it. And I know in the essence of time, I don't want to be wittering on, you know, taking you away from uh, uh, Hannah's amazing demo. But um, pop, along to, um, pop along to first dibs. You'll see tanzanite in literally beads like this. Um, and they're not the most perfectly eye clean. It's all about the colour, really, and you still see it at considered price points. But lovely little details. This would look amazing alongside the jade eye and I think the Amazonite strand. Um, again, a beautiful vanadium rich quality of saturation, straight down to less than a pound per carat. 
They are graduated, so, you know, whereas the other strands actually in your kits weren't. So if you did want to create that kind of visual graduation... Yeah, definitely. You could incorporate these that way, couldn't you? I think it'd be nice, actually. You know, like, graduations, it's just got a natural flow to it, doesn't it? You know, if you've got a graduated... Um, uh, look to it you've got like a focal point anyway mm. because where it's where it's um, broader and then it's narrower to towards the fastening so lovely yeah it flows nicely oh i like that do you know what ross just said what, what? i am going to give an amazing deal on this l that's what he said so i can't hear the guys at all i don't know if i've unplugged or if i've been switched off oh i'll have a little look you wouldn't be switched off oh I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. 19 99 for 52 carats Tandy of tanzanite. Way. I'm choked on that. <laughs> how, many, how many have we got then, Roscoe? 49 of these available. Wow. How much is that per carat? I can't do that maths. Less than 50p. So about, what, 40, would you say? About four, 38 pence a carat for tanzanite. Goodness me, make sure you do check out those baskets um, at under £20. Over to you, Han, because yep. there's loads of people on the phone lines getting involved on this. Like, like Ross says, I'm going to do an amazing deal on this, <laughs> Al. I love it. Did you give it a little head wobble as well, Ross? <laughs> A um, little bit of sass. A sassy, a sassy head wobble. I like that. Right. So um, I'm doing the same thing as I did when I first started. So I, I've threaded my second bead on, then my, then my first bead, ironically. Um, and then I'm going to then thread that through the second loop um, and then back through that um, first bead. And then I want to pull that through without, if I can manage it, without losing the Amazonite off the second one. So move that tail out there like that and then I want to tie an overhand knot without losing that bead off the end of that tail <laughs> and I'm going to pop that through there tie a knot there and then as we discovered earlier it's better with a double knot so I'm going to do a second one through there Okay, and then I'm going to pass that needle down through that one, thread it all the way through, Ooh. hook the tail up, didn't want to do that, there we go, and then I'm going to do a double knot there to secure it in place. Wondering if I just do a double like I did before. Has it gone through once? Twice like that. So this knot is the one that I would glue, the second one. Okay, so what you find some of my some of my um, pieces that I've done so far, it's not it's not the first knot, it's the second knot that, that I'd prefer to glue. And then sometimes if you've got like a sterling silver mm. um, crimp cover, then they're malleable enough to pop through in there some of the base metal ones are a little bit broader so i don't i'd only i'd only go with the cover if you if you've got the sterling well silver plus ones. also that how beautiful these gemstones are yeah they justify don't they the sterling silver definitely definitely right so these tails i'm, le I'm leaving these tails on because i don't have um the hyper cement with me and the reason that i like the hyper cement is because it's got the nozzle so so you can get really close and just put the tiniest tiniest dab you don't want a big glob of it and then i should be able to carry on with my design. So I'm going to pop on my um, fire polish bead from my stash. We've got the perfect strand actually coming up, Han, um, as an alternative. If you as did space, yeah. Yeah, if you did want to, um, I'm just going to put it. Oh, yeah, that's, oh my that's Colin goodness. and Topaz. That is perfect. So In fact, if you, that's so much better. <laughs> if you wanted to keep it gemstone exclusive. Yeah, that would look then beautiful. This is, that's Colin and Topaz. Right, so get that to do this with that kit. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Well, the graphics are on your screen. Definitely. Again, it is slightly graduated, so lovely. Pure white colour. Again. Under £20. <laughs> For Wait, that, that's yeah, my... That's less, than, that's less than 50p per carat. I can't even do that. That's maths. phenomenal. 
amazing absolutely amazing good luck yeah it's a nice alternative isn't it Maybe. yeah oh, I'm, and i haven't got any fire polish for example do you know so. what it's so much better i think you know if, if you've got something like that it, i mean you can you can then say it's entirely a gemstone um creation and when yeah. you've got a gemstone component like the, the interlocked links then absolutely go for it yeah amazing check out how many have we got of these then 40 okay so i think that might well be an on-screen sellout as well um not surprised not yeah surprised. i'm not surprised but beautiful components aren't they to go alongside this lovely this amazing design they are lovely it's been uh, busy today from start to finish uh, well we've had some beautiful stuff we certainly <laughs> have how are the kits doing i know we the amethyst sold out jade sold out uh the only ones which are available is mukite and amazonite but there's only, how many sorry 15 less than 15 of each okay so um, and we're definitely over allocated so i think they might they might well show us sold out imminently to be honest um i love which is your favorite message in have you got a favorite it's hard to choose isn't it i do like the amazonite just because it's a bit different yeah it's all about favourites. Did, did anybody offer, offer ideas about cake? <laughs> you said about Speaking of that, <laughs> yes, we did mention that. Has anyone got a favourite cake? Ethan, what's your favourite cake? I like a caterpillar. A caterpillar? Oh, Colin? Yeah. Colin the caterpillar? Well, any of them, really. Is it, are, they, are, are they? I didn't know that. It's been <laughs> alongside since I've had a, a caterpillar cake. Different supermarkets. Right, I see. I see, I see. Um, Roscoe, what's your favourite? A lemon Ooh, drizzles yeah, up there. It's quite high, isn't it? It's got to be up there. Yeah. Uh, come on, gorgeous Dan, what's yours? A oh, cherry bakewell. Cherry bakewell. Elite. Wow. They are elite. Chloe Jones, head of TV, just stepped in. Chloe Jones, favourite cake? Ooh, red velvet or carrot? Red velvet or carrot. Nice. I'm not mad on the red velvet. I, I can't. Yeah. Now, I, now I know it's the whole beetroot. Oh, no, is it? changed your mindset yeah and i like beetroot but i'm like oh, I'm salad sure. cake beetroot, <laughs> beetroot and cake <laughs> cake and beetroot sorry um well, yeah. like carrot in the carrot cake i know <laughs> i like carrot cake too yeah um, back to you lovely yeah as long as it's not a dry cake you know it needs to be a nice one. Oh no yes definitely either that or you need to warm it up and have it with custard <laughs> oh your cake, if your cake's too dry. You know, back in primary school when you used to have like... Pink custard. Literally, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you used to have like the most perfect square of cake. Do you remember when the... when the, like um, the tray bake the, 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 the cooks used to make them in these massive trays, yeah. Yeah. And you'd have the perfect square, wouldn't you, with like the lumpy custard. Ah, oh, that's <laughs> heaven right there, isn't it? I used to like... Is, what was the other one they had? Um semolina and no i didn't like semolina oh, everybody else hated it i loved it <laughs> really? no. I, I had to have packed lunches though so I, I only got that if um if somebody was uh, not going to have their portion <laughs> see it was um for me packed lunches were the luxury really mm. i think everyone always likes what they haven't got don't they yeah, because my son's like that he, he was having packed lunches then he wanted dinners but you know, then, he, then he, you're stuck with what, what's on offer. Yeah. So, we so we, if we now alternate, it's highly annoying. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing today then? <laughs> um, I think I'll have a packed lunch. <laughs> Got to make it. <laughs> 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 and then other days, oh, no, I'm going to have whatever because it's, it's a this choice and therefore I can have a spud with tuna today. You oh, know. you didn't get to choose in our school. You had oh. what you were given. <laughs> you had what you were given. Yeah. These are very limited now, just uh, let, keeping you updated on each of these kits. The Amazonite is single figure quantities. The Mukite is single figure quantities as well. So good luck, everyone. Um, this has been lovely, actually. To, uh, uh, and literally, you might see the piece from start to finish. Well, yeah, hopefully. But um, actually, if, if anybody's looking at this thinking, there's no way I'm going to tackle knotting, um, the amethyst one that I made is is just threaded, like it's it's beading thread. Okay. So this I don't know if you want, I want to unravel Shall it. Shall I unravel show it? it? Shall I do a swap? Yeah. Tell and, you what. And then you can sort of see the difference. It's still the same look, but that's that's without having to do any of the knotting. Oh, hang on. Let me do that a bit neater. Sorry. Sorry, Hannah. You're making a mess. I I I, I, I did make a mess of that. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> here you go. There's the Mukite. So I've just doubled over the Mukite one. 
Oh, it literally looks like a completely different piece. I know, that's it, but th that's what I mean. If you add a clasp, you can you can double it up and you can have it as a choker or long length. Um, if so it, this isn't knotted. No, so that, that was just beading thread. Yeah. I'm not the greatest at knotting. It is something that I hope to actually master at some point. I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, you, no, you are. You, you are. Um, but again, and also it's speed, isn't it? You might not have the time to knot. Yeah, it, yeah, it is. It, it is. A, I want to say labour of love. It's one of those things that you you don't want to do when you're in a hurry. Um, stress. So that you can just do it mindfully, and then it's a lovely experience. Yeah, you know. absolutely. Um, loving that. So yeah, just use some. You've used seed beads in here, and you? yeah. your little bicones. You can use your my, uh, your um, micro faceted gemstones as well. They all work beautifully as well. Um, loving that, Hannah. Yeah, it's loving nice. That. It just gives it just gives you an alternative option. And it, and they say if you if you don't like that, you can double it up so you can wear it as a choker instead of a long line one. Mm. So makes it uh, versatile to wear as well. Again, just using the bead to push against the knot so that it's nice and snug. Yeah. And we go on the end. That's six in the end. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to be um, a particularly well-fitting bracelet, but <laughs> it will fit someone. Exactly. Yeah. Right, I'm just pulling that, that first knot through because... It is trying, like by doing the double, it's, it's trying to um, spread further out. And I want it to be as close to the stone as I can, or to the bead as I can. Like that. And I'm actually using my fingernails again, which I'm not supposed to do, but I keep doing it. <laughs> because once you get into a habit of it as well, it's difficult, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I've, I've got the tweezers sitting there, and it's just, it's autopilot. <laughs> Leave that in there, and then pushing this one through. Again, yeah, this one's got a good, good size drill hole. But that's one of those things, you know. It's like if you've got a good size drill hole, it means you can do other things like with the beads as well. So if you want to use some wire work, maybe you don't have to use it for knotting. Yeah. Might even go on some of the leather as well that we had earlier oh, on. Yeah, maybe. Never know. I don't know that for certain, but. Have a go. Well, I give it a try, don't you? See, that's it. It's all about um, experiment, uh, experimental uh, crafting, almost. Mm. You just, you just try it. What's the worst that can happen? You just have to take it apart In and start again. Indeed. Is there a way? Can I ask you a question, Hannah? Because mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I did confess to buying silk from a certain uh, um, yeah. online shop. I had to because we didn't have any in stock. Um, basically at Jewel Maker. Yeah. And the first thing that I did, so I'd, I'd attached the clasp, done the, um, I had a little wire guard in, so I'd done that. Yeah. And then, because I wanted it to be a long line necklace, I had loads of silk. Yeah. First thing I did was knot it. <laughs> <laughs> and I could not get that knot out. Uh, pins. It's Pins is the answer, and patience, and breathe. Oh, that's why I probably <laughs> didn't succeed then, because I have none of those things. Yeah, one, once you've knotted silk... Um, it, there's an, it's difficult, isn't it? it? It does try to hold on, but that, that's why we use like, um, things to try and help you sort of slide the, the knot along. Um, yeah, that, that's the only way I've found. It's like li literally, like, I've, I've got sewing box pins, and I, and I use those for, for wiggling knots undone. Uh. You know, See, uh, I, in the end, I was like, right, uh, fine. Yeah. I have to use one of the other ones, aren't I? <laughs> I'm so defeatist. Oh, you, yeah, it's like, don't, don't get cross with it. Walk away, breathe, come back. <laughs> Magnifying glass, yeah. pins. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it again. <laughs> just get a new, a new silk and try not to knot it this time. I just want to try something. I think this is going to be too big now. I've added the sixth one. Oh, it's going to be a going to be too big for me because really I need to finish it there but I need to add another bead to make it symmetrical. Do you know what that means it's going to turn into the lower half of a necklace afterwards and I'm going to add chains. Ah instead. lovely. So <laughs> lovely. 
it's one why not of, yeah it's, it's one of those isn't it, it doesn't turn have it to into be. another one of those yeah. absolutely beautiful hannah thank you so much absolutely well, gorgeous well demonstration welcome. and again yeah, you still have any questions you've got time to text in between now and then um, now I've got two more auctions that I can squeeze in yeah. now in the, yeah, yeah. in the end of the show. Where is this morning gone? It's gone so fast, hasn't it? <laughs> um, now, one of our previous early birds, yeah, I thought so. <clears throat> um, excuse me. Comes with lovely topaz. So round brilliant cut, or they might be step cut actually. Um, or single cut, that's the word I was looking for. So it might be single cut. Either way, they're faceted rounds. Um, in colourless topaz. Look at that beautiful detailing. Isn't it lovely? It does also come with the jump ring as well, which is also 925 sterling silver. So yes, this was a previous early bird. They absolutely flew out the door. We spoke a lot, uh, spoke about lots of different designers that incorporate this in, uh, you know, heart motif, really, like Tiffany's and Co. I remember this, the piece of jewellery that Anne and Sue actually created out of this, lovely Anne and Sue. And they used it as, instead of, they didn't use that, so they kept that jump ring for another day. Yeah. Um, um, and use the heart like a lariat. Oh, that's so a really, really lovely, nice actually. idea. Um, wow, we're going to match the price point that we launched this at. Uh, and I know we had a big quantity, didn't we? 210. We don't have anywhere near that quantity now because he's absolutely flew. And I know a lot of people actually multi-bought on this as well. Solid 925 sterling silver. Um, again, yes, you've got your single cut. So what that basically means is when, when stones are smaller, um, obviously you, you struggle to get 57 fac facets on a two millimeter stone or a one millimeter stone. So they just reduce the number of facets, but still get, you still want to have this beautiful brilliance. Um, did you know that topaz can actually be, be cut more times in the small melee sizes than a diamond? can so you often actually in smaller sizes get more brilliance from topaz at 19.99 again it's solid 925 sterling silver if i turn it around you can see that lovely thickness uh, beautiful stylized heart it can be a multitude of things can't it it could, yeah. be a, it could be a pendant it could be a charm it could be earrings it could be as Anne and sue did it could be uh, uh so the mechanism of the lariat it could be a connector 9.99 you know you could Incorporate this into the designs that you've just been shown. It's the same techniques. Yeah, you could you almost really treat could. this like yeah. the like the interlocking links, couldn't you? Yeah, you a you absolutely could. I think that's the beauty of making jewelry yourself. So once you've got the hang of some of the techniques, you you can use them all together to yeah. then create other components, and that, and then you know you 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 are the designer. There's, there's no right or wrong. It's up to you what you put together. Amazing. Love it. Absolutely beautiful quality. We had over 200 of them. Um, how are we doing in terms of stock levels when we entered into this auction? Did we have many today? We had 40 when we opened the auction. Hello, Gabrielle, Victoria, Walden Tube Multi Buying, Cheshire, London, Lillian. Hello to you, Joy, Tracy, Linda, Mary, Angus, Lynn, Joy, Yi Mei. Um, what an amazing morning it has been so far. We've still got one more to bring you. One more. We're going to do it now. Um, you get eight pieces. This is our finale auction. Here we go. You get eight. Oh, they're cute. Double side. Oh, come on, little butterfly. Oh, hang on. Sorry. There he is. You get the double side is my point. Sterling silver butterflies. How beautiful. A kaleidoscope, of course. Very cute. I love it. Kaleidoscope. Did you know that? Do you know that, girls? What a group of butterflies is called? There you go. Everyone, knew, everyone knows that because it's so pretty, isn't it? Oh. It's the, yeah, I didn't realise it was, was the, like, what's it called? The collective noun, isn't it? Of, yeah. Of, of, of something. Butterflies. Um, what's a, let's give a few more. What's a, what's a, a group of owls? Parliament. Parliament. Yes. It's because they're so wise. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So wise. Uh, what would you say about the crows? That one's not that nice. Yeah, no, I thought that as well. No, it's not that nice. $9.99. Um, check out your baskets, everybody. Beautiful sterling silver. Again, these, I think, were an early bird, weren't they? And we've got the final few of them. As we venture into the spring and summer, she says as it's snowing outside. <laughs> um, yeah. Or so I hear, I believe, anyway. Um, do stay safe, though, won't you, if, it, if, it, if yeah. it's snowing by you? Yeah, avoid travel. Just stay nice and cosy and warm with us. <laughs> well, why it's not? Such fun, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think so, but then I'm biased. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Now, um, weather permitting, tomorrow we will have Mark Smith 
He does travel quite a distance, so obviously we wouldn't want him to uh, um, to travel when it's uh, when it's tricky too. So uh, weather permitting, we'll have Mark, but I do know as well we'll have an absolutely amazing, amazing show. Um, Hannah, as always, Aww. a joy. Thanks for having me. A pleasure and a treat. It's been amazing. I've mean, really loved these kind of like components and stuff. Oh, they've been beautiful. Have if there been. are any of those, that, 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 that Moo Kite kit left, I'll be snuffling one of those. Yeah. Well, you know I'm already shopping. You saw me do it. <laughs> um, when you're back, do you know? Um, the 14th. I'm not sure which day that is. No, I don't know either. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know either. Soon. Quite um, soon. Very, very soon. <laughs> yeah. Is that us? Is that not us? I don't... Is it us? Yay! Um, amazing. <laughs> Have a lovely afternoon, everybody. Enjoy. Again, do stay safe. Stay nice and cosy and warm and stay jewellery making as well. Um, hobby makers coming up. We'll see you soon.